Now, hello, good morning. I've got this lyric in my brain that planets are colliding, and I don't know what song it's from. I think it's like a rock opera-y kind of song, or from a musical. The planets are colliding. It goes like that. That's all I can remember. It's driving me mad. It's driving me mad. Anyway, hello. How are you? It's Monday morning. How have you been? Did you have a lovely weekend? I hope you spent some of it with me. I've been here all weekend. Uh, I'm off after today, though. I'm off till uh, Friday. Not in here again till Friday. I'm coming up to Yorkshire. Anyway, uh, I've got a lovely show lined up for you today. Do you want to see what we're doing today? Uh, have a good look at this. Last Chance Dash Dash. That's with me. Um, then we've got the So Bunting with Tilly. Tilly's back, Tilly's back. We're doing a, like a lovely, well, it's bunting with a difference, isn't it? Um, and then at 10 o'clock, we've got Last Chance Dash again with me. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got another Threads Patchwork panel. Uh, threads Patchwork panel at 11 o'clock again with Tilly. Now, you know that Threads, it's brilliant. I love it. If you don't know, right? The uh, threads, the threads is where you, you get your favourite photo and you put it through like a, um, a printer and it comes out printed on, fa on fabric. It's absolutely brilliant. We're doing that with Tilly for two hours, doing two different, two different projects. That, uh, we're doing that with Tilly with two different projects, right? We are an interactive channel. If you've not seen this before, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you uh, have seen this before, you'll know that we're totally interactive. And what we need you to do, if you want to, is send us messages, whether they're just uh, messages of fun, of laughter, or you've got questions for the expert when Tilly comes on, or questions for me, of course. I, can't, I do know, have, have some expertise. Oh, little Paul upstairs. Um, this is how you get in touch. You go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. You click on Watch Live. Oh, we've already done this. See at the top there, you click on Watch Live, right? And then the bigger picture. There you go. And then that bigger picture comes up. That, oh, I think that shirt looks quite nice. I've got on today, doesn't it? Uh, and then you see the little box there that message the studio. All you need to do is write a little message in there. Now, please keep that limited. You can say more than say hi. Um, uh, because um, the, the letters are limited, and it is going to be done, but it's on a list to be done. So you can send a message there, and that comes straight through to me on my uh, tablet on the table, which somebody forgot to charge up last night, so it's a bit empty, but they will come through, they will come through. Or, of course, if you've got a longer question, or a question you want answered by the uh, customer service team, or uh, we'll still shout it out, we'll still shout it out, studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com, and that's the one uh, where you also send pictures to. Now, that's a good idea. If you've done threads on, you know, pictures, on fabrics before with threads. Send in your pictures. Let me see what you've made out of them. Uh, whilst we're on the website there, you can see that um, if you scroll down, that they are all the products I had on my show yesterday. Oh, something moved then. Something moved then, didn't it? Uh, they started to disappear. They're going, they're going, they're going. Uh, so in a minute, in, oh, that, that snail's been there for about four days now. Wait, let's see. Look, the snail stayed. Look, go down, go down. That snail stays every day for some reason. It doesn't want to go home. That snail's buy it, buy it. I don't know if there's any left, actually. Oh, because he's a snail, he's very slow. It's taken him all weekend to go. I'll find out why that hasn't gone in a minute. Anyway, uh, what you'll do is everything that I'm offering today, all the fabrics, all the notions, all the threads, everything like that, will appear there, so you can just pop them and click on it and pop it in your basket. Talk about uh, popping in things in your basket while well, you're watching the live show. Now, at the moment, that's a kit that I had yesterday. That sold out, uh, that fishy kit there that you can see seeing on the right-hand side. That's sold out now. Um, but basically, while we're doing things live, they will appear in the box to the right hand of the screen. All you need to do is add it to your basket. All I'm going to say to you is, I'll keep you, I'll keep you updated on um, the, the stock levels. But if I'm saying check out now, it's not because I'm adding any undue pressure. It's because I want you to check out. But I, I want you to check out because I want you to get it. Uh, but we only pay one p and Remember, you only pay one p and for the whole day of two pounds and ninety-five pence for the whole day. So you can check out as often as you like. And um, uh, you still only pay one post and packaging of £2.95. Right, hang on, I've just got to turn upstairs up a bit. Talk to me. There we go, I've just turned them up. It's all very muffled today. Right, now I've got fabrics. Now, this is called Last Chance. I've got to look at the board, otherwise I get it wrong. Last Chance. No, can't get it right, I'm even reading. Last Chance Stash Dash. Um, I've got no screens that are going on. Um, well, so the, everything's going wrong this morning. Oh, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. Last chance, stash, dash. Um, uh, so basically, everything I'm going to show you is when it's gone, it's gone. We're not reordering it. We're not uh, getting it again. Once it's gone, it's gone. So it could be. Now, what I want to say to you is I don't want to say you'll never see it again, because if we don't sell it all today, then obviously it'll be back. But if they all go today, then that will be it. You'll never, ever, ever see it again. So it's as simple as that. It's a last chance stash dash. Now, 
last chance, dash, dash. You're thinking, oh, do you know what, John? That'll be all the um, ends of ranges. I've got a premiere. The first one's a premiere. <laughs> I know. <coughs> Excuse me. I woke up this morning with, the with no voice. I don't know what's going on with me today. Hang on, let me just move all this across so I can do a bit of wafting. Now, remember, when you send your messages in, they come through, little Paul sends them through to me here on my tablet, on the, on the desk here, so I can just read them straight out from you. Right, premiere. Premiere, but it's last chance. Stash dash. Now, obviously, this that you're seeing here is a meter. We sell our fabrics uh, by half meter increments. So this fabric, Swallows Fabric in blue from Hartwood Range by Macawa. Never been on before, never been seen before. It's five pounds and 45 pence for half a meter, right? For half a meter. So if you want to buy a meter, when you're, if you're on the phone, you just say, I want to buy a meter and they'll, they'll do it for you. If you're buying on the web, a metre would be two units, a metre and a half would be three units, and two metres, like, and carry on like that. It's in increments of half a metre. I'll show you what this looks like in half a metre. Right, um, the reason this is in last chance stash dash is because it is limited. It is limited. Um, it's beautiful, though. Isn't it lovely? I would, I'll chop it up the right way. I've got one job. Swallows. Now, I, I, I don't want to tell you, my house is called the Swallows. I haven't got a number. I've just got a name of a house. And it's called the Swallows. And it's because <clears throat> when the Swallows all come back to settle in my village, they come straight to my house. So um, I have to tie, well, I did have to tie polythene bags, it was like shopping bags, the 5P ones, to each of the windows. And so they do this, so the birds, were, because otherwise when I moved in, they were like nests galore all along the um, fascia of the house. Uh, they could, they've got other places to go. I just didn't want them on the front of the house because they make a bit of a mess of the front of the house, don't they? Anyway, they're all back. They're all back. The Swallows are all back. <clears throat> got a message. Oh, good morning, Nora. Lo morning, John. Always love to see you. Look forward to your show. Great shirt again. Love, love Nora. Nora, I'm in such a bad mood. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I was. I wo just woke up this morning. I'm, oh, I'm going to go through everything quickly, and then I'll go through it all. Just woke up this morning. Thought it was fine, and then and then I've just got grumpier and grumpier as the morning's gone on. Owls on grey. Did you say next? Yeah, owls on grey next. I'll go through them all quickly because obviously you can't buy anything until uh, you've seen everything. Uh, no, say that again. You can't start buying until the graphics have gone through, can you? This is always a very, very, very... Now, we've got a handbag made of this, haven't we? I'm just watching Tomo, just here, uh, trying to be quiet, but he can never be quiet, can he? He's got a thumbs up now, Tomo. Tomo's got his thumbs up, whatever that means. Oh, hello. This is Tomo, everybody. This is my friend Tom. Oh, you're quite muscly, Tomo, aren't you? This is my friend Tomo. Hi. Say hello. Tom is very important. He's our broadcast man. You've got your blushing. I've never seen Tom blushing all the years I've known him. Never seen him blush before. Um, £5.45. This is not Tom the fabric for half a metre. Right, moving on. Uh, now, I think Tom is priceless, actually. No, I. Tomo, right, I, I know you won't, you won't appreciate this, but Tomo's got the most beautiful wife. She's absolutely gorgeous. Get down, you're on it. <laughs> Right, moving on. So I go to Songbird now. He didn't know he was on there. How many years have you worked in telly, Tomo? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. he's gone bring his mate now. Oh, I've just been, blah, blah, blah. got John Scott. Blah. I love this. <clears throat> I've never seen this one before. I've never seen this one before. I love it, right? It's because are they starlings or is it thrush? Is it a thrush? Is it, is it a thrush or a starling? I don't know. I'm not really up on my birds or my songbirds. Might be a nighting. It might be nightingales. Might a nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. See, I'm getting in a good mood already. Just being on here, and I've only been on ten minutes. I'm in a good mood. I'm getting in a better mood now. Uh, five pounds and forty-five pence half a meter. I'll go through all of them properly with you later. But I just want you to see everything first. Oh, I've got a message. Rang up, man. Uh, Anne. Hello, Tomo. <laughs> he is, well, he's infamous, that's for sure. He's, um, he's got relatives who live in the next village to me. And when, they, when Tomo comes to visit with his gorgeous wife, all the, the whole village empties because they know Tomo's coming. Right, what's next? OK, right, we'll do these because these are all the same fabric. All the same fabric, but just in a different colourway. So I'll go through them all quickly. This one first. Yep, light blue this one will be. 
I'll just open them this much for now so you can see all the different colours. Dash fabric in light blue from Heartwood Range, £5.45 for half a metre. I will go through them all with you uh, again later, but I'm just letting you have a good look to have a look at them sing. Then we've got this one, which will be dark blue, I imagine. Let's take that one out. Oh, it's just called blue, that one. This is like rain. This is like rain shower, isn't it? It's nice. I shall waft it for you later. It's a nice, delicate fabric. Could use it as a blender, maybe. Uh, blender in quilting, you know. £5.45, that's the blue one. Then I've got it in uh, pale grey. They might call this silver, I don't know. Is it Macy grey? Light grey, there you go, I thought so, light grey. Oh, now the rain's going the opposite direction on that one. Oh, what I'll have to do is I'll have to check. Oh, no, it's just, it's just Amy's, the way Amy's ironed them, that's all. Uh, no, I've got to check, check, because I've still got two more in this colour range here. Black. Is it black or is it charcoal? It is black. That's the black one there. Dash fabric in black from Heartwood Range by Macawa. If you, oh, I see, I thought you meant if you spin the fabric round. Right, and then the last one in this range is the green, which is a ve it's very green. I'd say pistachio with a bit of lime mixed in. It's called green. It's called green. Green. Nice, I like the green one. The green one's my favourite of those. <clears throat> then I've also got the Czech fabrics. Check it out. Now, you've seen this. Um, uh, now, remember, if these all sell, if these all sell today, you won't ever see them again. This is last chance, dash, dash. Now, I'm not saying you're never going to see them again, because if they don't sell out today, you might see them again. But uh, what I don't want you to do is think, oh, I'll come back and get that next time, and it's not, it's not available. So which one are you going first? I like this one. It's like, the, it's like, um, uh, uh, like a kilt fat, you know, like... Um, what's, what, yeah, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I don't tartan, but what's the famous tartan? Black watch. It's like a black watch, isn't it, that one? £3.75. I'll go through all of this. I promise I'll go through all of it properly in a minute. I just need to see everything before we start. So that is the red brushed cotton. £3.75, half metre. Then there's this check one. Now, this is called red, blue, green brushed cotton, this one. It's not called... What was the last one called? Brushed cotton. This is red, blue, green. That's what it says on the tin. Red, blue, green. Brush cotton check fabric. £3.75. Make a lovely shirt, lovely winter shirt. I know we're going into summer. Oh, now apparently we're about to go into a week of up to 28 degrees, aren't we? And then by the weekend, by the bank holiday weekend, it's going to be raining. Pouring with rain again. Okay, right. Now, these... Uh, now, now, there's been... I, I need to explain something before we start. Uh, and I am sorting it out. I promise I have brought it up in... The, in and there's a management meeting today, and they're going to bring it up in them. We have linen look fabrics, which are either cotton or polyester cotton mix. They are linen look. We also have the linen effect. This is the real deal. This, this is one... It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. 100%... Real, I don't know why I was going over there. Sorry. 100% linen, right? Now, you know... That 100% cotton, cotton fabric are, are cottons and they have different names. Linen comes from flax. This, this is the real deal. This is linen, the real, real linen. Um, the others are linen look, but this one is definitely linen. Right, ash grey hearts on natural. Now remember, now, now look, first of all, before I say anything, this is 60 inches wide. And it's beautiful. If you love linens, the quality of this linen is beautiful. Let me just waft it out there. Oh, I'm supposed to be in it quickly, aren't I? So this is the first one. This is Ash Grey Hearts on 100% linen. £15. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, £15.95 for half a metre. But it's the real deal. It's real linen. It's beautiful. The weight, you can just tell. I will waft it a bit more later on. But that is beautiful quality linen there. At £15.95 for half a metre. Remember, it's when they're gone. We're not rebuying them. So when they're gone, they're gone, these. I've never seen this before. Never seen this linen before here. And yet, um, it's a lot, you know, it could be the last time you see it. So that's the grey heart. What's the next one? Red hearts on or red background? Red hearts on. So this is the red hearts on the same linen here. I'll just show you a little bit there. This is half a metre. Obviously, it's 60 inches wide. 
This is called rustic red hearts, apparently. Rustic red hearts. They're cute, aren't they? OK, just so you know, I'll just take that one out. Do you know the Swallows fabric I showed you earlier? The Premier is nearly sold out. Nearly sold out. I know, busy already. Busy already. Get your messages in. Love to, love to hear from you. Planets are arising. Yeah. Right, this is nice. Look at this. This is beautiful. Now, this one is like a dark red. Oh, that's called... Oh, this is going to be very confusing. So the last one was rustic red hearts. And this one's natural hearts on rustic red. Fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence half meter. Oh, Susan sent in an email. I don't get your I don't get your emails on my on my on my on my um thinking. Do what what? War of the Worlds. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't, oh, I'm not sure. If, I, I don't know if I've heard that recently. Planets are I kind of think it's kind of from a musical, but it could be. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, got messages, got messages. Nicola, good morning, John. Fantastic to see you. Bought the Swallow Fabrics. My mum, oh, her mum's got them nesting with her in Mid Wales. Oh, come to West Midlands. They're well and truly nesting now. Uh, um, no, there's another one coming through in a minute. No, I haven't, I've still got Nicola's. Sandra, life is too short to be in a mad, bad mood, John. You're right. You're right. And look at me, I'm in a much better mood now. Much better mood now. That was from Sandra. Thank you very much indeed. And then there's another one from... Leslie in Shropshire. Morning, John. I would say the songbird is a thrush. Makes a lovely blouse. Lots of love, Leslie. Thank you. The songbird... Right, I've got one more. I've got one. Now, this is going to be a bit confusing. I don't know what that was. Um, this is going to be a bit confusing. Have a look at the still. This is what we've got for sale, Right. It's miss it, miss out. Right, well, it's uh, basically, we're not ever, ever, ever buying it again. What it is, it's a, a, a fat quarter that Dash would have put together for us. Thank you. Uh, now, they, you see the ribbon? Apparently, that's exclusivity ribbon that they've done for us. They don't do... You might see Dashwood fat quarters elsewhere, but they might cut them themselves. This is a fat quarter that Dashwood did for us um, as an exclusive. It's £19.95. You get eight pieces. Now, that's how it arrives at your door. And these are the eight fabrics. That's number one. Two. Three. You'll recognise them. You'll recognise three. Four. Five. Seven. Seven. Eight. That's the shipyard. Uh, uh, Paul, Paul thinks that looks like a shipyard. I think that one looks like when you've opened your hole puncher and you just dropped all your little holes everywhere. Um, that's very geometric. This is very 50s. That's very Hannah's Kitchen, produced Hannah's Kitchen. That's lovely. Now, I thought Hayley was going to get me um, all sorts of things out to, that they were made out of, but obviously I'll wait for those. So, that's also available. Right, so now, songbird, did you say, or thrush? Uh, songbird or swallow? Songbird, we think this is a thrush. Who was it? Oh, this is the most popular. I'm not surprised. It is cute, isn't it? Look, have a look at it close to. It's like, it's, um, am I allowed to say it looks like a Laura Ashley print? It's the essence of Laura Ashley. The essence of Laura Ashley, I'd say. But not now. Not now. I've been into Laura Ashley for years. I mean, I'm talking, you know, sort circa when Laura Ashley was at, well, and I think she was a tub, but they were at their best. This is £5.45 for half a metre. It's a lovely, like, cream background. Can I have the width of the songbird fabric, please? You can, of course. It looks like a 45er, but I'll just measure it. 112, so 44 inches. 44 inches. I'm just doing it to prove it. Hang on, there we go. 44 inches, Leslie, my love. Oh, yeah, Leslie was, wasn't it? 44 inches. Uh, Pamela, is your song the dawning of Aquarius, let the, su let the sun shine? I don't think it was. Planets are rising. That's from... Um, Aquarius. Yeah, from hair, the musical uh, hair, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure if it is now. I can see it in my... I can, only, I can see it in my head. You only know what? OK. Um, isn't this lovely? So this is our um, most popular so far this morning. 
Songbird in blue. It's just called Songbird. It's not called Thrush. That was the name I gave it. I've already got the Dashwood Meadow, and it's beautiful, says Anne in Cheshire. Thank you, Anne, my love. That's this. That's this. OK. Um, that's lovely, isn't it? Really, really. That'd make a nice shirt, wouldn't it? Have I got what? Uh, let me just show you this. Let me just show you the swallow one as well, because that's not in number two position at the moment. And then I'll show you the thread bundle I've got. And very low stock warning. Well, how many have we got left? This is a meter, remember, that I'm showing you here. You can buy it in half meter increments. 100% cotton, 30 degree wash, this one. Lovely, lovely fabric. Nine units left. That's four and a half meters. Four and a half meters left of that. If you want that, there's four and a half meters left. So remember that now that could be, that could be last chance. Well, that will be last chance, Dash. That'll definitely go to say. What these fabrics are is they're fabrics that we are not reordering. We, oh, we, either we can't or we're not reordering to make room for new ones. So just so you know, you might see them again, but you might not. Right, I've got a little thread bundle. Now, this isn't last chance. <laughs> this is just a lovely thread bundle that they've put together for us. Go lovely with the blues and the greys that we've got here. So they're all Gutman, they're all 100 metres, they'll, they'll be so all threads. Five of them for seven pounds and 45 pence. So what's the colours you've got there? I've got colour, 111, 331, one, which is always white, isn't it? 112 and 40. 100, this is 112. That's, that's number 40 there. That's the colour of Mike, Ginger Mike's house. Yeah, he's a bit of a depressant, yeah. Uh, then there's this one here. Uh, little Paul likes that one best. That's number 112. This is uh, number 331. That's the one that Tom likes best. And then this is white, everybody's favourite. And then colour 111. All the ones. Which is just like an ivory, an ivory. On its own, number one. Oh, that's 80. Oh, no, hang on. That's number one. Oh, hang on. There's a confusion. No, there's a confusion. That's number one. Don't look at the top, because the label's not right on the top. Number one's white. Always white, isn't it? It's all white. But on the top, it says it's colour 800, you see. So, uh, 111, 331, 40, and 112. They're nice, lovely colours, aren't they? Lovely pastel with reds. OK, the owls next, the owls next. Now, um, we did have this in uh, green as well. I don't know if the green one's gone. This is lovely, right? Again, this is a metre. You can buy it by the half metre increment, remember? This always sells incredibly well. This always sells so well because you just love it. Look at the owls, aren't they lovely? Gorgeous characters on there. Look at them looking at you. I'm looking at you. £5.45 for half a metre. Again, 100% cotton, 30 degree wash. Uh, now, um, I haven't seen owls in my back garden, but I've got two magpies that sit on my bedroom windowsill and tap on the window. I know. Oh, no, they don't tap a song. They just make a lot of noise. And they, when they squawk, they really squawk when they want food and things. Um, Aren't they lovely, these gorgeous owls? The bird of wisdom, isn't it, the owl? It's a bit like Little Paul's, that shape. Five pounds and 45 pence. He's not full of wisdom, though. Look at the gorgeous, all the lovely feathers. Where's my finger? All the little feathers going on there. It's cute, little feet, look. It's everything, they take, oh, hang on, I'm pointing them off here. Little feet there. Five pounds and 45 pence. Oh, swallows. Swallows is now very, very low in stock, just so you know. But the... Right, now, the most popular three linens... Oh, oh, right, OK. Ooh, right, OK. These are the three linens. These are the real deal. From Flax, the real deal, real deal. 60 inches wide. The most popular is this one, which is the natural with the grey hearts on it. That's there. At £15, I'll take those two out because you're the different graphics. There you go. That's the most. Now, uh, how many units of this have I got left? Eight, did you say? Eight units I've got of that left. They're lovely, aren't they? So that's the one with the grey, the grey hearts. It's 60 inches wide. 
Remember, it's made from flax, the real deal. Real linen, not linen look, it's real linen, that one. These two are linen as well. This one is uh, red hearts on background. Oh, no, it's rustic. Rustic hearts, this one. It's lovely, isn't it? £15.95 for half a metre. Rustic red hearts on natural. 100% linen made from flax. It's the real deal. It's beautiful. If you're going to make a pair of trousers, this would be lovely. Right, and then how many have I got left of this one? I've only got eight units of this one left as well. Only got eight units of that one. That's four metres. There's only four metres of that one left. And then I've got the one that's called Rustic Red, which I love. I love this one. And again, I've only got eight, eight units. So that's four metres. I've only got four metres of this. If you want it, get in touch, because this is the last chance. Stash, dash, dash. Gorgeous, remember? Once they've gone, once those uh, four metres have gone, that's it. We're never getting it again. And it's beautiful, isn't it? Right, OK, I'll show you that one again. Right, the red, blue, green brushed cotton check is very popular as well. I've got a little mini iron here to show you as well. I'll show you that in a second. I haven't wafted this one. Oh, this one, I think this one's the one. There we go. This one's, I'd say, was the 4044, is it? This one, wide. Let me just double check for you. Yeah, 44 inches wide, this one. It's nice, isn't it? That's the brushed cotton. Red, blue, green brushed cotton. It's only 375, half metre. Now, you'll have seen uh, Jennifer Taylor, no, not Jennifer Taylor, uh, yeah, Jennifer Taylor making pyjamas out of this one, cosy pyjamas. But you'll all have seen Natasha making a dog basket out of it. It's very, very versatile. Not a dog basket, dog blankety bed sort of thing. Lovely, isn't it? Brushed cotton, there it is. It's the red, the blue, and the green. Three pounds and 75 pence for half a metre. Now, remember, when you buy these fabrics, um, people are multiplying that one, well done. Um, when you buy these fabrics, it gets delivered in one of these. Um, it's only when we do the fabrics cut off the bolt like this that you get this box. It's a really good quality, sturdy box. It has one of those, um, like that. What's that called? Oh, that's what it's called, is it? Like a rip, curl, tear away strip. That's little Paul for your tear away. And then what happened? He was a tear away. Now he's just boring. Uh, you get this box, you get this box, you get this box. And uh, the, the fabric comes wrapped in tissue. And we've had lots of people messaging saying they've kept the boxes. And they're such good quality cardboard that they've used them as storage boxes. They use them as storage boxes. Now, I did promise you a mini iron. It's not switched on. Before anybody says anything. Oh, I'll come back. Shall I come back to the mini iron then? Come back. Oh, no. Oh, oh OK. OK. So hang on. Right. So. Um, I haven't got one in a pack, so I want to see what, show you what you get in the pack. It's not switched on. I'll take the plug out so you can see it's not switched on. This is what you get. This is what you get if you buy the Clovid Mini Iron 2, the adapter. Um, it's really, really good. It's 49 95 Now, this is brilliant. I'm, I, what, you're going to see Tilly using this in the next hour, so that's why I've got it switched on now. But it comes with this um, attachment here. That's what gets, all of this gets hot. So when you switch it on, I'll just show you here. Let me put my glasses on. You've got the um, heat there. So you've got high heat, low heat, and off. Obviously, it's not plugged in, so it's not gonna, I'm not switching it on. Um, you obviously get the plug and everything on it. Then you also get this, this, this bit here, which is protects your hands. And then this is the actual bit that you use to iron. And what you do, <coughs> excuse me, is you just twist this. <coughs> When it's cooled down, ooh, 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 it's not, it's not. Right, you see? And basically, you can get different adapters to go in here. So this is the one it comes with, along with the screwdriver, and along with the little stand, which someone's uh, melted. You get all of that for £49.95. Right? So that's it, that's it, that's what you get. That's how it arrives at your house. £49.95. Right? But you can buy adapters to go with it. That's why it's called the... Ad oh, actually, hang on. That one's got the little... Oh, no, Amy, this is the wrong one. It comes with this one. It comes with that one. There you go. That's the one it comes with. Right? And then you can buy three different adapters to go with it. So that's the one you get. Sorry, that's the one you get there. Right? And then, which adapter would you like to go to first? 
Right, the one, the one that was in there then, just a minute ago, the big one there. So you can buy this adapter. Once you've got the iron for 49.95, you can then buy, so this, I'll just show you. This is called the large adapter. So this is the one you get with it. And that's the one called the large adapter that, come, that you can buy for eight pounds. <coughs> oh, excuse me, and, eight, and 95 pence. So if you've got, this one's perfect for doing little seams or little bits of uh, intricate work. This one's still doing intricate work, but just slightly bigger. It's nice, solid and heavy, that eight pounds and 95 pence. Have you got a picture of that one? I'll get the picture up for you. Because so you can show it, see how it arrives. This is called the Clover Large Adapter Tip. Good quality, really. Everything you get from Clover is good quality, isn't it? So there it is. That's how it'll come to you. That's the large one there. They'll come to you for eight pounds and 95 pence. Right, that's that one. The next one, I've got the long, thin one. So if you're doing binding, or if you're doing, if you're doing binding, it's called the slim one, not the long, thin one. It's called the slim one. Uh, slim line, even. Slim line. If you're doing little dolly's legs, it's good for that. If you're doing toy making, it's good for that. Because uh, it gets hot all the way along there, so you can just iron with the tip. Or if you need to get inside, if you're doing like, like the equivalent of like long socks or something like that for a doll, be perfect for that. This is £8.95 for this adapter. All you need to do is dial the number 0800 112 Or you can go to sewingquarter.com. Put one in your basket. Remember, the iron is 49 95 And there's the slimline tip adapter in its package. There's, oh, there's a little doll. You can see them doing the little doll socks on the picture there. And the last one, this one. It's, if you do bag making, if you do doll making, teddy bear making, this one's brilliant. If you make flowers, if you do flowers, this is fantastic because you can put anything like 3D. This one's good. This is the adapter ball tip. And this is really, really good for uh, anything with curves, anything with like corners, like purses or uh, little handbags, little clutch bags, anything like that. Because you can really use it to get into the corner. If you're doing flowers, you can use it like that, you know, and then the, the petals, are, hang on, the petals will kind of curl up a little bit. Fantastic. Uh, Eight pounds and 95 pence. I'll just show it to you in the package. There it is. You see, that is the adapter ball tip. What I'll do is I'll put it back with the smaller one on, ready for um, Tilly to use in the next hour. Okay. I'll show you the dashboard. Of course I will. I'll just put that to one side. Right. The graphics coming out on that one and then bringing in. Now, when you get this, when you buy this, it looks like a, a fat quarter, you know, normal fat quarter with eight pieces in it. Does, yours doesn't arrive like this. I've, we've just done this so you can have a look at the different fabrics that come in. Now, it's called a Dashwood Exclusive Fat Quarter because they created the fat quarter for us. Now, you might be able to buy fat quarters in other shops, but that's when the shops have actually cut them themselves. Um, Dashwood Studio... Oh, it doesn't say... Uh, uh, Hayley said it said exclusive, and it doesn't say exclusive anyway, does it? It's called Paper Meadow. What they do to get a, a fat quarter is they get a, a metre and they cut it in half and then in half again. 46 by 56 centimetres these are. £19.95 for eight gorgeous pieces. Now, it is the last chance, dash, dash. Um, if these sold out today, you would never, you'll never see them again because we're not, we're not doing them again. If they sell out today. Okay, I'm just going to change the subject slightly. If you want the songbird, there's only half a metre left. There's only half a metre. Of the, so if you've got it in your basket, I, ca I can't guarantee it. I can't guarantee it. I'm putting it in my trolley now. The, putting it in my trolley. If you've got the songbird in your basket, you need to check out. I can't guarantee you're definitely going to get it. Right, so this is the dashwood. We just showed you the picture of the uh, fat quarters that you get. The, in fact, these are the fat quarters. You'll get eight of these. So you get uh, that one. Eight. Seven, six, four, five, one. Oh, hang on. That, that's three under there. There's two. And then the boatyard number three. That's what Paul calls the boatyard. I'm not quite sure why. 
it's a futuristic sky skyscape to uh, Mike. I think it's just a lovely pattern, geometric pattern. Love that, love that one. Remember, you get all eight of those fat quarters in that bundle for 19.95. We're not doing this again. Once it's gone, it's gone. And I'm not saying you'll never see it again. If it sells out today, then you'll never see it again. But if it doesn't sell out today, obviously you'll see it again. Now, talking about selling out, better do a recap, hadn't I? The da oh, we haven't really talked about that. I'm, I right, OK, the dash fabric in light blue. Now, what you need to know is the dashes go across the fabric. From selvage to selvage. I'm waiting for them to go close up the fabric. So that's what, I'm still wafting. There you go. This is the light blue. This is the most popular so far. It's nice, isn't it? But the, the, the I mean, you can cut it, because the straighter grain is obviously going across as well. Um, obviously not been ironed. Jay's not in today, so it must have been Amy that didn't iron this one. Um, Lovely, aren't they? Dash fabric in light blue. Gorgeous, those little... Well, I, I, we were saying earlier, it looked like rain. Do you know when you look at the sea and it's just glimmering in the morning? That's what it's saying to me. The morning glimmering sea, sea, sea at the seaside. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. 0800 112 44 33. Uh, Sewinggorgeous.com if you want to add it to your basket. That is the light blue one, the most popular of, of the, the dash fabrics, closely followed by a Le Gris, the Macy Gray. Right, the Gray, which is this one. It feels lovely. It's really good quality cotton, this. Look. That's nice. That's very classy, isn't it, that one? Very elegant, that one. Going to make yourself something else. That would be lovely. Trimmed with a solid colour. That would look absolutely fantastic, wouldn't it? Dash fabric in light grey, five pounds and forty-five pence for half a metre. Remember, you can check out as many times as you like. You only pay one postage packaging for the whole day. That's lovely. That's really elegant. It's like a heron grey, that isn't it? Nice. We like that one. Well, we like all of them, but um, we like that one. I like that one in particular. But my, how's my favourite favourite doing then? The green. Oh, no. I'll get the green out now. Oh. Yeah. No, not all of them. One of them didn't fall on the floor. I'll pick them up now. While you're looking at this, Mike and I, uh, Tom and I'll pick them all up. Look, isn't that lovely? I love that green. It's so fresh, isn't it? Fresh. Thank you. Um, really, I love that colour. Yeah, the love, now the dash itself is cream going across the fabric. And then the base of the fabric is that lovely pistache. It looks very expensive. It looks almost like a suede green. You know, like we see really expensive suede in green. That's what it looks like. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. That's a metre. That's a metre there. So I'll show you what half a metre looks like. There we go. That's half a metre. Right, but do you know what? If you put it with these owls... Oh, hang on, I better just check there's more. There's owls left. There's... Oh, the owls have taken over. It's the most popular fabric in the morning. I think those two look lovely together. I'll just, I'll just show you there the juxtaposition of those two. There you go. Um, so I'm going to take the green out now, because just have the, the owls in and waft the owls. There's the owls if you want to have a look at it. Well, I'll just fold this. So for, who's bought the owl fabric so far? Let me, oh, loads of you. Stephanie, around the corner. Margaret, not far away. Elizabeth, Suzanne from um, the Northwest. Dawn, Jill. Oh, two Jills. Jill in Bedfordshire, Jill in Devon. Louisa. Oh, I like that name, Louisa. Margaret. Kathleen, Wendy, Wendy, I used to live in Louth, is that near you? Um, Olivia, Diane, Nicola, and Angela. Claudia and Mary, you need to check out your baskets, my love. Oh, no, another one needs to check out their baskets. Paula, Paula in Great London, you need to. I love them, I love that. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. Nice, isn't it? I team that with the green, you see. Maybe, not, maybe you don't want to do it with this green, but I look, they look lovely with the green.
Really, really lovely, isn't it? Uh, somebody's asking if the other blue would go with it. Um, who was that today? Angela. Angela, no, they would, they would. I'm being honest here now, but they don't go together because, look, they've got different... They're very different, the blue. That's more of an indigo blue, and that's more of an um, ocean blue, isn't it? So I don't... I wouldn't put them together. Those owls could be the last time you see that. They're selling so well. The owls are selling so well. That could be the last time you see it. Um, so, oh, hang on. This is the dash fabric in the blue, which you've not really seen yet. Let me open it up for you. That's a nice colour. That's nice. What, what would you call it? Not marine. It's not marine blue, is it? But it's more of a sea ocean blue, isn't it? There you go. It's a lovely blue, that one. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. That's gorgeous. Right, OK. What did you say you want to see next? The swallows. OK, I need to tell you, I need to tell you, there's only a metre of the swallows left. If you want, this is it. No, 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 this isn't it. This isn't the one you're going to get. But there's, this is how much of it I've got left. This is how much of, the, of it I've now got left. Oh, no, maybe I haven't. Oh, maybe. Maybe far away. Oh, it's only half a metre left now. Oh, right, people are going to miss out. Lots of you got that in your baskets. You need to check out. You need to check out. That one's gone now, so. Yeah, that one's gone. So that's the, so the bird song and the swallows gone. The, the owls will be gone very, very quickly, very soon. Then I've got these now. Um, the linens. We haven't shown you the linens. Oh, no, oh, yeah, hang on. Linens and the other check. I love these linens. Now, I know, I know that, these, uh, that these are um, a little bit more expensive than the other fabrics, but this is made from... Oh, uh, it's 100% linen. It's 100% linen, remember, made from flax. This is the most popular one. And you can feel it. As soon as you feel it in your hand, you can tell. You can tell, you can tell, you can tell that it's just good quality, fabulous, fabulous fabric. This is the most popular of the three so far. This is Ash Grey Hearts on Natural Linen. It looks very classy, doesn't it? You know the, um, the kind of shops that you'd imagine buying um, little tops or trousers or, or holiday wear out of this? You know, you know full well. And remember, it's 60 inches wide. It's 60 inches wide, look. Look. No, I, I couldn't do my magic trip too, because Jay, normally what I do is that, oh no, it's too, too thin. Because Jay, you'd see Jay behind that, wouldn't you? Um, oh, I watched Britain's Got Talent last night from the weekend. I was a bit disappointed. I, think it was, I thought the boy at the end was good, but I thought the rest were rubbish. Um, that's my own personal opinion. My opinion, nobody else's, just my opinion. Um, 15 pounds and 95 pence. I love the, oh, what was that? What was that Paul playing with his um, graphics there? Um, so that's the grey. That's the ash grey on natural. We also have the rustic red on natural heart. This is nice. Very, very nice. It's good quality. It's, the weight is just perfect for linen. You know, that really, really lovely weight. And of course, it's 100%, 100% linen. Fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Okay, and then I've got the um, red background one now. This is nice. Look, ready? Whew. I like this one. This is um. You see, I this is the this is the uh, natural hearts on rustic, but I'd be tempted to mix these two. Do you know what I mean? Let me just go there. Look, I'd be tempted to get... Well, it depends what you're making, I suppose, but I'd be tempted to mix that and that together. Oh, actually, yeah, you get more hearts on the red background, look. They're, they're smaller, or they just get more... No, you just get more of them. How funny, yeah, because these two are the same. Oh, yeah, well spotted, Mike. Well, he's an award-winning um, director of movies now, isn't he? Oh, yes, have you had... Uh, now, who forgot to switch the lights off yesterday, Thomas? Who was meant to switch them off? 
she didn't know where the switch was. I had to ring Michael and find out <laughs> where the switch was. Anyway, these are lovely, aren't they? I love these. I love these linens. Now let's go on from hearts to checks. Oh, I fancy. Do you know what I could do with a big check right now to pay for my holidays? The red, blue, green is the most popular. We'll have a quick look at that, quick shifty at that. Just see if there's a right side and a wrong side. Whoa! Remember, this is a meter that you're seeing here. Uh, oh, it's lovely. It's, uh, do you know what? This is, uh, this is what I needed this morning. It's lovely. Feels really, really lovely. Do you know what? We've got all this Monday. The management team will all be in soon. If they see me sit, just sitting on telly like that, just falling asleep on the telly. This is the red, blue, green brush cotton check. Three pounds and 75 pence for half a meter. I'll get my belly out of the shot. There you go. Three pounds and 75 pence. It's lovely. Three seventy-five for half a meter. We haven't looked at the other one. We haven't looked at the other one yet. See, I, I did Rob Roy the film. Anyway, that's by the by. No, that was Mel Gibbs. Uh, no, uh, Rob Roy. No, it was Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson and um, Jessica Lang. And Tim Roth. And oh, and um, the late uh, John Hurt. Yeah, he's in Rob Roy. Nice, this is nice. I like this one. Because then you could do this with this one. You could make a session. Stay there, Ryan. Mini eyes, other in mini eyes. Look. Could make a lovely evening wrap, wouldn't it, that? <laughs> that? That's not Rob Roy. Rob Roy never did that. Rob Roy never did that. I'm just thinking about you if, if you're... I can't go back the other way. I'm dizzy now. I'm watching my microphone. I'm going mad at my microphone. Ah, it's lovely. It's really lovely. Save it for the winter. All those chilly evenings. Make a lovely serape out of this, couldn't you? Serape. I think that's lovely. Oh, the owls. If you've got the owls in your basket, make sure you check out. Get half a metre, just wrap it round. I'm quite, remember, I'm quite fat, so if you were much thinner than me, it could be, go further. Make a little bolero out of it. See, Jennifer Taylor thinks she's got the uh, exclusive, the monopoly on, you know, non-patterned fabrics. I could do it a lot with half a metre of fabric, me. Her book comes out this next month. She's very excited. They've all arrived. The first batch have arrived at her house. There we go. Right. So which one haven't you seen, then? What do you want to see? Do I need to go over there, Stuart? No, it's too early to go over there yet, isn't it? The reason I've got to move, I'm going to be up, up front and honest, is there's a lot to set up for Tilly's show coming up. So they need me to get off this table and go over to that table, you see. Before I go, how much of these are left? The owl fabric's gorgeous on grey, isn't it? Right. There's one metre left. There's one meter available. If you want this, darling, now put it in your basket, but check out straight away. If you've got it in your basket, you two, need, you two people need to check out. You two need to check out as soon as you can. OK. Oh, in two minutes. I'll go now. I'll go now. Don't forget the mini iron's still available, but Tilly will be using that in her next hour. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going over there. It's just they need to set this table up. Are you sure you don't stick anything else with me? Because I can't come back. No, I'm going to. I'll take the linens. I'll take the linens with me. I'll take the linens with me. Come with me to set two. Come with me, and you'll see. That's uh, Willy Wonka, isn't it? That one, Chocolate Factory. Uh, right. When you buy this, when, this is me, look at me, positive. When you buy this, not if you buy this, when you buy this, it'll arrive at your house as a proper fat quarter tied with dashwood ribbon. There it is. Uh, it's exclusive, exclusive, £19.95. Now, we're not reordering it, or either we can't or we're not reordering it. So uh, once they've all gone, they've all gone. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying they're all going to go today, but when they have all gone, they will have all gone. Just so you know. So that's how the, the uh, fat quarter comes. And then these, 
are the fabrics. So what's that one? That looks like African canoes or rugby balls. Leaves, they could be leaves. Oh, they've most probably got proper names, haven't they? Uh, so that's the first one. Then there's that one, which is a very, very, a lovely kind of coral orange print, that one, uh, with fabulous, uh, kind of very modern, it's like a period fabric with a modern twist to it, that one, isn't it? Then we move on to this one, which is like minerals, they call this one. I think it's like tanzanite and uh, what's that one called? Fire opal, morganite, and a bit of diamond there. Oh, that's just Tomo switching his computer on. Uh, then there's this one. I love this one. If you're watching the other day when Joe made um, a, ham a little handbag or purse, this is the fabric she used for that, isn't it? Really, really, really lovely. Might be the last time you see it. If it sells out, say you won't see it again. Uh, the one issue I've got, I'm just putting my nose in now to them setting up across the way. We, won't, we can't put the ironing mat on top of a cutting board, so we either have one or the other, I'm afraid. Uh, right, this is lovely. 1950s. Very 1950s inspired. That's, I think that's lovely. This, you know, producer Hannah, this sums her up. This is her, really. Then, of course, there's this one, which is like a lovely geometric pink. Oh, they are leaves, look, because there they are again. They've repeated them there. So they are leaves on the first one. Nice cream background, lovely cream background on that one. This is my, this is one. You see, I would put this one and this one together. I'd put those two together, because I think they look lovely together, those two. I know you think I'm mad. I know you think I'm crazy. Look, you can't really see them. There you go. That one and that one. I put that one and that one together. See, they're lovely. I love that one because it's like, I say it every time, it's like, you know, the hole punch things you've got and then the back falls off and all the little bits fall all over the floor. Very Rococo. And then last but not least, the New York geometric skyline or the boatyard, depending on which way you look at it. I think they look like... Um, Oh, no, maybe not. I was going to say nibs of pens. They look like different pens to me. So for that whole uh, fat quarter bundle, you get eight of them, 19 pounds and 95 pence. Right, before I leave you, I just need to go through these linens again because I love these linens. Right, I'll put all three of them out so you can see all three of them together and then you can make your mind up which one you like best. Uh, but they are limited, remember. You've got to remember they are limited. So you're going to put the uh, rustic red background with natural hearts in first. That's the middle one that you're seeing there. OK, so there's the three. Oh, they're cool. Now, remember, these are 100% linen. These are not linen look. They're 100% linen. So this one that you're seeing now, oh, oh, you're right on the edge of the table there. That one is natural hearts on rustic red, 15 pounds for uh, half a metre, 15.95 for half a metre. So that's this one. That's the rustic red one in the middle there. Then this one here to the side, oh, I'm trying to show you, but this one here to this side, this is rustic red hearts on natural. 100%, 100% linen, remember? Uh, really, really lovely. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, uh, such a lovely print pattern. But can I just show both of them together? Is that all right? These two together here. Because I would team them together. But as uh, Mike pointed out earlier, you do get more hearts on the rustic red background than you do on the natural background. But I think that's quite nice. Let me just turn that edge over. If you were to use a binding of these, oh, it's live telly for you, it's Monday morning. Uh, if you were to use this as a binding, look how lovely those two look together. Let me just show you. There you go, look. Really, really gorgeous together. Why is that computer making so many different noises, Amy? And then last but not least, now this is the best seller of the three. This is the best seller of the three, this one. This one is natural linen with the ash grey hearts on it. Most popular three, that one. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. £15.95 for half a minute. Remember, it's 100% linen, and I've checked it. I know a lot of you have been messaging in. This is real linen made from flax. The others are linen. Look, we are going to sort that out for you. Uh, right, now, don't go anywhere, because after the break, uh, Tilly Rose, I've not done a show with Tilly Rose before, uh, Tilly's, and she's using, you know, the threads, the photocopy, that's where all the noise has been. Uh, little Paul's going to the toilet, all right? Is that all right with everyone while we finish off the show? Um, uh, so, so Tilly's doing uh, this really lovely bunting 
Uh, but it's bunting with a difference. Bunting with a difference. But what I love is, is what she's going to use, apart from Tilly, award-winning, award-winning Tilly Rose, uh, apart from uh, just using the thread printer, she's going to put her stamp on how to make this lovely, but it's bunting with, with a difference. You'll see in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Actually, go and make yourself a quick cup of tea. If you don't want to watch the adverts, go and make a quick cup of tea. Be back here in less, well, just, just three minutes, and uh, we'll show you how to make this really lovely bunting, but it's bunting with a purpose. And we've even got pictures, I think, of Norman and Nelly. My cats, I know. Uh, I'll see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the herringbone stitch. This is a stitch that's used for holding two layers of fabric together and its construction makes it ideal for things like stretch fabrics because the stitches will move with the cloth. It's also a really nice decorative stitch. So I'm going to start with my needle and thread. Now I'm actually using embroidery thread so you can see what I'm doing and I've also put a knot in the end. So starting from the wrong side of the fabric we're going to go through to the top. I'm actually going to be working from left to right, but you can also work right to left, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're going to start with a diagonal stitch going up. So that's our first stitch. Now you're going to come back on yourself and to the left of that stitch. But this time we're going to come down. You want to try and keep this as even as possible. So you can see that we've created our first cross. Now again, going from the left to the right, we're going to create oh, our stitch. So you can see we've got a cross there and a cross there. So there we have our herringbone stitch. Join us on Wednesday the 24th of May when we'll be joined by the talented Joy Edgington. Joy will bring us an amazing project from a wonderful new book, Seaside Quilts. She'll show you how to create a boat and a wave block, which will be perfect for developing your techniques into some stunning projects. So, don't miss Joy on Wednesday the 24th of May at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So today I'm going to show you how to do a double stitch. Now you would use a double stitch at the start and the end of your sewing to uh, secure your threads rather than using a rig, really big knot. So you're going to want to um, take a thread. Now I'm using embroidery thread so you can see what I'm doing. And you're going to want to take your needle through the front of your fabric first and then come out back through the front. So I'm using really big stitches at the moment so I can see what I'm doing. You're going to leave a tail before you then repeat that in and out motion so you can see that's one. I'm going to go back through again and that's two. 
So you can see I've done two stitches in the same place. That's giving me my double stitch. You would then do whatever stitch it is that you're going to go on to do. So I'm just going to do a quick running stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to do my double stitch at the very end of my uh, stitch there. So it's repeating the process. So I'm going in, and back out, in, and then back out before clipping my threads. So obviously you would clip these closer when you get to uh, finishing your garment. So there you have it. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at .com. visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Now, a lot of you will know this lovely lady. Uh, she's an award-winning. I'll just hold this up. You won an award. Well, well, it was quite I prestigious, did. wasn't it? Well, it was for me. Well, no, <laughs> well, no I I've think I've never won anything before. Oh. So I was very proud. And uh, what was it you won then with this? So this was for the embroidery competition at uh, Utoxeter British Quilt and Stitch Village earlier this year. Oh, yes. fantastic. And it's yes. lovely. Is there a story behind it? There is, yes. So I, I live in the Fens, and uh, it didn't start out the way it's sort of evolved. But art um, never does, does it? It doesn't, really? no. Mm. And I, I had a vision of doing something completely different. But the more photographs that I was taking, so all of these photographs I've taken of the Cambridgeshire Fens, um, and then it's kind of, it's a little bit of my family history. So the cottage that we've got on one of the photographs is quite iconic in the uh, Cambridgeshire Fens. Anybody who goes down a certain road will know it's there. Oh, okay. Um, and I thought, oh, well, that, okay, we'll put that in. And then it's just evolved from there. So the photograph that I've put in with him is my great, great uncle. Where's, he, where's he down um, at the bottom? Just, just here. Oh, yes. Yeah. They didn't live in the cottage, but they lived around that area. Okay. So, it, yeah, it just evolved, and it's it's like any project, John. And, it's, that, it's uh, just... and what's all this? Embe is this the embellishment yes. that you so did? Yes, so this is all free motion embroidery. And then these are all photographs that you've taken yes. and yeah. then With printed threads. onto the threads. Yes. Because um, that's yep. what we're here to show you today. Yep. The reason we're just sitting down is that just... I'll just roll this up gently so it's nice and done. Um, is that uh, Tilly's here as the brand ambassador I am. for threads, yeah. which is a fantastic... We've, we've, sh we've shown it once before. I'll just put this over here for a okay. second. Um, it's the most incredible um, product, isn't it? Isn't it? Now, there must have been an awful lot of technology going on to create this. Yes, they are. So the company um, has been actually going from the 1950s. And the guy who set that up uh, was an engineer and uh, well known for um, his interest in sales. And uh, so the techno technology that they use um, is a company based in America, and uh, they produce uh, fabric for um, NASA spacesuit. Oh, okay. Um, so this is kind of a you know a side shoot off there. Yes. Um, and actually, what they've produced is um, the fabric is um, it, it's got a, a, a coating on the threads um, on both sides, so that when you print. Um, so the transfer fabric that we've had in the past, if you've used that before, John, you'll know that the transfer usually just sits, sits on, the, on top, the top. Yes, yeah. And you kind of get um, like a real sort of squeaky feel yes, or a yeah. plastic. Well, you can know about those T-shirts you buy on yeah, holiday. Yeah, that sort where of it says, thing. I, I went on then. This is all I got. But you know that the fabric, yeah, and where so the that, letters that are, that sort of just sits on the top. Yeah. Whereas this technology, they've worked with the, the different fabric, um, and it coats each individual. Uh, thread, hence the name threads, mm -hmm. um, 
And because of that, um, then there's an even distribution and it actually gives it a better defined finish. OK, so what it is we've actually got to show you today is there are two different kinds of fabrics. There's uh, yeah. twill and there's poplin. What you can do is you can get your favourite photo yeah. and print it onto fabric. Yeah. But it's but not just bung it on any fabric. It's no. like it goes on the cotton and the twill. But you don't have to iron it to fix it. Nope. You can wash it. Yep. You can make all sorts of things with it. And the reason we're saying here is with, I think it's all set up now. We're going to make, I'll show you. I'll show you what we're going to make. Um, this is this really lovely uh, bunting. Actually, if yes. you take that Shall end I of it there. We're going to make this really lovely bunting, but it's kind of bunting with a difference, isn't it? It because is. So it's a sewing tidy. Because what we've done, what I've done is I've actually taken photographs of my sewing equipment. Right. Um, so you can personalise it. And then, obviously, I've made the pockets with the fabric that we've got on the show as well. Yes. Um, but where I've printed it on cotton poplin, I've then actually personalised, and I've actually written on the, you know, what I want in each pocket. So we're going to show you in this show yeah, how, we're how this, show. this all works. OK, we'll just show you the still of the, of the threads of what we're actually selling. Or the, the, there you go. Right, we'll go over to the main desk okay. now, and then we'll, um, we'll tell you exactly how to make and create this kind of fantastic look. Now, as I said, they come in poplin. And now, let's excuse the mess on the table. There's an awful lot of technology here. You don't have to have technology. Let me just explain to you. All you need at home is a printer, isn't it? A yes. normal printer. Now, it's important it's that important it's... It's important that it's inkjet. And not laser. And not laser. And why is yes. that? So the inkjet is it's water-based ink. Right. OK, and that's what obviously works with the coating on the fabric. OK, yeah. so as long as you've got any, any printer that uses ink, inkjet... Yes, and also uh, on that point as well, John, like I know after the first show I did, I had loads and loads of inquiries, and hopefully I'm going to cover them in oh, the yes, show yes, today. Sure. Um, but loads of people said, you know, do I have to have an expensive inkjet printer or, you know, what kind of brand? It doesn't matter. It, it needs to be just an inkjet printer that you would buy from any office supplies stationary type, yes, yeah. you know, store. Um, but if anything, uh, I mean, the one we're using today wasn't an expensive one. You... <laughs> <laughs> I'm but... saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you just need to know how to uh, print something out on paper yes, that you would at yes. home. And that's all you need to know. So if you, <coughs> excuse me, so if you print up pictures at home on paper, you'll be able to do this. You will. You'll be able to yes. do this. Uh, we've, only, we've only shown it twice before. You've been in once before yes. with it, and Anchi's been and in Anchi. with it once before. Sold out both times, right? Sold out both times. We've got them both back in today, so don't leave it too late to order it. This is, you see, you get six A4 sheets. Wait, no, hang on, which one have you got up? You've got the poplin, which is this one. The poplin is this one here. Uh, 1995 uh, for six sheets. That's one one we're going to be using in this hour, and then in the 11 o'clock hour, we're going to be using the cotton twill. You get six A4 sheets for 19 pounds and 95 pence, but the twill, because the fabric is thicker, is 21 pounds. You can buy them both now. If you know what you want, you can buy either of them or both of them now. But we're just using going to use the cotton poplin one in this show. Isn't that right? It is. Right now, so shall we just go through the basics of how you print of up? a picture onto a thing before we start making your uh, yeah. because we want to get to sewing we yeah, want to see no, your no, no, no. creativity I'd but like we just want to see show people at home of how course. you actually yes. print up a picture on the now if you've got any questions don't forget you can send them through to little paul on the on the <laughs> something that's a very long thread that means a new job doesn't it um uh, if you um got any questions send them through the web chat to little paul and uh, he'll pass them on to tilly right what do we need first okay I'm just looking for my photographs. Your photographs. Just bear with me. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. We just saw them in school, didn't we? Can I we just look had at one them here. Norman? Is it on that table? Is it on that table there, Tom? Hey, hey, hey! It's underneath the laptop. I knew we'd be looking at them. See, I am organised. No, no. The, the, <laughs> I want to say this is none of none of this. Is, till you arrived totally an hour early and totally utterly <laughs> prepared. It's all it's all our doing. This is all our doing. Okay. Right. So. Um, to start with, um, lots of questions came in after my last show about what kind of photograph, how do I get the photographs. Um, so you, if you take a photograph on your phone or you take a photograph on your camera and transfer it onto your computer. So it doesn't need to be 
state-of-the-art camera or anything no, like that? No, you can no. literally do them on your phone? You can do it on your phone. You can also scan. If your printer does a scan, you can scan in photographs. Yes, so you yes. might want to use a, an old photograph. Like you have with your yes, uncle yes, or your granddad, yeah. whoever it was so on there. anything where you would print out a photograph, regardless of what you were doing with it on paper, that's your sort of foundation. Yes. Okay. Now, you sent me one this morning of... Uh, Norman. Norman. That's Norman. Okay, yeah, shall I Norman. hold that to camera? Yes. Is it best to turn This is my Norman. He's a cat, by the way. <laughs> okay, so... This is the first time you've seen Norman on the same court. So that's <laughs> him sitting on my dining table. I was not angry at all. That's him looking elegant. <laughs> anyway. So um, this was just sent from your phone yes. through to my and laptop. And it was taken on my phone. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah. And all I've done is printed it out on paper. Right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the poplin and... We'll put it into the printer. Right. Um, and I'll just run through a, a few um, things that you need to make sure that when you print out, you, you've got the right, correct settings. So you don't need to change anything on your laptop or your computer. Right. Okay. The only thing that you do need to change, now I'm just going to get the fabric. The fabric comes in my little pack here. Okay. When you um, get your pack that you order, yes. um, you'll have your sheets... Um, You've got a set of instructions in there, and your sheets, um, you need to take them out as you use them. But don't okay. take all of them out. No, then. just take out one sheet, because um, you'll, you need to keep them in this protective um, plastic. Envelope. Oh, OK. Yes. So okay. as soon as you've got that one out, yeah. zip lock Zip-lock that one back up again. And then right. that keeps it fresh for next time. OK, brilliant. So um, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but you've got a fabric, which is the cotton poplin this side. Yes. And on the other side is um, the paper coating. So on the, this is, you might not be able to sit on the telly. This side is just paper, yeah. like a paper coating. Yeah. And then this side, you can actually feel it. Yes. You can actually feel the fabric on the top of there. So yeah. you know, right, yeah. okay, that's good. So all we need to do is to actually print out the photograph that we're going to, um, of Norman. Yes. Um, if you want to take the paper out the printer. Oh, yes, yes. Well, that's okay. actually fabric. They put the fabric with it, but I'll take that out. Right, okay. The only thing I do need to say, sometimes you just get these little snippets of threads on the edge yes. before you put it in. Uh, you just need your scissors just to cut those off because you don't want those little bits shredding into your printer. As oh, it goes yes, of course, okay. of course, of course. You don't, you don't get them very often at all. Now, uh, depending on the size, uh, the, the type of printer you're going to use, you can have top loaders yes. or bottom loaders. So the one at home, I've got a bottom loader. So have I? Have I was you? just trying to think of it then, yeah, you put it in there. <laughs> now, if you're yeah. not sure, again, I had loads of questions on this. Before you actually do any printing on your fabric... Yeah. Put your paper in, yeah. okay, put a little cross on the oh, top, yes, so, you, yes. so you know which way it's going to go up, all right? Yeah. Once you've done that on your paper, you can then put your fabric yes, in, because so you, know you don't that it's want gonna to waste Because you want to print on the fabric side, not on the paper exactly. side. Yeah. So um, the fabric would go um, underneath and then flip up if you were using a bottom um, loader. We're using a top loader today, okay, so I'm going to get you but to check just... your check your, like, like Tilly said, just put a piece of paper with a cross on it, yes, yes. put it through, and then you'll know which side know. it comes yeah. out. Because I, I wouldn't have known on mine. No, and actually, it's a good point to keep... If you've got a pack of, um, you know, your, your uh, fabric, keep that printer with your cross and actually write on there which way you, you put the actually put your paper in. Exactly. Because you won't need to keep testing it every single time. No, then. of course. Okay. Right, OK. So the fabric goes... Uh, facing out. So do you want to put that in the printer ready, John? Okay, where does that go then? So in? that just literally goes in the in top. There. Yeah, make sure it's sitting down to... Are we in? Yeah, yeah. We're OK? OK. Asking me to do... Te is it on one side? It looks a bit skewy. Oh, that looks like it's slanty there. Hang on, let me put it in properly then. Is that where it actually goes in there? We need Tomo, really, don't we? Oh, no, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Are we in? Does that look straight? Yeah, that's yeah? it. OK. So I'm just going to find the picture that we're going to print out. Of the so moment. you just print it as you would be printing yes. a piece, uh, like at home if you were printing up a photograph. Yeah. yeah. So you click on your photograph. Okay. Now this is the point that um, on the piece of paper where I've just said write about your settings. Yes. Write this down as well. Oh, okay. So you need to remember when you click on print. Right. Okay. Um, you need to click where it says paper type. Right, OK. I'll just explain this because you can't see this. When you pre press on c c uh, print, you get the list down the side, don't you? Portrait, A4, all those different things. Yeah. You get to paper type. Yeah. And you need to press... And we need to make sure it's on a mat. 
Oh, yes, you don't want it on gloss. No, it's not like not a glossy gloss. photo. You have to set it to matte, yeah. right? So, um, then you need to make sure also, um, we've got the fill full page there. That's okay. I'm just checking. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. So the only thing you have to guarantee is that it's A4, portrait as this is portrait, yes. matte, full page, fit to fill the page. Um, you can do, but uh, we've got that setting now, but yeah. you might want to change your setting. Oh, yes, so, okay. You know, so you that doesn't matter. So it's the same as if you're making any photograph and yes. you just put what you'd want to. Yeah. So that's yeah. what we've chosen to do. But the, mo the one thing you have to do is, the is matte. matte. Yeah. So all the others, you can change it to whatever you want, but you have to have matte. Yeah, right. and the other thing I need to mention is this is set up um, to obviously print on here. But you hope. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the quality of your ink, if you're doing normal printing, you would have that set to normal setting. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to check we've got ours set on the best because that's what you need to make okay, sure. Okay, so you, this is where we're clicking on more settings. Um, okay. Just bear with us. Yeah, that's fine. Colour mode, is that it on there? Uh, no, I think no. no. We just look. So what are we looking for? There it is. Okay. So you're looking for output quality. Okay. On here it says high. The one at home will say best on right, high. Okay. So you okay. might say something different. Yeah. But you, but want, you want the best. best. Yes. You okay. Do. Yeah. Okay. So we're all set up. We're matte and we're best. Yes. Okay. We press. So they're the two. They're the two. Yes. That you have to do. Everything yes. else you can set to however yeah, you want to set fine. it. Right. Brilliant. And the, the instructions will actually yeah, say, um, yeah. you know, in the, in the pack. Okay, we'll then you just it. press print, have and you? And then you just press print. Now, I've got a feeling on our printer here, I just need to, nope, I'm just checking. We had a little thing where it was... It's making noises. Checking. It's making noises. All right, no. Oh, so have we got an issue? Press. No, 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 I just need to press this one. Okay. That's it. And we should be away. Yep. There we go. We've had so many issues, technical issues this morning. Nothing to do with Tilly, nothing to do with threads or anything like that. It's all, all our, our thing. So that takes a while to go through because it takes as long as... Yes, so go and make a cup of tea. Yes. And, and come back and you'll have a little surprise. But big, because, because it takes as long as it takes to, to, to do a photograph on paper, it doesn't does. it? It does. So um, while it's printing, can yes. I just um, tackle a couple of questions yes. as well? Um, so I've been asked if it takes more ink right. because it's printing on fabric. Yeah. The answer is no. Your printer doesn't know that you're putting in fabric. It's assuming it's a piece of paper. Oh, okay. And that's what I was actually just clicking there to, to assure the printer that it was paper. Right. Um, and because you've set it up on the mat and the best setting, um, obviously you're, you, it knows what it's printing or, or, or yes. down onto the fabric. So there's not that issue either. Um, and there was going to be something else I wanted to say. It'll come back to me. Okay, then. Okay, okay. Then. Um, but what I really want to say is that it's so easy. It's literally just print out your yes. piece of we, fabric. We, it's all looked a little bit complicated here, only because this isn't your computer, this isn't your printer. Our Wi-Fi is not working properly. So it's really... I've done it at home, right? And it is so simple. When, you're in the, when you've got your own computer and, your own, and you don't have to worry about a television camera and everything no. like, it really is just like printing. And the, the quality, I can tell you now, the quality of the picture as it comes through is absolutely brilliant. Uh, we'll have a look at it in, in a second because what I want to do is, do you, I'm just going to leave you here just while that prints yes, up. could we show the... Um, I, I've got to show that and I'll show, show the fabrics sure. that you're going to use in a second okay. as well. So these, I'll just show you these pictures here. Now, if you look at the, I should have brought the packet over me, on the packet, these are actually on the packet. You see the, this cushion? This is made from a collage of photographs that the people at Threads have made. You see, and I think this, this cushion took four A4 sheets in total, didn't yes, it? Yes, I think so. Four A4 sheets, because it's got all the different, because you've got the real photographs, you've got the montage of cartoon bits there, you've got the bits at the ends and everything. If you look at the, have you got the picture of the front cover of the, um, the threads that we're selling. We're doing the poplin at the moment. This is the twill. This one's made of the twill. But, oh, hang on there. So that's the wrong one. Uh, I'll show you this instead then. I'll show, I'm going swimmingly well, isn't it? Yeah, this is the poplin one here. I'll show you, I want to see the picture of the cushion. But this is the poplin one that they've used to create this lovely little pencil case and notepad case. It's so, so they've done this picture. There's that picture on there. And then, of course, they've done another picture here. And what I love here, you see this? That's a picture of blue sequins. So if you want that sequin effect but don't actually want sequins, that is a print of fabric, because that's the other thing you can do, isn't it? You can take it a picture yeah. of your favourite piece of fabric. Yes. 
So if you've got like wedding dress fabric that you want to make a collage, if you're doing a collage for your wedding day, remember, making a cushion, making a quilt for your wedding day, you can take a picture of the wedding dress, you can take a picture of the bride, you can take a picture of the fabric, you can take a picture of the lace, you can take a picture of the flowers and create the most fabulous collage of all the different pictures. So this is the Poplin one and that's on the front cover of the Poplin package when you buy it, this actual piece here, okay? So, if you want them, six sheets for $19.95, they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'll just show you these three fabrics very quickly that we're going to be using to make Tilly's bunting, because it's still, it's almost printed out, it's almost printed out, so let's just do this. So, the first fabric, daisies. You've seen these before, these are, they're, they're calling these the, the denim uh, fabrics, but they're a denim look, they're not real, de it's not real denim. It's called Ragged Daisies, £11.45 per half metre. You'll only need half a metre to do this lovely bunting, because you'll get... A, a lot out of uh, half a metre, won't you? So yeah. this is the Ragged Days at £11.45 for half a metre. There's this one here, which is really lovely. It always reminds me of a spring garden, this one. Uh, same range, it's the same range. It's rosebud, this one. Rosebud, I think they look more like um, Lily of the Valleys or little um, snowdrops, really. £11.45 for half a metre. Again, that's that um, linen, uh, the, the denim look, sorry, the denim look. And then I've also got this really lovely linen look fabric. It's 100% cotton, but it's linen look fabric. These are just the fabrics that Tilly's used in this um, project. That's lovely, isn't it? That's 4.95 for half a metre. Right, now I just need to warn you, last time we did the, the threads project, both with Angie and with Tilly, the, the threads sold out, sold out. So if you've got it in your basket, please check out, please check out. Right, I'll go back to Tilly now and get on. Right. OK, John. So, so um, while obviously um, you were chatting there, it's, yeah. uh, it's come out of the printer. Now, I don't know if the camera can pick up the difference. Uh, it looks better on the fabric. I was just about to say that. Isn't that a difference of the colour, the depth? I'm not. Oh, yes, you can see. You can, can you? see. You can see. OK, so we literally printed out the paper just before we went on air. And then, obviously, this is the one we've just done now on the poplin. Yes. So the 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 uh, fabric just gives it such depth. Really, really, and best for the time being, or will you be coming back to this? Uh, I might come back. Okay, to no, it. no, that's is fine. That I'll just okay? I'll just tidy it up yeah. a little bit. That's all right. Okay. Okay. I just want to give you I'm as much space if we as you can. Just unplug it. it. No, I'm not going to unplug it. Might I'm take not, a no. while. <laughs> <coughs> not unplugging <laughs> it or anything. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I would leave this um, probably eight to ten minutes if you are going to wash it. Right. All right. Now, you don't need to wash it. If you're putting it in a project, like the quilt that I had at the beginning, I haven't washed any of that because I'm I know it's going now, to... <laughs> <laughs> I um, I know it's not going yes. to be laundered. Yeah, exactly. Okay. If you were doing, um, uh, you know, maybe this uh, as a pocket on a, a, a garment yes. or a bag or something, and you know it's going or to be laundered. Or what we suggested in one of the very high-end fashion stores in London, yes. they're selling denim jackets with ah. pictures zigzagged on them, right, for a fortune. And we were saying when Angie was on. Take of a picture course. of this, stick it on the back it of the denim jacket. You've got to do yeah. zigzag around the edge and everything. It's fantastic. Perfect. So, yeah, Perfect. so if it's going on something in wash, yes. leave it longer. Just leave it for eight to ten minutes, yeah. just for it to set. And, okay. um, and then we'll, we'll go through the washing instructions a bit later. Yeah, okay. But here's one um, of the... So this is the, the bunting that I've brought right, in. Let's, let's go back tidy. to what, you're, what, you're, what we're making. If you missed the top of the show, you've used the threads... Um, yes. So I've, uh, what I've done is I've photographed, and I did this using my phone, um, just of my sewing equipment. Yeah. Let's go to the end. Okay. And I've made these little pockets, okay, using the fabric we've got on the yes. show. Okay. And all I've done is I've put the uh, photographs onto one sheet. Right. And cut them out. So okay, I'm not wasting my time. Oh, oh, I see. So if you're not taking, like we've taken a full big picture of Norman there, yeah. but if you want to do four little ones, yes. you create on your computer. Yes, yeah. Or you can do that on your phone. Some, oh, can you? Some phones can do that. Not, not every, you know, not everything. But Mind you, you little Paul had to show me how to, how to edit a picture the other day. I had oh. no idea whatsoever. So, um... But uh, that's what I did with your picture, the one that you sent over. All yeah. I did was reduce that down. Oh. I've taken away some of the detail on the peripheral of the, you oh, know, the wow. picture. So, so, so you put the, so you've got cotton reels, buttons, yes. <clears throat> pins and needles, yes. and stitching memories. You put all four pictures on yes. one, so that means you don't have to waste exactly, the sheet. and you're not wasting your fabric. Yes. Now, um, you mentioned about taking photographs of fabric. One of the reasons I wanted to showcase this yeah, was yeah. because. 
Um, I've got some vintage lace here. This is some Edwardian lace. And this is some, um, I think this is linen and hessian I used. I can't quite remember which one it was now. Um, but you can see, you can see the detail. Um, so not only just textures. But this is on the paper, isn't it? This so, is on so the paper. So you know paper. it's going to be even better yeah. when it comes on the so fabric. So this is the one that we've printed out um, onto the uh, actual fabric. Okay. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how you take the paper off. Okay. Yes, yes. So, we mentioned it had a paper backing. Yeah. Um, the easiest way I find is on Grow the your corner. Nails. <laughs> <laughs> is just make a little tear on the paper. Yeah. Okay. Now, it might be easier to camera if I just do it yeah. down. Okay. So, I hold the end down. Okay, because what you don't want to do is to stretch your fabric. Um, I know some people have had a go at this, and as they've pulled, they've actually pulled the fabric away from the paper. Oh, yes, no, no. Okay. So you want to... Put your hand flat on the fabric, okay, because you're not sweat stretching it, and you're taking that paper off your fabric. And that's okay? how rubbish, isn't it? Yes. Um, I've and I have to say... Oh, okay. No, no, go on. You no, I was going to say the paper oh. is environmental friendly. Oh, okay, so, so recycled. it can be recycled. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. What you going to say? Now, the paper's really expensive, and you need to... Uh, a question for Julie is about <laughs> okay. printing. Can Hello. you print on half a page... Cut it in half and then print on the other piece. Yes, you can if you cut if you've got the correct settings on your computer. I I haven't done that as such, right. but I have printed out on paper the smaller ones. So right. I haven't actually. I'll be really honest. I haven't tried it on the actual fabric. Okay, sheet. that's Julie okay. and Marcia. Oh, lovely to see Tilly back. This project is fantastic. Oh. Oh, it's lovely, that, it's lovely yeah. when they get in touch with it. Right, <clears throat> so you've pulled the paper back off. So now, this is cotton twill, is it, this one that no, you used? No, sorry, I oh. was writing that as I was talking to you, and I knew as soon as I'd written it, okay. it's not. It's no, I was going to say, because it's poplin we're doing this out. <laughs> so now, if you see, I'll just show the camera. Yes. This is cotton poplin, really beautiful, and it's good quality. It's, it's not like, beautiful. oh, they've just bunged any old fabric on. No, it's really good no. quality poplin. Yeah. Now, you see, it's got, you can fold it, it, it drapes, everything. You can, I mean, it'd be fantastic to make, and a dress or, or a piece that folds on the bias or anything you can, like that. You, like you, on the bolster, you know, just sew them together and yes, you've got a bigger piece. Yes, create your own fabric, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, right. um, what I've done now for my sewing tidy, so I'll, I'll start to show yes, you how yeah. I've put them together. So, you can use it as a rotary cutter, um, you know, use your rotary cutter to cut the squares. What's your, what's your background? Before you started doing creative things like this, were you a dressmaker, uh, were you a quilter? Well, actually, I, uh, my background is in education. All oh, right. Um, so I've worked with children with special needs for 30-odd oh, years. Oh, fantastic. Um, and as part of that, my uh, training was in visual impairment. So I'm a visual impairment specialist. And I did a lot of uh, tactile work, yes. uh, multi-sensory work, using layers of fabric and everything. Yeah. So I've... I've been using fabric and teaching that for many, it's many so years. It's so important because I'm, I'm the patron of two children's charities and they ah. have the sensory, the Rainbow Trust Children's Charity in the Acorn Trust oh, Place. Right. And they have sensory rooms where you can touch and feel. And also exactly. my dad, I'm not going to get into all medicals, but he had dementia when he was, uh, before he yes. passed. And, and they uh, need yes, things they to do. touch and feel the whole time. So to create things like out of this, out of artwork that they can touch and everything, it's well, fantastic. But in our 11 o'clock show, actually, John, I was going to mention that because we're going on to talk about using photo mo a mosaic of photos. Yes. And I've got it in a project for a cushion. But that's I've used that with um, patients with dementia for bringing back those memories, um, you know, family members. Well, and, I, I, know. I, 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 I don't want to turn it into a medical show, but when my dad was still kind of lucid, you could talk to him, because he was a pilot in the war, you could talk oh. to him about flying Spitfires, you could talk to him about, and, and he would like know every little yes. detail, yeah. but then he'd sit there and he'd go, I've not been fed this morning, I've not had any food this I morning, you're like, I've been here for three days, no, I've not, I've not seen, no, and where's John, where's John? But the same breath, he could talk to you about um, his life in the, you know, in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and things I like know. that, with total clarity. So looking at photos, I used to then yes, and that's put him on really Google important. Map and take him to his old houses. Yes. And, and he used to go, oh, yes. And yeah. in Essex, when he was a boy, and he'd be saying, there's a church along here, and this, and this is where I did this, and this is where I did that. And it brought... Uh, I'm, don't, I'm yeah. not turning into that kind of show, but it's... No, it's, you but know. it's... The little bolster that we've got on there showing the photographs, yes. that's a perfect example, because you can actually add then ribbons and buttons and things for the, they call them the twiddly, um, I forget the twiddly something. Yes. <laughs> um, but they're really good with dementia patients because you can... Oh, we've got picture, we've got some pictures apparently of okay. things that people have made. Sorry Tilly, That's we'll get on with right. the sewing in a second. Uh, oh, now what's that then? 
Oh, is this using the fabric? Right, Jackie's made this. Are there photos? Oh, look. oh my gosh, that's a lot of hard work. Oh, Jackie. they're photos of Jackie's husband. So that's her memory quilt of her husband. Wonderful. So poplin is perfect for putting in a quilting project yes. because it's that way. Uh, so it's the poplin or the twill? The poplin. The poplin would be good. Um, well, for something like uh, like the fabric yes. there, the, the, the uh, design, because obviously it's the same weight as your 100% uh, yes. cotton that you're using. And then obviously she's just used her photographs then to interchange. Oh, Jackie, that's so this one from Marcia. Oh, look at Marcia's, look at Marcia's. Oh. I've seen this one on Facebook. Yes, Marcia, I'm so pleased you, I was going to show this in the 11 o'clock show, but I'm so glad she's sent it in. I've seen that. Now, is it on your, is it on your yes, Instagram it or Facebook page? I've so seen that. So Marcia got in touch with me after the last show um, because it's a similar theme to what I've done on my quilt. She's used um, a photograph of her friend who, uh, her house, who she was moving house. And then she's embellished on top and obviously given her a gift of her oh, old house. Isn't that a lovely so that's the idea? old house. That that's like my old house, that one it's in Twickenham. Beautiful. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Mine wasn't quite that big, so just anyway. Let's get on with the, the, the kind of. Um, the, 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 the picture is still. Our picture with Norman is still dry, but we get moved on to now. We've yes, taken the so picture, we've I've cut it up into out, four. I, okay, so, yeah. I, yeah, so I've cut out my um, image that I yes. want to put on. Now I'm using the, the denim daisies, yeah. and then I'm backing it with this lovely... Rosebud. Um, is it rosebud? That's yeah. what yeah, rosebud. Yeah, yeah. I, do you know, um, my friend said they look like snowdrops. I just said that, snowdrops. I drops. know, and when you yeah, said, yeah. I thought, oh, that's strange. So what it's funny I've how done, we all see different things, it is, isn't it? From it is, yeah. but the joy of the, obviously using the threads fabric, you can combine it with any fabric. Yes. It doesn't have to be the same weight, It can you can combine. Okay, now I've got a question. Okay. If we own, say you had, say this was your favourite, favourite bit of fabric. Yes. But this is all you had. Okay. Right, and you're thinking, I want to make that bunting, but I've only got enough for one square. Okay. Can so, you... Go on. Oh, no, I, I might be jumping ahead now. No, no, no. But could you... Take a photograph of that. You can. And then, and then, if you've got so, so yeah. that if you've only got one piece of the fabric, so or two, if that's your favourite fabric, options. yeah. So if we take this off, sorry if no, I'm jumping ahead, but so sorry. That's what that's what you want to learn how to to use it. So there's two options. Yeah. Take a photograph, like you say. Yeah. Okay. The only thing with taking a photograph is sometimes you have to be careful of. Um, where you are with the light, it might affect the shading on one side. Oh, That's okay. the only thing, yeah, okay? Yeah. But it can be done. Mm -hmm. Or you could put this on your printer and scan it in. Oh, a... you see, that's where I'm, this is, yeah. I said, did they? In yeah. fact, I am so computer illiterate. So you can scan in yeah. that into your, like you can a photograph. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. so, so then the light I, would be even, I, then, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. So I'd, I'd actually put that on the printer with um, a plain piece of printer paper on the top to yeah. sort of make sure that it's flat. flat. Then scan it in. And then obviously you can then, if you wanted to, you could still play about with filters if you've got that on your computer mm -hmm. and add. You're going to have to have yeah, a, yeah, a, okay, have a lesson. lesson. This. Yeah, exactly. okay, okay, but we're not doing that. But then we're... once it's in your store, like you say, then you can print out as, uh, as many A4 sheets and actually then you've got your own fabric. Okay, so I've cut out. Now, I've done uh, small pockets. Right. But again, we were talking before the show. It depends. I think it's just What's the having a rest. <laughs> <laughs> the princess goes, Stop I'd worrying. like to be fed. <laughs> is there some food? Right. Okay, so um, my snowdrop fabric is on the back. Yes. My denim daisy is going to be on the front. Okay. Oh, right. so, of course, because you're making a pocket. Yes. Right? Yeah, I'm just and then one. I've got my little cotton poplin patch. Now, if you're, if you're wanting to, you could actually turn this into a pocket. Oh, yes. I haven't yeah. on this one, um, but you could if you want, and then you'd have, a, a, you know, two pockets there. So all I'm going to do is pin on my poplin. Now, this is another point that I want to make sure. When I, um, when I met the lady who, uh, uh, who's in charge of the company, Karen, yeah. um, I was quite honest and said, I've put this fabric through its paces. So I've stitched through it. Um, I've got a dead pin there. Um, I've stitched They're through own. it. They're not They're mine. mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've stitched through it with a machine and hand stitching, and then I've pulled them all out because I wanted to see what it would oh, leave yes, for it pin leave. marks. Yes, yes. You know, well, it, it doesn't. You can just so you run just a use pin it like over, fabric. just lose it like fabric. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to run this through on the machine with just a straight stitch, and all I'm going to do is actually just um, attach this yeah, onto to the, the, to the pocket okay? front. Now notice that you. Um, you like uh, shabby chic. I like frayed edges. Yeah, I'm trying to be posh. 
Uh, so you're not turning anything in, you're not satin stitching it, you're literally just doing a straight no, edge. No, but you can do. Um, again, another query was, can I use bonder web with it? Right. Um, you could put bonder web on the back and then use it with your uh, plique, as yes. though you would normal, normal plique. So when we're making our denim jackets, you and me. Yes. We could get Are we going to have to do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we could, so we could, so bonder web is, one, is where you iron it onto the fabric peel the back off and then iron it to the other fabric. So there's two sides of, uh, look, there's the bond of 2.95. Now that's 1.2 meters. It's not 1.2 meters square. It's, a, it's kind of a long strip that's 1.2 meters wide, uh, length, two pounds and 95 pence. Brilliant, it's always good to have you in your stash that. Right, so you're okay. literally just doing a straight stitch. So I'm stitch. literally going round. Now yeah. this project I've actually made up with one of my students. And the reason um, I kind of did this design was it's a really good, um, beginner's project so right. if you're just new to sewing or maybe you haven't sewn for a while and you just want to get your machine out and you just want to yeah. dabble we we have a lot of customers message in saying i used to sew yes. then career took over children took over and watching sewing quarters has inspired yes, them to get their I sewing know. machine out so sometimes you need a refresher so a lot of our books they're coming in for us of the books that are either good for beginners or yes. good for yeah. So thinking, oh, what's a French seam again? You know, because you, you can't keep everything in your brain, can you? No. no. Oh, sorry. I'm just getting used to grips with this machine. Sorry. Oh, do you know that. what? There's so many people coming in for these threads. Make sure you check out your baskets. The table's so messy. I can't wear my glasses. Are you all right, though? <laughs> I'm yeah. fine. OK, let's just have a look. Lorraine, William, Margaret, Arthur and Susan, Janet, Rachel, a new collector, oh, new buyer. Dorothy, or oh, where well, you live, see if it's any of your neighbours. Dorothy, Sally, <laughs> Margaret, 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 four Margarets, Carol, Jeanette, oh Karen, my goodness. Uh, Jill, Diane, Jean, and Susan. But now, people in the world, uh, I've got them in the wear on the on the baskets. You be, please be careful. Sue, Jean, Yvonne, Catherine, Linda, Sarah Jane, Sarah, Julian, Wendy, Paul. Please, 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 uh, if you want it, please check out your basket. I'm not saying that to add any undue pressure. I'm just saying, I don't want to miss out. In the last two shows, the last two shows, people have missed out. That's what we're actually selling. Apart from the fabrics, that's what the, this show's all about. The threads, the inkjet printable fabrics. We're selling the poplin. We do sell it in twill as well at the bottom. We're concentrating on the poplin in this hour. If you watch the 11 o'clock hour, we're concentrating on the twill there. You can buy either of them at any time. I'll keep you updated on stock though. 19.95 for the poplin, 21.95 for the twill. That's because the twill, well, you know twill, it's a, a heavier fabric with a, 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 a like not a grain to it, like a groove to it. It's isn't a bit it? like a denim. Um, yes, yeah. diagonal. We'll, show, we'll show you more yes, in, in, in the we'll other yeah. Right, so all you've so done is. So I've done my patch, yes. okay, and now all I'm going to do is fold over. Don't worry about size of hems or seam allowances. Um, you can make it to, you know, whatever size well, you Well, I suppose want. it depends what you put in in the pocket, because you're putting cotton reels in there. Yes. But if you, like I said earlier, if I made one for Norman and Ellie and I wanted one for their brush, one for their... I know, what a good idea. You know that what I mean? Really like a, good. a cat tidy. You'd want some of the pockets to be bigger and you'd than want, others. Yes, yeah. and you would. So, also, you'd probably want to put stabiliser on the back. Yes. Um, which is why we've got it on the show, because um, the heavier you... Um, you know, you're going to put into your project, yes. uh, sorry, into your um, tidy, you need to make sure that that's stabilised on the back yes. um, so it doesn't sort of flop forward. Um, but, I mean, I have obviously used this for sewing equipment today, but you could um, introduce all sorts of ideas. We were talking um, about what we could put into it before the show. Um, and, you know, you could put all sorts of crafts and hobbies and yes. um, things in there, and or even tools in the shed. Yeah, you'd have to make that you know. for, the, for the husband. Yes. That's now, me being very stereotypical now, No, but, but if, you, um, if you want to actually make it a thicker... Um, so I've obviously used the poplin, but the twill would be perfect for adding a little bit more um, a firmness to the fabric. So you might prefer to actually get the cotton twill if you're thinking... Of making a sturdier of one. A sturdier one. I'm just thinking of having one in the garden... But I can't quite figure. I haven't quite figured out what to put. I'm thinking about men. You make cocktails and things Ooh. like that for the old nipples. But you couldn't put food in them. I'm thinking you put umbrellas, little umbrellas in one, and oh, but straws, you could. straws, you could. or garden, garden. And you could put like seeds in some. Put a picture of the flower on the front. Of it. And what are the some plants you have to take out over winter, don't you? And keep them. You keep do. them dry and, and yeah. you could do, do like a picture of the flower in the summer and then put the bulb in the little wow. and then it's in the shed looking beautiful all year. look at me getting creative now and I started in such a bad mood today yeah they're telling Was me stop Oh, I was in a really bad mood. Oh, you were so cheerful. You not tell? Did you know everyone was <laughs> walking on eggshells around me this morning? He even was little very Paul, nice. even little Paul was nice oh. to me today. 
Oh, right. So I need to know next time then. That's your grumpy. Oh, that, that's the grumpiest you'll ever see me. <laughs> oh, um, I, have a I have diva moments. But oh, I do had, you? I haven't had one of those since I've been at certain quarter yet. Oh, right. OK. Yeah, have I'm, I'm glad have you I? haven't had one of my, my, my shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it would never be like this. It would only be towards Little Paul or something like that. <laughs> have I, had, I haven't had a diva moment yet. Anyway, so what are we doing? Sorry. Right. It's all about you, That's all right. That's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, put our... I'm just trying to think, Pockets. which way round did I do it? Um, I've put the buttons on top. Yes, no, I was right the first time. It's all right. I'm just going to turn over my uh, tape. No, I did the tape last. Sorry, John. It's Make your minds up, woman. <laughs> I, I, you know I said I had a diva I moment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't well, I was worry. just you, testing. You will be getting it. Check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. That's they won't ask me back again. Oh, they will. They will. Everyone loves you. <laughs> Because I've not, I've only met you at the door when I answered the door to you. We you worked did, together, you see. You did. And, uh, and that I was, was like, so oh, it's the first funny. time I've worked with, uh, with uh, Attili. And they were like, oh, she's gorgeous. She's fabulous. Oh. So, <laughs> right. I'll prove them wrong. But so on. what I'm going to do now is, um, you mentioned about the um, frayed edges here. Yes. So I'm doing the zigzag. Okay. So I'm going straight down, across, and Oh, so the you top. are using, but you're not using it as a... As a well, when I would do applique attaching, the zigzag would be over the edge to yes. take the raw edges in. Yes, so this in, is just to attach in... the pocket. Yes, so yeah. it's a design yeah. feature, really, isn't it? The zigzag. So oh, we've got more is... messages now. Oh, OK. Uh, you keep sewing. Can Diana, I sew? I'm just that person. Oh, yeah, I haven't sewn for ages. In the last few months since your programme, you've got me so excited about sewing again. That's Diana in Greater oh, London. Wonderful. That's nice, isn't it? Another one coming through. Janet. Uh, scanning fabric, wouldn't there be copyright issues? Not, no, Janet, Janet, not if you're just making it for your own uh, room, I'm sure, because you're not, you're not going to make, you can't scan a metre and a half of it, can you? No, no, you just, no. And because if you made this, if you, if you bought this fabric and you hung it in your shed, it's not, you know what I mean? It's kind no, of... No, and I, I totally understand where Janet's yeah. coming from. We do have to mention about copyright. Yes. Um, this is just for your personal use. Yes. If you've got that odd scrap of vintage fabric, maybe, or... Well, if it's vintage, there'd be no copyright on it, no. I suppose. I was just showing Janet, because this was the fabric we had on the desk. But like I was saying, if you had to... Put, like I was saying in prep, I've got all pieces of fabric from when I've worked in Africa, uh, when I was in Ethiopia, when I was in... You know, all over the world, I've got little pieces of fabric that, you know, kind of... They're just in a drawer at the moment, yes. doing nothing, because yeah. I don't want to use them, sort of thing. But yes, but, but, but it is, um, uh, Janet, it is... Um, we, it's a valid the, point, It's Janet. called the angel, isn't it? Called the angel something, where you, you, you're perfectly good to make for yourself, for your own thing, but not to sell on, right? Uh, Jean, uh, hello, Tilly and John. It's Jean from Birmingham, loving your show. Oh, Tilly, loving hello, your Jean. shows. Hello, Jean. Oh, I know Jean. She says hello <coughs> to me on Facebook. Hello, Jean. Oh, that's Jean. nice. Thank Beverly you. from Ayrshire. That's really interesting, Tilly. I'm... Oh, she's talking about... Um, touching fabrics, everything like that. This is Beverly, I admire you. Uh, I am registered blind, but I love sewing. Okay. So that's fantastic, because you'll go brilliant. by touch, won't you? You and things. certainly will. Yes, you will. Uh, one more. Catherine Catadon, would you be able to use the Ode coat on? Oh, good question. You might not be able to answer this. I might have to find out for you in the break. Okay. We sell Odie Coat, which is a, like a coating that you can put on fabrics, on cottons yes. and everything. Okay. Um, and it makes them waterproof, makes them like a, an oil skin. Okay. Now you can use it on all fabrics, cottons, anything. We, we, I mean, I, I said don't use it on silk and chiffon and things like that, but right. any fabrics. And you literally just paint it on and it dries over an hour and it becomes waterproof. So you can do the... Um, at wash bags and the insides of wash bags and things like that. Okay. Would you be able to odor coat over the top of your picture? Is it is it water based? I was thinking it can't be water based. No, it's not water based because it makes it waterproof. Because it would make it waterproof. So I would have to check that one out if I really. We could test. Do you know I what? We should know. test it. We should test we it. We could test Who's it. Who's that from? Who's that from? Catherine in County Durham. Catherine, we'll test that for you. Yeah, that's a good question. I think I think yeah. it'd be all right because you, as you said, you've dyed. The threads you have, if it was one that was just sitting on top, I think you'd have to be careful. But I think because you've dyed the threads, yes. which is why it's called threads. And does it come in a spray can? No, it comes in a like comes in gloop gel, like a gel that you just paint on. Right. Okay. Leave it with me, okay. and I will find out the well, answer for you. Find out for you. <laughs> okay. What you can do is, in the hour that you're not on, yes. they can show you the eau de coat. Okay. Because we've got some bit. In, get Amy to get you the eau de coat. That's the warehouse. And we'll have a And play. you can have a look at it. And have okay. A play with it and okay. There you um, go. You ask I questions. Will try. <laughs> we love being interactive. We love trying I do. To get the no, I do. So right. while while we've been doing that, all I've done is just trim down the edge. Yeah. Um, and I'm just I I like this frayed edge here that I used of the salvage. Yeah. So I'm going to use that in my design, but just chop 
the um, outer. Oh, okay. Pocket. Okay. So this is just trimming. And again, you can use rotary cutters. Um, um, well, we were going to show you how to how, that you could use water and cloth with this, but we'll use it. We'll do that in the eleven o'clock hour, right? Because we're into so into this. That's okay. right with you, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, okay. that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Because we, okay. we want to show you how you can put it in water and scrunch it and everything like that. Remember to check out your how baskets. We, how are we doing for time? We're, we're at nine forty-five, so we've got ten minutes left. Right. Okay. So let me just finish my project, yeah. and I'll, I'll be able to say. Um, right. So all I'm going to do is put my tape. So the tape that we've got on the show. Oh yes, yes, I've got okay. that. <laughs> there we go. I'm t okay. I usually keep my table so tidy, Tilly. Sorry. They won't ask me back, I'm they afraid, because I'm causing they will. havoc. Stop it, because you'll get everyone I'm, texting I'm actually me. as messy at home, you do realise. I, I think all of <laughs> when apart I, when from I'm Joe working. Carter, I think everybody's messy. <laughs> um, this is the tape. Well, let me get the right work for you. This yes, is the and tape. we've got how many metres on here? 20 metres. Yep. So this is a lot of projects out there. That, that's and it's only eight ninety five. So you've really got it good. in the stash the whole time. Yeah. And what is it? Is it just like a normal cotton it, twill tape? Yes, just cotton. I don't know if that, I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a little weave on it. It's got a little weave yeah. on it. Nice. Isn't so it? any kind of bunting, any kind of ties. Um, you know, if you're doing garden chairs, the cushions, and you want those ties around the, you know, anything like that. Yeah. That's perfect because it's durable. So all I've done is literally. Um, I'm only showing you for the one, but you get the idea for each one. So you would, you'd leave that. You'd leave this the as full one length, whole length because you don't want to be chopping it off. No, do you? no. So you put your pocket over the top. Yeah. Okay, and. Uh, you literally just fold it. Now, um, we've got the Clover Mini Iron on we the iron. We <laughs> have. It's in here somewhere. I'm making him work That's this not morning. switched on. No, that's fine. I just want to show you. This is perfect. Um, when I was we making this... this in the last Yeah, time. when I um, was actually doing this project, I've got one of these at home and it's invaluable. Oh, yes. So I take it to all my workshops. I've always got it in my bag. It's, it's just one of the best things. Um, and if you wanted, I forgot to say, when I was doing this little hem here, yeah. you can see how, obviously, it's perfect for little um, edges here. Yes. Now, if you it's want... It's not switched on. I've got no, it's not switched on, this one. So, I, at this point, I would um, iron this down. Yes. Okay, so you've got a, a pressed edge before you start sewing. So that, the, so that your tape can sit into yep, that's the it. pressed edge. And then I would just pin. Okay. Okay, to secure that onto our project like so all right so that's pressed and then we're ready to go now what right. i'm going to do if i can just show to yeah. camera yeah i've actually used my zigzag to add um, a feature onto the tape because you can buy ribbons with features already you can but in. you have a play with what's on your machine i mean this lovely machine it's really lovely this l one um it's got so many decorative um oh, yeah, the it's the 540 yeah. i know i might just have to tuck that in my oh no bag i think you'll find there's a cue <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you can see, all I've done is add a, a zigzag. So again, if you're new to sewing or you're getting back into sewing, it, it just gives that little extra detail that but, you're... But also it matches it in it does. with your project. So it use does. the same colour and things that you've used yeah, in Yeah, I've used the red thread that we've got on the show today to give a, a bit of a balance, yes. um, you know, on, on what I'm doing here. But you could use a variety of threads yeah, and, and match it into... Mm. You could match it into what you've actually just printed out yeah. and bring it out that way in your design, OK? Of course, we've got the red thread here. I don't know if little Paul wants to find the, the thing for that. <coughs> OK, so I'm on zigzag and I'm just going to pop that in there. Now, what I, what I usually so, do... So, what are, you, are you doing the zigzag now? I'm, yes, so I'm going to do the zigzag Oh, so did you do the, the zigzag all the way through? I did. Oh, so you didn't just decorate your tape? Nope. No. <coughs> so it's a decoration and a function at the it same is. time? It okay. is, yeah. So, I'm just going to start just there. Now, I don't... Um, there we go. I don't actually start right on the edge of my tape because it sometimes bunches underneath the needle, yeah. underneath there. So I put this on quite a wide zigzag. There we go. Yeah, just keep holding your ribbon at the other other end of the, the way it's, as it's coming through. Okay, so work up to your pins. Yeah. Pins Take out. Them out. Okay. Now I'm going to. Uh, this is a question, a contentious question that we have here at Sewing Quarter. Okay. Uh, different people have different answers. Not when you're doing a zigzag, but when you're doing straight stitch. Yes. And you had your pins going like soldiers, perpendicular. Would you would you stitch over them, or do you no. always take them out? I never, never stitch over pins. Okay. I think that comes from my, my sewing days at school where I had a teacher who was so, so particular. Oh, so, so particular. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, every pin had to come out. And whenever I do a workshop, um, I've just realised, because I've made it wider, I'm catching the edge of the tape, but that's cool. But I quite like that. Um, it's given an extra yeah. depth, actually. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so whenever I do my workshops, and I guess also because of my work with children, um, I count my pins in and I count oh, them out. Oh, like a surgeon I and it swabs. Do. So that's kind of my catchphrase in schools, right? Count the pins in, count oh. the pins out. But it's a good, good, no, it's good. thing no, it's for good. when you're school as well. Because exactly. if you do, do so over pins and one drops down, yeah. um, you know where it's kind of gone. Yes. So yes, you can see. I'm thinking, Just you know what, I'm, I'm thinking now, if you made yourself, if you're making yourself a cooking apron. I know. Or gardening take, apron. Yeah, you? you could take pictures of the cakes and, yes. you know, decorate the oh, apron and the PK fab. cakes. That really would. Look, we, normally we talk, we talk at, um, about food at quarter past 11. We've started early today. <laughs> uh, or if you're um, doing the uh, cooking with your grandchildren, you could put, oh, do you know what would be a lovely, because you said on here, yep. you'd written on it. Yes. You could make an apron with a picture and then put the ingredients and the recipe by the side. You could. Yeah, you could. I'm or, sorry, I'm just Or getting... you can put your text on. We'll mention that in our next show. Oh, but yes. um, how you can put text onto. Oh, OK, for yeah. so people like me who don't yeah. understand how to do that. Because when Andrew was here, she said, oh, yes, I've just put this text in. I've just done that. You know how you do it. And I'm like... <laughs> but what we're hoping to do in the future shows, because um, obviously I'm, I've got quite a few lined up. Oh, so you are coming um, back, then. I am coming back. <laughs> sorry, John. Um, is, is actually show how you can um, put text into a photograph. Oh, just good. so that Because not people... everybody knows, you uh, know, and no. we just assume that everybody can well, exactly. play with photos. But also, but what I find is people go, oh, old people can't do that. My next door neighbours, they don't mind me calling them old because they are old, right? And I love them. Um, they are silver surfers. They're out on their iPads all the time. I and know. They can, and they're like, oh, we just made this. And I was like, oh, how did you do that? And they're like, wait, well, you don't know how to do that. You know, and it's just, I, I just think it's brilliant. But we do need, for people like me, we do need lessons we do. in that. The thing you've got to think about is uh, don't be put off thinking it's technology, yeah. computer. They hear that word, technology, computer, yes. printer, and everybody, you know, so, oh, no, I can't do that. Yeah, it's so, so easy. And on their packaging, their, you know, Thread's uh, motto is just simply on the front here. We've got print, peel, create. And, and that's all we've done. Once you've put your you know, paper through your printer, yeah. you're away and you'll experiment. And it's, it's really, it's like you've just said, just talking and those ideas of, oh, well, I could put this yes, or I could yes, put yes. a date yeah. or I could put this and could, you know, suddenly your whole world of creativity. But also open. just the fact that um, our ladies are sending in pictures. It was Jackie I know. and... Um, and oh. Marcia. 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 Yes. I've sent their lovely pictures in and everything. It's, yes. just, it's just brilliant and that's that people the, share. I was just going to say, that's the joy of, for me, uh, creating and crafting, where every workshop I do, I still come away thinking, oh, maybe, I, you know, I'll try that. Or but Because everybody has their own um, way of doing yeah, of things. Of course. You know. Of course. So what are we going to do with this picture of Norman, then? OK, do you want to peel him off now? Because I just want to take him home. Well, you can right, then use on, it in a project. I've, I've only got a couple of minutes, so let me okay. do it quickly. So you just, you just tear, tore the paper a little yeah. bit, turn so the corner off. Off the edge. No pressure. So remember... I've got it, I've got it, got it. Okay, that's it. Move the deck, so I'm taking over the place. Now, if you have to do it like this, you mustn't pull the fabric. You put, if you, this is, if you missed is, earlier, put how, your hand yeah, here. This is how I, I like to no, do No, 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 but this is, I think this is the safest way to do it. Because you're not you're stretching not that stretching fabric. Stretching the fabric yeah. at all, are And you? especially, like all fabrics, because it is a fabric, you've got the bias and you've got the rest of the warp, well done. Um, and if you do stretch it on that bias, you will have a little bump in the middle. <gasps> I'm going to go so and show that to something. So that's now ready to... Yes, we've got to put that on something. So now, you. we're going to show it... To, well, I've got to go over there in a second to, okay. to, to, so they can clear all this. But yeah. um, that, I can wash that. Yes, you can. I can wash that, so yeah. I should wash it before I make anything. You don't have to. Right. It depends what you want will to put it Will it shrink? In. Will that fabric shrink? It will have a very tiny amount of shrinkage, but no different to you washing a piece of cotton yeah. if you were doing so, a so quilt or something. So if I'm putting it on an old... Say I've got... What, say this, which yes. has been washed a million times. I'm yeah. putting this on the back of it. Yeah. Wash this. Yes before I put it onto the shirt, because yes. this will have shrunk to its... Yeah. But, so yeah. it's not going to shrink, shrink, it's just going to tighten up. No. Brilliant. No. I've got a picture, apparently, from Diana. Oh, Diana, Ooh. that's nice. Oh, oh, look at the fabric. We sell that fabric. Lovely. Oh, uh, how lovely. Oh, you're very glamorous. Which Diana is that? Is that Diana from... Oh, and look at the bottom where it says Darling. She's, yes, I know. She's, she's, she's fussy, so fussy cut, right, because we sell that lovely fabric here. Yeah. Oh, that's not Diana in the picture. Oh, she's never 60. 
That lady, 60 on that flower. That's not Diana. But they're very glamorous friends you've got, Diana. Um, I'm going to leave, you know. I'm okay. going to take these with me. Okay. Yeah, they're going to take these with me. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Sorry about all the mi mixing match, no, but we'll be all right fine. going. Uh, fine. Tilly's we'll back, back at, at 11. 11. And you can do a cushion with... I'm going to do a photo mosaic cushion panel, yes. And Perfect. show you how you can use that with your... So patchwork, but using the photographs as and a grid. And using the tw twill, which twill. we've used the pulp yes. in this time. Yes. Uh, you can buy both. I'll tell you about that in a second. And uh, will you need any more pictures of me, or have you got nothing? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you All in right, an hour. I'll see you no in worries. an hour's time. Uh, let me just tell you what we've uh, been showing you this hour. These are the threads. Now, I do need you to check out your basket because they are going very, very fast. This is the one we concentrated on in this hour. This is very low stock already, this one. If it's in your basket, please check out. Are they all guaranteed at the moment or not? Are they all guaranteed at the moment or not? At the moment, you are guaranteed. If you check it out now, you're fine. But there's nothing to say that by the time we come to the 11 o'clock hour, um, that more will have gone, that's all. So this, you get six A4 sheets uh, for £19.95. And, and then the cotton twill, the one we're going to be um, concentrating on in, at 11 o'clock, this is £21.95. Uh, you get six again, six uh, pieces of fabric with the paper on the back. They're just brilliant. My, my friend Chris, my neighbour Chris, who I was telling you about just a minute ago, she bought these last time we had them on air, and she just adores them. She does quilting and all sorts of things. These are the twill ones for £21.95. Remember when you get them, only take the sheets out as you need them. Uh, now, if you, if you want to know anything about the fabrics, I'm not going to run through them now because I've only got a few seconds left. If you're watching on the web, go down there and you'll see everything that we've shown so far in the first two hours. If you pop down there um, and you can just click on it and put it in your basket, um, you don't have to be watching the show. Because uh, I'm coming up after the break with more last chance stash Dash, <laughs> to look at the board, because I can't, I can't remember those words. Uh, thanks ever so much for your company. Thanks for buying so many. Make sure you check out your baskets. I will see you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. So today we're going to be learning the prick stitch. Now the prick stitch is very similar to a back stitch and they're basically very tiny stitches which are visible on the front of the fabric uh, and very long stitches on the back. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using an embroidery thread here so obviously you can see what I'm doing and I have got a large knot in the bottom but at home obviously you wouldn't do that. So first of all you need to start with the needle at the wrong side of the fabric coming through to the front. And like I said, it's very similar to the back stitch where you're going to go backwards rather than forwards. And you want to make this stitch as tiny as possible. So taking a couple of um, strands from the fabric itself. And then the length of your prick stitch could be entirely up to you. So I'm going to make it quite a large one so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going through the fabric and then I'm going to come back again, taking a couple of strands from the fabric to come down. You want to keep these as even as possible as you're going across the line. So there we have our prick stitch. Join us on Tuesday the 23rd of May when Tilly Rose will be bringing us a brand new project designed by her especially for the sewing quarter.
Tilly combines a range of beautiful hand embroidery stitches, focusing on a slow stitching technique available in two colourways on two fresh new linen prints. So, join Tilly on Tuesday the 23rd of May at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. That's lovely, lovely uh, project that Tilly's got tomorrow, isn't it? I didn't know about that. But Tilly's back with me later today uh, at 11 o'clock doing a, a montage, photo montage cushion. It's lovely. And we've done little bundles of fabric so you can make the same cushion. You just have to put your own pictures in. It's fantastic. Anyway, talking to fantastic fabrics, I've opened the John Scott Haberdashery shop again. Uh, we'll be popping over there later. Don't, don't cut to it because uh, Amy's trying to plug something in. <laughs> um, but I've got more last chance stash dash for you now. All the fabrics you're about to see, some of which I've never even seen before. Oh, actually, there's one. Is that one missing? Oh, maybe not. I thought I had the... You know, do you watch EastEnders? Have you seen Billy and um, Honey's flat, right? They've got a wall. It's a feature wall. And we sell the fabric. And I thought the fabric was in this hour, but obviously not. I've got that one wrong. Uh, anyway, I've got some lovely fabrics, but some here that I've never, ever seen before. Uh, so what it is, is these fabrics, I'm not saying you'll never ever see them again. But what I am saying is, we, they are end of, we, we've come to the end of them. We're not reordering or we can't reorder. So if you want any of these fabrics without adding any undue pressure, I would come in uh, whenever you can. Uh, there are, some of them are limited, because obviously it's end of ranges. There are just limited, but I'll keep you updated. I'll keep, you know me, I'll tell you everything. Okay, I don't know which one that one is. Yep. This one here. Uh, I've, uh, uh, hang on, I've got because I've got the same fabric in two colourways in that one. Yeah, yeah, that's right, right, right. Uh, six metres or oh, three metres. Three metres. I've only got three metres of this. This is a metre. Oh, it's lovely. So, how much we've we got? Three metres, do you say? What could you make out of three metres that you make? Gorgeous, gorgeous summer um, attire, couldn't you? This is floral on cream background. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? Oh, excuse me. I'll need to go through more quickly, don't I? I'll just, I'll, we'll do... <laughs> you all right, Amy? She all right? I think she might have, um, I don't know what she's done. Anyway, so that's that one. We'll go through them all quickly so you can have a quick look. And then if you want to see any of them, remember, oh, I like this one. I've never seen this before in this colourway. This is teal. This is the same fabric pattern, but in teal. But it's not exactly the same because there's not as many colours, are there? Because on, there you go, on the first one we had earlier, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colours. And on this one, oh, no, we've got nine colours. There's more colours on this one. How funny. It's nice, isn't it? Um, that's £5.45 for half a metre. Not seen that one before, but limited, limited, limited. Remember, if you've got any questions, any messages, they can come through to my, um, my tablet on the table here. Right, OK, so that's those two. Then I'll go through the ones that I've got one, um, different colourways of. So this one, I I'll show you. Oh, OK, pink first. I was going to show you the other one first, but... Remember, you're buying in the heart. I've not seen this one before. Uh, limited stock, uh, birds on pink it's called. <laughs> well, I wonder why that is. If it sells out, you won't see it again. You won't see it again. If it sells out today, you won't see it again. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? I really like that one. Um, very bright, that's a very bright pink look. Almost as pink as my face. And then we've got the same fabric, but in, is it teal they're called in this one? So it must be a green, must it? Teal, I said teal, didn't I? Said teal. Nice bit of ironing going on there, Amy. I think we need to give our floor crew uh, ironing lessons. Jay's yesterday was atrocious. This isn't as bad. At five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. That's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. I'm only rushing through. 
Uh, so you can see all of them, and then we'll go through all of them with the how much we've got left and what you'd make with them um, afterwards. Right, so this is the next uh, one within the same range. I love these two. Right, now, you've seen this one quite a lot. You've seen this one. Yeah, this is the blue. This is the blue cross one. You've seen this one quite a lot. Um, you have. Yes, you have. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice. Five pounds and forty-five pence for half a meter. Made the purse, made the waterproof purses out of this. Do you remember? And we've made. In fact, we should get Amy to gather up lots of things made out of all these different fabrics, really, shouldn't we? So that's really lovely. That's really, really lovely. That one. So that comes in blue. Now, whenever we show this, I was going, "Where's the purple? We do that in purple. Where's the purple? We've got the purple today. Uh, it's not purple, though. It's not purple. I'd say it was lilac myself. It's lilac. It's not purple, is it? They've called it purple. It is like a palm of violet, yes. So I asked about palm of violet. So everyone said, oh, don't know. Only the old people knew what a palm of violet was. I oh, know they're sweet. I haven't seen them in the shop rate, but I don't go looking, I suppose. Anyway, so that's the, the purple version. Then I've now got a uh, mix and match of, oh no, actually, let, oh no, they're not the same. So I'll just show you different fabrics now. I'll just show you different fabrics. Right now, I've, I've got this in a ditzy print. It's, it's called Andover. Oh, it hasn't got a name on it. Is that on Florence, is it? Okay, Florence Blue Fabric from Floral Splendor. Hang on a sec, let's just make sure that's not this floral one. Is it not? Is it not? This is, this is Floral Splendor. Right, so what's this one? Okay, so this, that, that way you've seen that one, I'll come back to it, I'll come back to it. And then we've got a bigger print. It's not the same pattern, but it's the, along the same lines. This one's Floral Splendor, so it's the same range. And they're lovely. That's a beautiful print. That summer, do you know what I'm thinking there? Um, kind of lounging pants, you know, kind of like pajama pants, trousers, that kind of thing. Not pants, not pants, pants, but trousers. Right, now this has been, we've had this since the beginning. This, you won't see this again once this is gone. So it's, on, it's on, the, on the list. Do you want me to give you the number? Oh, you got it, you found it, you found it. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's weird. It's on my sheet. I can't show you that one, apparently. You sure? Just hang on. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, 50s floral fabric, FDMY97. OK. While we're looking for that, I'll show you the other fabrics. I love it. Oh, no, I'll save those two. OK, so we can... Oh, it's sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Sorry about that. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Right. This is nice. It's like a pink background. Sticks. Sticks and ladders, I think it's called. No, not snakes. Sticks and ladders. Oh, just called sticks. Five pounds and 45 pence on a pink background. Lovely pale pink background. And you've got dark pink, uh, coral, blue, blue, and lilac and white stripes on it. It's lovely. Like that one. OK. They are giving me a bit of stick today, I'll tell you, from upstairs. Right, and then there's this one, which is a, a take on a stick fabric, I suppose. Oh, OK, is this one sold out as well? I do apologise at home. Uh, Meadow print on yellow. U-I-M-Y-71. Yeah, he yeah, has got it, I thought he had. Because I've not seen this one before. Nice, isn't it? It's called Meadow Print on Yellow from Floral. So, oh, so that's Floral Splendor as well. So that goes with that range there. I didn't, the sticks didn't have a range, did it? Sticks was just on its own. And then I've got my last two now. Now, these, I, I think they're all lovely, but. These last, what's the matter? Oh, he knows how it feels being all on his own. If you love stripes, you're going to love this one. 
bold, bold, bold stripes. Isn't that nice? Multi-stripe fabric, papillon. Now they're calling it blue. Why would you call it multi-stripe if it was blue? But that's blue. You see, isn't that weird? I wonder why they've called it blue. Would you call blue the most, fab most, um, anyway, it doesn't matter, it's gorgeous. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a meter. And then, the last one. Oh no, it's the most limited, it's my favorite. Paisley, how much? He's given me false information, I do apologize. What's the matter now? Okay, unlimited, no, it's not unlimited. It's not unlimited, obviously. It's, it's not as limited as the others. Paisley fabric, Papillon range, in blue. Aren't they lovely? They're like um, paisley. They are paisley. And then they're, that one looks like a little fish, doesn't it? That one there. Fish and flowers and paisley. It's lovely, isn't it? The way it sort of looks like it's got movement to it, doesn't it? Do you know what? They could be the little fish and they could be big whales, couldn't they? What's big fish, little fish? Cardboard box. Yeah, exactly. I'll get Paul out to uh, show you what, how that works. Oh, I tell you, I saw Jay dancing the other day. You know, Jay Floor Manager Jay. Oh, he's very light on his feet for a big lad, I tell you. Right, OK. So there are my fabrics. Gone through them all very, very quickly. I've got a haberdashery to show you, but old notions. But I think we should go through the fabrics one by one now. Right, OK. Oh, we've got a leader already. Floral on teal. It's, I'm not surprised. I've never seen it before. Right. Floral on teal. This is nice. Isn't it? Let's have a good look at this. Now, remember, for half a metre, you're buying in half metre increments. All you do is dial the phone number 0800 112 4433 to speak to the call centre. Or, of course, you want to put some in your basket on the web. You go to sewingquarter.com, pop it in your basket. Remember, one unit is half a metre for five pounds and 45 pence. So, if you want one metre, you have to put two units in. If you want two metres, you have to put four units in, and so on. Uh, this is five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. So this is the one in the, main, in the main graphic there. The main graphic, this is the floral on teal, background fabric, papillon range. Every, fla every flower, every fabric we've got in this hour, unless Hayley comes running through with something else, is five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. That's lovely, I love that print. It's a really, really lovely print. It's quite, um, uh, quite elegant, isn't it? Like no nice, lovely summer frock you can make out of this. Nice blaze, five pounds and 45 pence for half a meter. Right, that's number one favorite at the moment. Oh, the bird in teal. It's because teal, green, is one of the colors of the year, isn't it? The Pantone colors of the year uh, is green, isn't it? So, so here we go, this is the Papillon birds. This is number two. Number two favourite, very, oh. You sure? There's only three metres left. Six units, three metres of this left. If you are after this one, or if you've got it in your basket, please check out your basket. Miss it, miss out. Bird's Fabric by Papillon Range by, by Macawa, in Macawa in teal. I like it because it's got a sort of Scandinavian feel to it, hasn't it? You can imagine this being in one of Tilda's books, couldn't you, in Tone's books. Because you've got the little, um, uh, they're, they're doves, are they? They look like little doves, don't they, the birds? And then the, um, oh, no, he's uh, talking about a dove from above. He's going to be in Coronation Street, isn't he? Um, Vic Reeves really changed my to my, my friend Nancy. He's going to be, yeah, 20 episodes. He's going to play a shop owner in Coronation Street for 20 weeks. Um, I love this fabric. I think the print is lovely. That's the teal. That's in number two. That's number two place at the moment after the um, teal flowers. But we've also got this fabric in a very, very vibrant pink. But I need, to, I need to tell me what you'd make out of it. What would you choose to make out of these fabrics? I think that's lovely. Again, I'm seeing like, well, it wouldn't be, how much did you say was left? Three metres. Oh, yeah, you could get a dress out of three metres. I'm seeing lovely little summer dresses out of these fabrics. This is the pink one. This is now, this is vibrant pink. Vibrant pink, this one. For some reason, this one's saying gardens to me, and I'm not quite sure why. 
You know, like um, life in the garden, in the summer in the garden. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking now? Um, cushions for the garden, or maybe, uh, Hannah always goes on about this because she's just taking up gardening, a kneel pad, a kneeling pad when you're doing your, um, doing your weeding. I think that's lovely. The pink in there is lovely. Is the fabric the white, right weight for dressmaking or is it more craft making? Um, I would say it's, it would be lovely as a dress, dress fabric. It's, it's not lawn, it's not fine, fine like that, but it's not a heavy, it's not heavy at all. Um, well, have a look, have a look. Right, let me gather it up and you can see, right? Let me just pl I'll pleat it and you can see the weight. There you go. So I'd say, I'd say it would make a really lovely skirt, lightweight summer skirt, um, at, or um, if you're going to make a blouse out of it, it would be a more of a, look, you see, how, look how beautifully it, 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 it pleats there, knife, just knife pleats up there. Um, I would say a skirt or a, no, I don't mean a formal blouse, but I mean, I mean, um, a kind of not, a, it's not a flimsy floaty fabric. Let me show you, let me show you how much it floats. You see, it kind of, it's got movement to it, it has got movement to it. So it's, I would say it was definitely a dressmaking fabric. Uh, right, okay, I've got 10 metres of this, 10 metres of this one. That's it, that's it. Miss it, miss out. Uh, Sonia says, oh, I'm not a striped person, but I love that. Wow, lots of love, our son. It's nice, isn't it? I'll show it to you, son. Nice. So what would you make out of this one? Remember, you're buying it in a half metre increment. This is a metre. In fact, let me show you what a half metre looks like. Let me show you what half. This is what you'll get for half a metre. That's what you get there. Now, remember, the stripes go down the fabric. So if you're wanting something with stripes going across, just think about that when you're working out your yard of gin. You see, what would you make out? I'd make a pair of shorts out of that, summer shorts. Lightweight summer shorts. Uh, what I'd do as well, before I start, is I'd wash the fabric. It's got a bit of a dressing in it, this one, but I'd definitely wash it. Let me just feel the weight against that one. Multi-stripe, this one, it's lovely. They're calling it multi-stripe, but it's 100% cotton, machine washable, yeah. 30 degree machine washable, they say, don't they? Um, I love the colours in that. Lovely print, vibrant stripe print. What else could you make out of that? Okay, little Paul, what would you have been made out of this? Cushion. Did Tom say the same? Cushions? Did you say something or were you coughing? Oh, deck chair. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see you make it. I don't think, right, okay, don't, don't, I, I wouldn't make a deck chair out of it. I would, I love the, the fabric, but at the print, but I don't think it's strong enough. You want, um, a uh, canvas to make your, your deck chair fabric. You make cushions for the garden out of it, that'd be nice. Or I, I think I'd try and make, and not that I'm going to make a parasol, but do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, I'm sort of thinking decorative in the garden. Don't you know what I mean? Nice, I like that one, isn't it? Okay, oh, my favourite. My, this is my, one of my favourites, but my top favourite, the Paisley, is now the, the winner. It's now, not the winner yet, because we've still got 45 minutes to go yet, but it's in the lead at the moment. Obviously, this is, this is a metre. You get half a metre of this. I just think it's lovely because it's, it's paisley, but it's got... Um, you see, you could make a period garment with that. Uh, well, I say that, but, but the, um, the, the, the blue is wrong for a period garment because the blue is kind of contemporary blue, isn't it? But I do love, 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 love the prints in there. Uh, the paisley, it's got the gorgeous kind of scalloped edges. And then you've got the little fishy there. It's not a fish, obviously. Oh, hang on, where's the finger? Got a message coming through. Let's have a look. Uh, right. Oh, no, I've got Sonia's back in. Is the fabric 100% cotton? Yes, it is. It's what I'll show you. I shall show you. Look. All of them. No, oh, there you go. 100% cotton. 100% cotton. They're all the colours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all the colours within the uh, pattern. Lovely, isn't it? 100% cotton, machine washable. Now, they're saying 30 degrees. I was washing my cotton at 40 degrees, but the manufacturers are saying 30 degrees. So, say, say that. Well, I've got 40 degrees, and then I've got save the environment thingy button to press. What's that called? Green. No, not green. Environmentally friendly. No, that can't be right. Eco. Eco. That's it. Eco 40. That's it. Right, okay. Uh, we, now, which ones haven't we looked at? That one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one, that one. Oh, will you? Okay. Right, this is lovely, isn't it? Just have a quick look at this. I just need to go and chop, check, check my, my shock, stop, for, sh shop for stocks. Yeah. 
Oh, yes, that's all right. Oh, yeah. Come back to me in a minute when we go to the um, shop in a minute. I've got the... I always have... Every day I try and have a little break when I go to the John Scott Haberdashery store, John Scott Notion store, and I've got a few notions to show you today. Um, this is nice, isn't it? Sticks fabric. It's got a lovely... The background is a really, really pastel blush pink. And then it's got those sticks. Now, the sticks do go down the fabric. Six fabric. Now, I've never seen it before. And the computer's saying to me that it's a premiere, but it's also, we're not buying it. We're not, so how much of this have I got? OK, I've only got nine and a half metres of this. And that's it. It's never been seen before. If it all goes today, you won't see it again. It's called the Styx Fabric by Macau. Lovely. Isn't it? Again, 100% cotton. I think that's very, very delicate. Make a lovely, uh, beautiful um, sort of little um, summer dress or little dungarees for a little child. Be lovely, wouldn't they, in the summer? Or pin a, a little pinafore dress. Uh, for, no, I'm just thinking about little, ch little children. You know, little children would look cute in that, wouldn't they? Not babies, toddlers, toddlers and upwards. Um, next, the meadow, the meadow, the meadow, the meadow on the yellow. You see, I've not seen this one before either. Again, I'm showing you a metre here. You're buying it in half metre increments. All the fabrics in this hour are the same price. Five pounds, it's this background on yellow. Meadow print on yellow. It's like an ochre yellow, not a sunshine yellow, obviously. I wouldn't say it was custard, no. Mustard. Oh, I don't know. Apparently this is custard powder before you add the milk. No. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. We're all popping around to Mike's for pudding then, when he makes custard, he makes his own custard. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? It's really, really nice. It has got an orange tinge to it. Uh, five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. That's lovely, isn't it? Let me know, let me know what you're, gonna, what you're buying and what you're going to uh, make out of it. Make the most of it today. You, don't get, you haven't got me again till Friday after today. Um, let's do the florals, let's do the florals, something on these yet. Now this, pyjamas, I'm seeing, go not pyjamas that you just go to bed in, but pyjamas that you can lounge in, watching the telly. Floral Splendor fabric, five pounds. Well, no, 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 no. Now you see, I'm saying pyjamas. You could make lovely leisure pants out of these and wear them out, go to the shops. How funny, because you know where the village where Paul and uh, Hannah live, and Jay now, there's a man that stands outside one of the supermarkets with a um, um, Shetland pony. He takes the Shetland pony for a walk up and down the high street. I went to my local um, shopping mall yesterday uh, in Stratford, and there were two Shetland ponies there. I know. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. These were like really beautifully groomed and they were like show ponies, I think. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. It's lovely print, isn't it? Well, 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 OK, so I'm saying lounge trousers and they're all laughing at me. What would you say? What would you suggest then? An all-in-one jumpsuit, uh, Paul's saying now. You won't need much fabric for that, little Paul. A blouse, yeah, you can make a lovely blouse. That's at my cut. Cushion. In fact, we've got cushions made out of this in the, in the main room, haven't we? Do what? Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. Floral spend the fabric. Decorative cushion for your boudoir. Five pounds. You make a lovely bolster out of it. At five pounds and 45 pence. You can make one of Joe's animals out of this. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? One of the bigger the animals, that'd be lovely out of that. You see, because when we do the um, kits of Joe's animals, you get the, the instructions. So once you've made it in the fabric that she's, you could then buy other fabric to then make it as that, couldn't you? The other floral one I have in this range is this one. It's like a ditzy print, this one. Oh, there we go. That's cute, isn't it? That's got the essence of liberty, I'd say, this one. See what I mean? You got the, and now the flowers are the same colours as the um, background of the um, meadow one over there. So you've got the pinks in there, the blues, the lilacs, the uh, mustardy colours. Really, really lovely colours in there, aren't they? For £5.45 for half a metre. 
Two more to do before I go to my um, haberdashery store. Yep, yep, yep. Just two more to show you before I go across to the John Scott haberdashery. John Scott haberdashers or John Scott notions, which one should it be? See, because in America, if you go to look for haberdashery store, they sell you socks and hats and things like that, don't they? Blue one first. Yes, we should get a slide, mate, shouldn't we, when we're going to John Scott's haberdashers. John Scott's notions. Here we go. Love this. Love this. This is the blue cross it or crosses on blue. Now, if you remember, we've made purses out of this, we made all sorts of things out of this fabric. Little Paul doesn't remember it at all. Five pounds and it is still morning, Paul. Five pounds and forty-five pence for half a meter. Cross fabric in blue. Going from the floral splendor range by Macau. Five pounds and forty-five pence. Where was he? Are you in tweet in his restaurant? Oh, what, did you get a discount? Good boy. Five pounds and forty-five pence. We've got a friend called Emran who's got a lovely restaurant in the village where Paul and Hannah live, just outside. In the posh bit. Five pounds and forty-five pence. For um, half a meter. Half a meter, right? He's a lovely, he's a lovely man, and he's got this restaurant, this um, Indian restaurant in um, Paul and um, Hannah's village. It's, it's nice. Oh no, it's a lovely restaurant, full of famous people. There's all the famous people in there, not not little Paul, obviously. Uh, here we go. No, yeah. This is, now they call this one purple. They call this one purple. It's more of a lilac-y, lavender, Palmer violet sort of colour. Lavender is that what you're calling it upstairs? Five pounds and 45 pence. Again, same pattern, the pattern, same pattern. Crosses on a purple background. Same but different. I'll just have a look at them together. That's the purple one that you're seeing there. And then that's the blue one. You see, they'd be nice together. They're all five pounds, 45. Now, remember, we're not buying any of these again. So when they've gone, they've gone. When they've gone, they've gone. Some are more limited than others. Right. Up. I'll just pop over to the John Scott Haberdashery store. Yes, we, we need, when we go over to the Haberdashery store, now that's Simon Bates' sad stories you're singing, isn't it? But I'm just taking my phone with, no, it's not a phone. What's this called? No, I haven't got, I haven't got my phone in the studio. I'll just take my, because um, I mean, it, it could be my cash register. Right. John Scott's Haberdashery, welcome to John Scott's Haberdashery store. Look at the right camera, make a change. Welcome. Uh, now, I've got a few little goodies to show you today. Right, I'll show you. I'll start, oh no, is that in the, completely the wrong place though? Is that going to block your pictures? Right, I'm going to show you these pictures first. No, not pictures. Pens, pencils, I'm going to show you first. Yeah, right, these are them. I've got them in white and green. Right, um, these are brilliant. They're, I'll show you, the, I'll, I've got them uh, out of the pack in a minute, I'll show you them in a sec. What you get for your 9.95 is you get the pencil, the retractable pencil, and you get six refills. Huh? You get the refills as well, six refills. Now, if you use, run out of those six refills, you can always buy the little packets of refills on our website as well. But for 9.95, you get the pen, and the refill. So this is what it's like. So white, did you say first? White first. I'm not quite sure why they brought me white fabric then. So let me show you how it works first of all. So it looks like your everyday retractable pencil. You've got a button at the top here. And what you do is you press that button down. Oh, that was quick. And the lead pops out of the end there. You see, it's very, very fine. Jennifer Mills loves these because they're so fine. And then what you, uh, to push it back in, you just, um, Push the button and then push, oh yeah, push the button and then push it back in. Most of the time I've snapped it off by the time I get there. Anyway, so there, there's the, um, there, right, okay, so this is how you use it. So you take your fabric. Now, uh, if you're drawing patterns, you got, right, let, let's, let's say we're drawing a pattern, right? So let's do, so no, that's the centre back there. That's, that's the, the neckline, shoulder, armhole, down to the waist. Right, waist start. You see, oh, oh, now I've just snapped that one, sorry, that went the wrong way. <laughs> then you draw in your waist start, and you draw, you would never bust start on the back, you just have a waist start on the back. Uh, and then you think, oh, I've made a mistake. Well, you know the button, 
you pressed at the beginning, that's a rubber, that's an eraser. So you think, oh, that, that shoulder's a little bit too steep there. I'll just get rid of that. There you go, it's gone. And you can redraw in your shoulder and redraw in your armhole. It's fantastic, isn't it? Now also, if you, you can you see that? Uh, that's, that, that would be for Little Paul. If I was making a jacket for Little Paul, that would be the centre back. Um, uh, this will wash off. So if you are going to wash it afterwards, if you don't want to use the rubber, this just washes off afterwards. So it comes in white. This is the white one. Soline fabric mechanical pencil in white. Right? But we also have it in green. Now on the website, I think they've got them in yellow and black and pink on the website. I've just got the green and the white one today. So if you want to go onto the website to get any of the other colours, you can do. So, um, so let's then put on the skirt to this pattern and carry on the, the waist dart on the skirt there. There's the centre back. That's the zip there. Now, when I worked, they're asking if I did this for Angelina Jolie. I didn't actually make anything for Angelina Jolie. I was the costume supervisor on that. I was just there to, you know, to help choose everything and shout at people, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so there's go, and then you can use it for, if you're going to do some embroidery, you see, you could just mark out, if you're doing like one of the little faces, for, um, no, that's not face, that's embroidery, if you're going to embroider Paul, right? Then if you want to do, like, Joe's, um, right, if you're doing one of Joe's animals, you're drawing the face on, the mouth and the nose. See there? No, that's not that, that there, you go. there you go. That's Norman, you see there. So they're brilliant, they're absolutely brilliant. So that's the green one for nine pounds and 95 pence. Absolutely excellent. And as I say, they come with the refills, six refills. Now you can store, if you don't want to store the refills in that little box, you think you're gonna lose them. You can store the refills in here. Just put all the refills in there, put the top on. Voila. And then this is, uh, while you're there, look, to, to get the, the lead back in, you press the end there, push there, and it's gone back in. It's specially formulated lead in different colours. I know, my nails are being cut this week, don't worry. They're all shouting at me because my nails are too long. So that's the first thing in the uh, haberdashery store. Uh, now, I've also got this lovely little bundle here, the Alpha bundle, to show you. This is Alpha, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Right, so in this little um, bundle, you get this. It is a bundle of joy, but joy's not in today to show you, so I'll have to show you. Said, so, oh, oh, I can use that piece of fabric there. So you get the uh, premium rotary cutter, the cutting mat, and the quilt. No, hang on. You get the ruler, <laughs> quilt, no, quilt. It's called a quilt making kit for some reason. No, you don't get a quilt. You get the small, self-healing cutting mat, you get the rotary cutter, and you get the ruler. This mat is designed for use with uh, rotary cutters and blades only. Right, okay, do you want to see how it works? You get your fabric like this. You get your ruler, oh, hang on, is that? Oh, I thought it still had something on it. Ruler like this. Rotary cutter, sa oh, safety catch. Oh, oh, it's so safe, I can't, there you go, there you go. Do you see that? Safety catch. Right, and then what you do, safety catch back on, precision cutting. It's called precision cutting. All three of those for £38.95. £38.95. So you get the ruler, the mat, and the rotary cutter. You don't get the piece of fabric. No, no, I've got, I've got to buy binding makers, which I've got to show because Hayley did the prep for these, so this doesn't work. It. And I'll send them here because Amy's brought the iron over, that's right. Right, so. I'll only do one, because they're the same. It's too, it's too boring to sh for me to show. I'll show you the bigger one. Yeah, 25 millimeter one. You know how often our, our designers say, oh, well, you know, put some bias binding around there. And we don't always show how the bias binding maker works. So this is the bias binding maker itself here. This is the Clover. Uh, Bias tape maker, 25 millimeter, 11 pounds and 95 pence. We have also got it in this size as well, which I'll, I'll put the graphics, or Paul will put the graphics in for that in a second. So what you need to do is you need to cut a bias strip of uh, five centimeters, 
because you're going to make two and a half centimetre tape. Then what you do is you feed your fabric through this end here. Now, I'll need a pin. Hang on, I'm going to pin it. But so what you need to do is you need to, what, the best way to do it is you push that through there, like that. Oh, well, now, this, this is why you need a straight pin. Oh, let me try the other end, see if it goes through better. No, that's the safety pin, I need a straight pin. Right, here go. Um, I'll tell you what I'll use. I might use the other end of that one. So basically, if it won't go through, you see what you need to do? You see underneath here? Oops. Thread that through. The reason I'm saying you need a pin is you need to get in there and feed it through. I can't do it with that now. Well, I can't do it with that. Can I have a straight pin, please, Amy? Thank you. Because what you're doing is you're creating a piece of fabric that folds over itself like that. Just pass me the pin cushion, it's fine. Right, okay, thank you, Amy. Right, so let's, here we go, let's try and do it again. So you get your fabric, put it through at the end there, get your pin, just pull it through. There we go. Oh, hang on, it's not coming through now. No, that, it is open. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. There you go, there you go, there you go. So you take your time doing this. Don't do it live on television without any prep. So what you're doing is you're making a bias binding. So you've got your fabric going through, your five centimetre of fabric going through here. And then... OK. Right, OK, let's go back to the fabric then. I'll go back, I'll go back. Little Paul's just giving me grief, and today's not the day to give me grief, is it? Right. Uh, that's fine. To there. So you're making your bias binding, and what you do is you pull on this little handle here. I know she's. So there, you're creating your own. Two. When was my other, uh, that, that, that was a diva moment. What was my other diva moment today then? There you go, so you've made your bias binding. Just watch your hand because it gets hot going through the, the um, end of the machine. Right, I'm going back now. Yes. It's just as well I'm off tomorrow, otherwise little Paul's life wouldn't be worth living. Right, let's go through the fabrics. Most popular, how did it go ding then? Uh, it's the blue paisley. It's the blue paisley. Remember, this could be, the, uh, this is the first time I've seen it, but this could be the last time you see this. Uh, miss it, miss out. This is a metre of the fabric. A metre of the fabric here. So obviously, you're paying for half a metre. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. It's beautiful, isn't it? How much have I got left? Not, I won't, we're still, you're all right. If you've got it in your basket, you will be guaranteed it. If it sells out today, you won't see it again. If it doesn't sell out today, then you may see it again. But you might see it in a project. You might see it in a bundle. You might not be able to buy it by the half metre. Who knows? Who knows? Right, let's go through the limited, very limited stock. Right, OK, so let's put that to one side there. Right, so teal birds is limited. Oh, it's just got like an electric shock inside my knuckles then. Oh, dear. I ain't getting old. I'll be 39 this year, you know, and it's just driving me mad. Yes. Uh, it's, it's 2017. Yeah. Uh, limited. Limited, limited, limited. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. So how limited is it, little Paul? Less than three metres. At five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. It's the bird fabric in the Papillon range in teal. Nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Next limited one. Just do that. Is that... Has it got lots of colours in it, that one? Is it the same as the floral on teal, but in the cream one? Yeah. Oops. Remember, this is a metre I'm showing you here. At £5.45, 
for half a metre. That's what, sorry. Only three metres that's left now. And when, once it's gone, it's gone. We won't be bringing it back. If you want this fabric, I've got three metres available and that's it. That's at 10.40 in the morning. If you're watching at, um, no, it might not be 10.40. Would it be 10.40 at night? I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me, you didn't hear it at home. No, so if we, no, it wouldn't be 10.40 at night, would it? Because it'll have to be two hours 40 after it starts. Oh, yeah, so it will be 10.40 tonight because it goes four. No, not four. I don't start at four in the morning, do I? Eight till 12, 12 till four, four till eight, eight. So that one would be, the one we've picked would be 10.40 at night. Okay. Uh, but if you're watching at any other time, it might not be. Maureen, hello, John. I'm loving the last chance stash. I've put my order in for the birds. Oh, well done, Maureen. It's nice. Oh, another message very quickly. Uh, one job, John. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, a breath of fresh air on TV. Such fun. Marie. Thank you, Marie. I'm having such a bad day today, Marie. Do you know what? Uh, they don't... Uh, little Paul just doesn't appreciate me. That's the problem. He's just saying, get on with it, John. Just get on with it, John. You know, it's because the management are all in having a meeting across the day. He's trying to act all unlike he normally is, you know. He's like, I, I am, I was going to say that butch for a change, yeah. Right, okay. No, no, you're the producer. Stripe, next. You see, whenever I do these fabric shows, everything comes untucked. It's really weird. Is that because I'm wafting like that? I think that's what it is. Wafting, there you go. This, I love this fabric. This was my, one of my two favourites, this one. Oh, yes, I, was, I thought you meant making them out of this fabric. I've got braces at home somewhere. Yeah, but imagine if you've got braces on, I waft it, and they twang off, and I hit somebody in the eye with it. Five pounds and 45, I'm not getting those things, no. There's an advert on, on Facebook or one of those uh, Instagram or something at the moment where you can buy these things that clip to the bottom of your... They clip to your shirt here, and then they go down your leg, and then round your knee, there's like an elastic... So it holds your shirt in place, but it means you've got striped strips of elastic going down your legs. They're the chafe, wouldn't they? Yeah, you, you can get the shirt. Well, you, we make those a lot on film shirts with pants um, attached so that it doesn't come untucked. £5.45. Multi stripe fabric papillon range. They're calling it blue. I don't know why, because there's pink, there's orange, and there's green in there as well as the blue. I love that. How much that is the left little pool? How much left of this one? Uh, if you've got it in your basket, you're guaranteed. But we're not all reordering it. We're not reordering it. So once it's gone, it's gone. I love that. I do love that one. OK, next. Chris, no, just the cross on blue. I love this fabric. The only thing, oh no, actually, it's not doing too bad. I was going to say, if you make a shirt out of it, just think about the person who's sitting opposite you. Might give them a bit of a headache by the end of the day, because it might, but it doesn't strobe that badly, does it? I love this. I really love this. It'd make a gorgeous summer dress, wouldn't it, this one? Really, really lovely summer dress. Think of it mo in the movement. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. If you've got it in your basket, please, please, please check out. Uh, yeah, don't risk losing it. Can I just explain, if you're new to us, just putting it in your basket doesn't guarantee you've got it, which is why we introduced the one p p for the whole day of 2 95 If you know you want it, check out straight away. Even if you come in in the next hour and buy some threads from Tilly, um, uh, you'll only pay one p p for the whole day. It's as simple as that. But what happens is put it in your basket. So say, say I've got six units of it, and people have eight units in their basket, eight different people. Then th when the first six units have gone, then the other people will get a message saying, out of stock, sold out. So please, please, please be careful. If you've got this in your basket, check out. I love that. Make a gorgeous dress, that one. Very elegant summer dress. I'm, well, no, it could be an all-season dress, that one in the blue. Uh, it also comes in the, well, they, what they call it is the purple, but it's more of a, like, Palmer violet range, isn't it, this one? Oh, I'm right peckish today. That's nice. The same pattern, the same pattern. The cr cross pattern, but in the uh, purple. It's not purple, obviously, it's not purple. It's elegant, though, isn't it? It's very sophisticated. Very subtle, isn't it? The pattern in there is very, very subtle. £5.45. 
Right, little Paul, stop teasing John. He is wonderful, and I only watch this channel because of him. Oh, who sent that in, though? Who sent that in? I couldn't say, I didn't send it in, because I haven't got my phone on the desk. Oh, customer, let me know who that is so I can say thank you properly, because it's just come up as customer. Oh, thank you. He's driving me demented today, I can't tell you. Anyway, he's all angry now, look. Next. OK, he's not speaking, I'll just carry on. He says, this is what I have to put up with. And the management are in. Here we go. Yeah, but... Five pounds. <laughs> Birds on pink fabric. Uh, from the Papillon range. I like this pink one. I think it's beautiful. It's very, very vibrant. I'd, I'd uh, wear it um, not necessarily next to my face because it might be a bit bright. What I'm trying to say is, uh, and the thing is up to you. Someone else, no, no, no. But, but what I'm saying is, look, you see, look, you see, it's very, very... <laughs> no, 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 all right then, let's do it like this then, let's do it like this. Be nice, oh, I think it's a scarf. Oh, that'd be lovely. You know the infinity scarf that uh, Janice made? That'd be lovely if you use some of these fabrics to make that, wouldn't it? Five pounds, 45, half a metre. You don't need half a metre of each, I imagine. OK, you'll need Amy to come in and tidy it up, then. The haberdashery shop is looking a little bit unkempt. I've got to go back to the haberdashery shop in a minute. Now, apparently, we're having a different printer in this hour. That'll be interesting, see if that works. Um, now, this has been very, very, very popular today, this one. I've never seen it before, and here we are. No, it's floral on teal, this one. Look, it's very elegant. Even though it's ditzy and gorgeous and move, it's got movement to it, the teal background, the teal background is lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice. Remember the cream has sold out. Oh, right, I better get rid of it then. It's on the table still. So that's definitely gone. Oh, sorry. Cream's gone. Cream's gone. Right, a lot of people with this in the basket. Can we guarantee their orders? Only just. Only just. It, if everybody checks out, we've only got a couple of units left. If everybody checks out, there's just a couple of units of that one left. And remember, if it all goes today, that's it, that's it, that's it. At five pounds and 45 pence. Floral on teal background. It's lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice, that one. The design is lovely. Again, I think it's quite scandy, isn't it? me talking about Miss Scandis. Oh, Mike said, the design is divine. They're all having a bit of a funny moment up there today. Oh, we didn't say that, apparently. I'm only just passing on from Paul. Uh, right. Meadow, meadow print on yellow. Now, the yellow on this is very ochre yellow. Which way up is it that way? Um, this, I think, is a lovely colour. Very rich. Imagine teaming that with black or blue or purple. It'd look really, really lovely, wouldn't it? It's called Meadow. It's an interpretation of the flowers. In fact, look at that. That's the, that's the side view and that's the aerial view. Oh, as well. I know, I need, I need a square where I can point at. You always put this, it should, there you are, I'm here there. As long as it's there, I'm all right. <laughs> oh, talk, talk about, what is it today? What's the theme today? Pick on John Day. Oh, no, fun with fabric, it's called. Yeah, you wait. You wait till I get into that management meeting. I'll be going in it today. I have friends in high places. Never you mind who. Uh, which one's next? 
They'll all be watching. They'll all be there now. They'll all be watching. Which one? This one. Right, now, we haven't had any suggestions, you see. I said um, lounging pants. Yeah. Uh, little Paul said an all-in-one romper suit for men. Uh, Mike said a blouse. You see, it worked because Mike's hair is this colour, so it would team in nicely. And what would you make then now? Or what would you get your wife to make for you, Thomas? A bag. The inside of a bag? The inside, oh, the, no, the inside bag. That would be lovely, actually. Um, I still think my, um, my slouching trousers are the best idea. Let me know, let me know, because you can make a gorgeous... Do you know what would be nice? Like a, a, you know the um, things that Jennifer Taylor wears, like sleeveless shift dresses? That would be nice in that, wouldn't it? Or, you know that cloth kit um, sweet, um, swing dress? That would look really lovely in this, because what would happen is where the skirt swings out like that, you get that lovely um, pleating and all the folds. You'd see all the lovely flowers all intermingling there. Now, this has been one of our popular... Fr right from... Right, OK, if everybody checks out of their baskets right now, of this fabric, we've got four and a half metres left. So once everyone's checked out their baskets, there's four and a half metres of this left. And that's it. And that four and a half metres, this fabric is not coming back. Not coming back, remember. So if you want it, it's miss it, miss out. Miss it, miss out. Miss it, miss out. Oh, that's lovely. They're lovely colours, aren't they, in there? You've got the very pale morganite pinks. You've got the lovely aquamarine blues. Amethysts. What's that blue there? At £5.40. Oh, yes, a topaz. Mystic topaz there. Mystic topaz. It's like the colour... Colours of life, isn't it? That's like the colours of life. Right, OK, got two left to show you. What time is that? Oh, yeah, because that'll time me perfectly, because I've got to go back over to the haberdashery shop. Johnson. We have to have to have a sign that, that drops down, not just, not just in... Not just in um, we have to have a, the old-fashioned doorbell, so when I walk over, it goes ding, 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 you know, like old-fashioned shops used to have. And then, and then the, uh, a sign should drop down from the sky. There's, how many people are in that management meeting? There's an awful lot of voices coming through that door. This is nice. It's ditzy. Don't know who it is. Oh, little Paul's getting worried now. Florence blue fabric from um, Floral Splendor. Floral Sp oh, you can tell they spelt it the American way. Look, they've missed a U out of Splendor. Floral Splendor range by Macau. Five pounds and forty-five pence for half a meter. What's the matter? Oh, okay. They're looking for a friend upstairs, apparently. Five pounds and forty-five pence for half a meter. Lovely ditzy print. This one. You see, I'd be I'd be tempted to team these two together. I know it's quite controversial. But look, I'd be tempted to put those, those two together. That looks nice, doesn't it? Trim it, make it with one, trim it with the other. Five pounds and 45, they're all, they're all five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre, remember? Okay, one more to show you before I go over to the haberdashery shop. You know what, I know I say it all the time. You know I say it all the time. I don't, it's only because I don't want you to be disappointed. There's nothing worse than thinking, oh, I'll have that, and then come back to check out later, and it's gone. If you know you want it, check out straight away. If you know you want it, check out straight away. Last but not least, we've got sticks. This is lovely. It's on a very, very soft pink, blush pink background, this one. And then you've got the darker pink, uh, you've got the ochre, you've got the blues, you've got the lilacs, got coral in there as well. What's your little ball? I did make Tom a blush earlier, didn't I? It's the first. Five pounds and 45 pence for half a metre. Sticks Fabric by Macau. Give us a call, 0800 uh, 112 Go through to sewingquarter. Dot com, if you, uh, yeah, dot com if you want to uh, put one in your basket. But if it is in your basket, please check out. So, welcome to John Scott's haberdashery store. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. That's the doorbell. That's the doorbell going, the old-fashioned doorbell going. Sign drops down. Oh, and they need... Oh. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. That's me coming in and out the door, you see. Until he's looking, thinking, what on earth have I done coming to work here? <laughs> Not me, her. Right, what would you like to see first? 
the Alpha Cup kit. So what you get, they put this little bundle together where you get the Alpha self-healing cutting mat, you get the Alpha rotary cutter, and you get the uh, Alpha little ruler there, quilting ruler there. All three of those, 38 pounds and 95 pence. 38 pounds and 95 pence. Obviously this isn't the one you're gonna get. Safety catch down. Precision cutting there. John the cutter back in form. That's oh, it doesn't make the noise. Apparently it doesn't make the noise when you do it at home. The John Scott noises, that's just me doing the sound effects. So that's 38 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, what, what would you like? The pencils. Now, okay, they're both colors as popular as each other. Tomo's back as popular as each other. So we've got it in the white and we've got it in the green. Let's do, okay, the bottom, the green ones are at the bottom of your screen down there and the white ones are here, right? These are fantastic. I'll show you the white one now. You literally get a, uh, like a mechanical pencil, retractable pencil like this. Uh, got a button at the top here, uh, like a, it's an eraser, it's a, a, a rubber. And then what you can do is you can mark up patterns you can mark up, oh, you know if you're doing crosshatch, if you know you're doing crosshatch, you could mark your lines on there. Look, that, that couldn't you? It's brilliant. Now, that's not noughts and crosses. This is noughts and crosses, right? Where do you want to go? Oh, any... oh, you never go in the middle first. All right, then, okay. Right, I'll go there. Where are you going, Paul? Oh, we... too slow, too slow, too slow. Uh, we've only got 20 seconds. Tilly's back uh, after the break, three minutes from now. Make sure you check out your baskets for those fabrics. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, I've got... I'm rubbish at this, and I've got one job, and I look at the wrong camera all the time. Um, Tilly's back, three minutes from now. Don't go anywhere. She's making a lovely cushion. We'll be doing the selling the bundle for that. And then photographs, montage of photographs. Here, back in three. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a hem stitch. Now a hem stitch is just a row of small slanting stitches that are used to secure your hem. So in this case I'm pretending that this is going to be the bottom of a trouser leg. So I'm going to be using a needle and thread today. I'm using embroidery thread so you can see what I'm doing and I'm actually not going to put a knot in the bottom of this. I'm going to do, secure my thread with a double stitch. So I'm first going to take my needle through the single hem I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail before I place that back down. So then I'm going to do a double stitch. Now this is just where you sew over the same area twice, so you're creating a, a knot. That's one, two. So that's securing my thread now. And now we can begin doing our hem stitch. So you're going to need to bring your needle in at a diagonal. So you want to pick up a few stitches from what would be the trouser leg before then going into your hem so you can make this stitch a little bit bigger and then repeating that process again at a diagonal I'm going to be picking up a few stitches of the trouser leg and then we can pick up more of the single hem so I'm making these stitches super big so you can see what I'm doing, but when you do this at home you'd want to make these a little bit closer together. So again, a few stitches. There's my row of hem stitching, and if I just turn this over, you can see they're very small stitches on the other side. So if you're doing this in a normal thread and not a thick thread, you won't be able to see those at all.
don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sevenquarter.com. Join us on Tuesday the 23rd of May when Tilly Rose will be bringing us a brand new project designed by her especially for the sewing quarter. Tilly combines a range of beautiful hand embroidery stitches focusing on a slow stitching technique available in two colourways on two fresh new linen prints. So join Tilly on Tuesday the 23rd of May at 8am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on Wednesday the 24th of May when we'll be joined by the talented Joy Edgington. Joy will bring us an amazing project from a wonderful new book, Seaside Quilts. She'll show you how to create a boat and a wave block, which will be perfect for developing your techniques into some stunning projects. So, don't miss Joy on Wednesday the 24th of May at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Wouldn't this make a gorgeous gift? Isn't it? It's so lovely, like memories of, like, I've got, in fact, I'll tell you what I've got at home. In one of my drawers, I've got all my favourite old T-shirts. Like, I've got a T-shirt the Spice Girls signed for me when I met the Spice Girls. That's in the drawer. I've got my James Bond T-shirts when I used to work on James Bond. I've got one that nobody else in the whole wide world has got because it was a mistake and I've got the prototype. But I've also got, when I did... Um, the Life and Times of Henry Pratt. It was for Granada TV, and I was doing the costumes for it. And we had four actors uh, going from, like, age uh, two years to five years to 12. And I've got a T-shirt. They made me a T-shirt with all of their pictures in their costume on. Exactly like that. And it's such a lovely memory. This would be gorgeous. And it's so easy to do. I'll show you the, the fabrics we used in a second, because Tilly's here and she's got lots to show you. But I just want to show you how they've been created. Oh, that just happens to be his. Well, that's lovely. Uh, from when, if you want to make your own... Um, look, that, that's gonna, I'm going to sew that on the back of a, uh, on a back of a T-shirt. So that's me and Angie last time she was in doing threads. Um, basically, I'll just say it very, very simply. These are incredible. You can print any photograph, picture, anything like that that you can put on your computer. You can print them on fabric. You can print them on fabric. What we do is we do the cotton poplin one here, which is £19.95 for six sheets. And then that's on the bottom of the screen. And then this is the twill one that we're doing at the, um, the in this hour, the twill for £21.95. £25. We're doing this hour. Now, the, I've got to warn you, the poplin one that we did in the uh, 9 o'clock hour, very, very, very limited. If you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. You need to check out. I'm just going to show you. I don't know why these have suddenly come in. They're, although they're pictures that we're going to show you later on in, in the show. Um, I'll show you the bundles. I'll show you the bundles before we go any further. Oh, look, I've got to show you this picture. Look at this lovely picture. This is me and Belle. This is my friend Belle, who lives down the road to me. I'm the godfather to her little sister, Chess. And that was at the christening there. Oh, look, I had, the sh I had that shirt on yesterday, didn't I? And then this one was me. I don't know, are we making cushions with these on? This is me on holiday last year in America. I was just waving to everybody on the beach. And that was Mission Bay. Well, uh, this is the house we stay in here. This is the house we stay in. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, these are... The cushion. Where did I just put it? I just put it down somewhere. Anyway, the cushion. Um, oh, we've got a picture. Oh, we've got a picture of it there. Right now, you, we've bundled the fabrics together for you to make that cushion. All you need to do is make your thread pictures. Go. It's chaos, isn't it, Tilly? But it's fine. It's lovely chaos. So we'll do the teal one first. Linear. So what you get is you get half a meter of the linear fabric. 
That's a print on top of Macau solid fabric. And you get half a metre of the spot, both in the teal, duck, no, no, duck egg and teal, duck egg and teal, they're called. Eight pounds and 95 pence for both those. And that's enough fabric to make that cushion that I just showed you. That's the duck egg and teal bundle. We've also got it in the gray. It's the gray one, same price. Oh, hang on, graphics got stuck. You get the uh, spot on fabric there, half a meter, and you get the uh, gray uh, linen. Now, this isn't the linear, this is the linen texture in slate and the spot on in steel for eight pounds and 95 pence, half a meter of each. You get a meter of fabric for eight pounds and 95 pence. Right, you want less of me, less of me. Let's go over and see Tilly. Let's take all my stuff with me. You can do all these things with it. I'll come back and show you later. Right, deep breath, Tilly. You've only got an hour of me left now. <laughs> so I'll put that there for now till we know what we're doing right threads there i'll put those in my trolley at the back there and i don't know why i've got these pictures but i'll put those for you to take home with you later right hello hello how are you i'm good thank good. you good are you enjoying what's that doing in the middle of the table <laughs> oh it's chaos right <laughs> let's start so for those people who didn't watch yes the nine o'clock show let's just do a quick resume of, of what threads are before yes. we start making your cushion if that's all right with you sure okay so if that's what we're concentrating on this. Yes. Yeah, you've got, got one? Proper, you've okay. Done. So, threads is um, inkjet, inkjet printable fabric. You've been drinking I in the have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I wish, uh, she says. <laughs> so, um, they're from America. Yes. Uh, it's not a new product to print on fabric, but this product is, um, the, the way that they, um, have coated the threads is a uh, quite a different technique to what's out there at the moment and the a4 sheets can go straight through to an inkjet printer so anything like you've already just mentioned that you can print on paper it can go onto fabric and then it's just literally peeling off your paper mm -hmm. and then using that as a piece of fabric and that's what you've got to get past you haven't done anything technical and it's you know not needing anything extra on top you literally just print it you don't need to set anything with an iron um, you can wash it, so you can put it in any project that can be laundered. Um, you can sew on top of it, you can embellish on top of it, you can do all sorts of projects. It's not just home decor. No. It, it goes in dressmaking, you can use it for your textile art. Um, it's suitable for any Textile sewing. art, we only say that because you're the prize winner of textile <laughs> art. Uh, quick question, can you use, use it on a laser printer? No, it has to be an inkjet um, printer. Um, it doesn't have to be an expensive printer, it just is... An inkjet printer is just your normal everyday yes, printer then, it's nothing printer special in inkjet printer. that you would go and buy to print off anything. So yeah, what I've got yeah. at home basically, yes, I put cartridges in with yeah, ink in it, that's, that's it. the one you yeah, need to use. that's it. And it's a water-based um, ink, so that's what um, makes the, you know, combines with the, the so, so threads, the, 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 the coating. The, the normal ink I buy yes. to go in my printer yep. is a water-based ink, is it? Yeah, and you can use it then in uh, the same way as you would print out any anything on um, paper. Yeah. You just use it through your printer. Now, I was just saying that I've got those T-shirts in that drawer that I yes. keep nothing. Some of them, like the, the James Bond one, which is yes. one off, um, only because I used to do the costumes for James Bond, that's why I've got Did it. You? Oh, yes, yes, darling. I've um, been in the James Bond film. <laughs> uh, you've been in an one? Extra. Yeah. Which one? I was in Octopussy in You're the You're not 80s. old enough to be in I Octopussy. Was. I was sitting in the train. My friend Emma Porteous designed the costumes for that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh. I did Gold Night Tomorrow is Not Enough and the World. And the World's Not Enough Tomorrow Never Dies and Gold Night. Anyway, um, the t shirt I've got for that, yes. the, the picture of the three ladies on, and Pierce on the front, two ladies and Pierce on the front, yep. is crunchy. Yes. Is this crunchy? No, because what you will have, you, the, the type of print that you would have got on that um, fabric, it would sit as a coating on yes, top of the fabric. Yes, that's exactly what it does. So this, um, the uh, mixture that's on the threads, get my teeth in, yeah. um, is Want actually mine? coating this, please. <laughs> <laughs> I do this morning. Um, it coats all the, all the threads from both sides. So surfaces. rather than just layering so it on, on the, the top, surface, it sits it into, into the fabric. The so it almost dyes the fabric it does, like it would dye it a fabric. Does, yes. And because of that, then you've got the fluidity of the fabric when you, you sew and use it as a project, but you've also got the depth of colour. Yes. Um, and we showed that in an earlier, if I just show you our picture that we printed out, in our earlier show, for anybody who didn't see it, John um, sent this photograph of Norman. Right, I need to show you this because somebody needs to come in and sort your microphone now. Apparently you've got microphone issues. Oh, but right, okay. I'll show you this. This is a picture that I sent in 
of Norman earlier. So that was taken on my phone in my dining room uh, with just, and the reason there's lots of light coming from this side is because that's where the French windows are out into the garden. Um, but what we were doing was I just, we then printed it up on fabric and look at the intensity of colour, look, the attention to detail. You can almost see how his fur, you know what I mean, like that one, it's, it's kind of just a really, really lovely. Now, we were saying earlier, it's just like printing a picture onto paper. Yes, are exactly. you In a minute, when you come to do this cushion, are you yes. going to, because there are two important things you have to do yes. that are yes. slightly differently, yes. aren't they? But so I'll just you run carry on with that. your, you okay. carry on with your, well, oh, to... hang on, I've got a message, sorry. Okay. Uh, it's Karen from Threads. Oh. oh, Tilly and John are doing a fab job. A viewer inquired if you could use a waterproof product on the 9 a.m. show. Oh, I can't see the rest of the message, Karen, because it, it rubs out. Karen, send the second part of the message. Is she in America watching? Yes, she oh. is. Oh, hello. Uh, Paul says hello, Karen. Um, uh, um, email, uh, email studio, or just send the second, second bit. We've lost the second half of your message. I'm ever so sorry. That's Karen, that's Karen, that's who, the lady last time she was here, she was shouting down my earpiece from upstairs. Yes. Right, so that's Karen. <laughs> now she knows she's watching, we've got to behave, haven't we? Uh, right, off you go. Right, so um, what we're doing, um, what we're using this time in this show is the cotton twill. Twill one, yes. So this morning we used the cotton poplin. Yep. And I don't know if the camera really can zoom in on the on the texture. I don't know. You have to be quite close. Yes. Um, but the cotton poplin is obviously like a obviously a, a plain cotton. Like a lawn cotton, but like the, a lawn. The weight. twill has a little bit of a diagonal weave. I don't know if they can. Hang on, you need to see yours. We're not seeing yours on that one. Just up here. Okay. Am I at the oh right yes, angle? no, no, you can see. You, can. you just stand still. They'll find you. Yeah. There you go. So it's got the weave. It's, okay. it's like if you go to buy fabric, yes. poplin is like a, a, a cotton lawn. And this is the lightweight. Yes. Yes. And this is just slightly thicker than um, the cotton poplin. Yeah. So the twill you would use. I've been asked quite a few times. What would I use poplin for, and what would I use cotton twill yes. for? The poplin, if you're doing any quilting, patchworking, um, lightweight dressmaking, um, anything where you think I just want that sort of gentle finish. Yes. That, that's the easy term. But if you want a heavier, firmer texture, the cotton twill. So if you may be making cushions for outside summer coming yes, up, yeah. um, you might want to make uh, bunting with your twill because yes. it's you know much more. Um, or, or, or if you're standard. attaching it to denim, like yes, we were saying earlier, yes. I'm going to have to make this denim jacket now. You we and I saying, both. That's uh, a problem. Earlier about a pitch, attaching a picture to jeans or jackets or anything yes. like that. Maybe the cotton twill would be better that because the would. fabric will be more like for like, whereas yep. rather than putting a lightweight yes. one, I mean, you can yeah. still applique a lightweight one yeah, on a heavier can. fabric, but you if can. your fabric's going to be like for like, then yes. it, that's more of a, a denim feel to it. It's still yeah. a really good quality cotton, isn't it? But it's it just is. got that, uh, that I, kind of depth to I it. I actually like the cotton twill for cushions. Right. Um, because um, cushions are you know, the first thing anybody does with a cushion, you pick, like we've yeah. just done, you've picked it up and it's moved about. Yeah, and um, you sit on it. And you sit on it. And especially if you're using it for outside or anything, or a special, you know, yeah. a project that's going to be in a bedroom or something, it's constantly on the move. And I think, actually, I, I myself prefer the cotton twill yes. for that. Mm. Um, you may not, you, you know, you may prefer the poplin, but you can do what I'm going to be doing in this show on both fabrics. Yes. So don't be put my, off. And this is my personal opinion now. I think a black and, if you're going to go black and white, Yes. On the poplin gives it a kind of period feel. Yes. Do you know, like yes. an old black and white photo. Yeah. It's got like the grain on it, like yeah. an old black and white photo has got, yeah. which I quite like if you're going to do black and white as well. Well, right. what I want to show people today... Um, want please, to please, please, can we have more of Tilly? <laughs> she is great for Marie in Cornwall. Oh, thank you. Thank She's booked for loads, don't worry. <laughs> um, what, what I wanted to show uh, viewers today, so this is... Is it best if I turn it round? Would that be better? Okay, so yeah. these are just um, pictures of my grandson that I've put... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> right, okay, I need to say, I've done my research. So you're old enough to be an octopusy, and yes. now you're old enough to be a grandma. I have the grey hair. I thought that was the, the, the expensive thing yeah, they're all having done in the, in the hair. Well, you're looking good on it, girl, Thank that's you. all I can say. Thank Blimey. you. Blimey. So this is Harry, um, and these are just photographs that I've taken off on my phone, yes. and I've put them in um, a collage, a, a mosaic, now, if you're um, a beginning uh, with your sewing or you're coming back to sewing, sometimes patchwork, as much as everybody loves patchwork, the thought of putting all those pieces of fabric back together again once they've cut out is sometimes quite off-putting. Yes. And um, is having a life, it's only what, we get, what I've done here, I thought I would make it quite easy for some of um, our viewers if they want to try this technique. And that's, we've done all the hard work with our photographs yes. already. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, I did this on my phone, but you can get um, 
uh, ed photo editing suites on your laptop. You can put it into various... Yeah, you've lost yeah. me. <laughs> You Can you come back and do a computer lesson I one think day? I might have to. Um, but just have a play. So you might want to actually do different size photographs. Yes. Okay. So this is what we're going to be printing out in a minute. Okay. I think, have we got paper in there at the moment? Did they put paper? Yes, that's paper. Right, that's so paper. shall so we put, put some Let's fabric? put some twill in there, shall we? Okay. Now, uh, one oh, now, thing... Now, now, quick question. This is what we're selling this out of twill, but you can get the pop clean as well. Yes. How they put it, which way they put it into right. the machine. Right, okay, you beat me to it. So, oh, so, so mm, I should I'll, ask I'll, you and see if you were listening this I'll, morning. I was listening to everything, I tell you, <laughs> I was listening to everything. So, um, it depends on your printer. If you have a top loader, yeah. you literally put the fabric facing towards you as you load it into yeah. the fabric. If you have a bottom loader, what um, what's that's going to do is you put the fabric facing down and then it will go in and flip round as it prints. Okay, if All I don't right? trust my yes. thing, is there a way I if, can do yes. it? So you don't want to waste all your fabric. You want to do it on paper first, which is why we've got this one here. Yeah. If you're not sure on which way it's going to come through your printer, put a little cross or a little mark or a, whatever you want to, to remember it by on how you put it into your printer. And if you think, okay, which side does it come out, you will know then how it corresponds with your fabric. fabric yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now, every printer is different. I've got another quick question. I noticed okay. when you opened the packet, you only took one I did. So sheet out. It comes in uh, your packaging. No, 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 no. It's just okay. catching these cheap That's lights. That's all. So um, take it out because what you don't want to do, if it if, if it's out in the atmosphere some, you know, for a while, it might just start curling at the edges. Oh, yes. Okay, but by keeping it in the package until you need it, then... Yeah. Also, also, if it's not in the package, people could touch it, and get it fingerprints get dirty. on it, get yes, dirty. Yes, exactly. And as you were saying earlier about the... It could... F not, not fray, it's not going to fray, but some of the, There's little... Yes. I don't know if you've got one of those. So one tiny one there's there. There's just a tiny one. Little threads sometimes. If they're yeah. out of the bag, they're going to get knocked and exactly. the little threads are going to create... So, and you don't want to have little threads on it. You really. just literally cut the little bits of thread off. Now this one is because I've been taking it backwards and forwards when I'm doing my demos. You won't have that in your packets because they'll be perfect. How lovely to see the gorgeous Tilly. Oh, thank you. I, uh, so inspiring. I cannot believe she's a grandmother either to that gorgeous boy. <laughs> Also love the attention to detail, and then it runs out, Janet, so I don't know if there was any more oh, than that thank afterwards. thank you, Janet. Right. Um, right, oh, okay, that so if you want to put this in the printer oh, for me, John. Oh, okay, I'll get it right this time. So it goes fabric this way, doesn't it, on this one? Yes. Okay, it's in. Right. Okay, so I'm going to click on my photograph. Oh, oh yes, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. So, so I need to ask a question here. It's yes. just like you'd print... Yes. A picture if yes. you're printing it on paper. If, take away the worry of thinking I've got something technical there. Yes. Just think, I'm just printing out a photograph for a friend. That's okay. it. Okay. So you've got the picture on, on so your screen there. Then what we do is we click on print. Yeah. Okay. Now on... Um, um, okay, I'm using a different computer here. So I just need to yeah. make sure. Basically when you... Oh, can you see it or not? No. I don't think so. I, I, hang on, I don't know. Can you see it? Where is it? No, because it no. needed to be. No, 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 no. Basically, right. when you go to print a picture, you press print and a column comes up. This does it on mine, so I know mine does this yes. well. A print comes up and it says portrait or landscape, uh, paper size, A4, or whatever, um, all the different sizes. Um, you can just do anything you want to do in you there, can. but there are two There's important two things you need things to, you need to do. Yeah. There? Okay, so. You've been doing your homework. I've been listening been to you. Listening. That's Bless what it is. You. You're a very good teacher. So, the first thing you need to remember is that um, although we're printing a photograph, we don't want a glossy photograph because we're printing onto fabric. So you need it to be on the matte setting. Because I was going to say, when we do photos, we kind of want them, exactly. a lot of time. You want them yep, to be glossy, no, don't you? So you? We need matte setting. So that goes into the type where Ta your paper type. or quality yes. is. You, yeah. you just put, you put matte. And you then put matte, not gloss. on the output quality, that's what it that calls here. On my printer at home, it's um, a different description. Yeah. But um, you want the best setting or right. the high setting. Right. Okay? So we've got high on this one, but yours could, at home could say best. Yes. But that's just directly underneath the type on this one. So. Okay. So but they're the only two things. Everything else you can yes, do, no. whatever you want with all the other landscape or whatever, fit to screen or anything like that. But you, as long as those two say matte and best or highest, then yes, you're fine. you should be fine. Okay. And then we just press print. Not even making any noise this time. 
No, oh, please, no. just got to be patient. I know, I'm, that's the trouble. This is why I'm no good with computers <laughs> and printers. If it doesn't do it Central. straight away, I'm like, oh, it's broken, it's broken. I'm just checking from here. I just... Do you need to press that button again? No, I'm not sure that I do this time. No, there it goes, there, there it, goes. it goes. Right, now how long does it take to go through the machine then? Um, probably just a couple of minutes, because obviously if you think about it, it's going on a weave, so it's not going to just wish it, you know, No, 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 because no, when, when, you, when you have to do a photograph, it takes... Yes, and it also, does. I suppose it depends on how much... You've only got black, white and greys in there, yes. whereas if that lovely picture of a pansy yes. you've got there, well, you've got all the different colours going through. I'm just going, going to show... Can we just Ooh, we're in that tune, camera? aren't we? <laughs> we make a good tune. Yeah. Um, so this is where I've printed it out onto, um, this is a, just a picture from my garden. Now when I put the paper so through So grandmother, here, award winner, gardener. <laughs> and I'm writing a book, did I tell oh, you? Oh, and a book. <laughs> Do so, you ever see you? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, one of the tips, one of the reasons I've brought this in is I didn't have my paper um, in straight when I printed this out. So oh yes, can yes, you yes, see, yes, yeah. Um, now, your printer, you might prefer to do it as a borderless print right. so that you don't have this white. Right. Um, and obviously, it won't, it won't matter then. But um, if you are putting a border around it, you just need to make sure that when you put your fabric in, that you're not going to waste your fabric by, by um, slipping by off. Because that often happens on a photo. I photocopy all my accounts and things like that. You yes. know, get in the yeah. half the page is missing. Yeah. You have to put it on flat yeah. like that. I suppose the same thing with the printer, isn't but it? But you can see, um, this has been, you won't have yours like mine. Mine's got a few threads yeah. now where I've been using it. But you can see the detail that you can mm. really pick out. So using the colour one as well, you can use this. If you're using it for your textile art, you might want to shade cut, this in or... Cut with, it out or yeah, anything. Yeah, plique, all sorts of things, yeah. And you can then put Bonder Web on the back and use that as a, yes, an applique yeah. as well. Yeah, because Kate Bassett does that amazing quilt with a flower in each square. So if you took yes. a picture of all your flowers, yes. you could applique or whatever you want to, each of them, onto a different square to make a really lovely... Oh, yeah. we're getting creative again. I know. Well, I just wanted to show, while yep. that's printing yep. as well, so um, I'm just going to give the viewers some ideas here. Oh, OK. So this is a collage of um, photographs that I've used for the photograph for the sample over here. Yeah. And this is my husband's family when he was growing up. So this is a different sort of collage. You can yeah. see how we put it in. He's much older than you, obviously, then. <laughs> oh. well, not that old, but... Um, and then I've done the same photograph with a filter. Right. So you can change colour to match the fabric you're working so with. So that's almost like a sepia. Yes, this was black and white, and then I added a, 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 an overall filter on right. there. Okay. Yeah. And then what I want to offer viewers now is... Um, Tash sent me some photographs of yes. her little lamb. There was a bit of confusion because you thought you were on today with Tash. I and did. Then Tash I messaged did. me when I'm in bed last night going, is it me or you tomorrow? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I got muddled. So I did um, a collage of photographs for Tash's uh, on the similar theme of what I've just done yes. here. So this is the colour version. This is Tash's little boy, Freddie, yeah. here. OK, and you can see Tash. I don't know which dog bottom. that is. She's got so many. Uh, I don't know. Is that remember. Archie? Is that Arthur or Archie? I can't that one? remember now. Yeah. OK, oh. whoops, sorry. So I've got the colour version. Yes. This is oh. a black and white version, and I've added a filter here on one of my photo editing that you might be able to do at home um, to match in with what I would be using around for a cushion. Oh, so you might want to introduce wow. a bit of colour. Yes. Okay. Then I just like the fact that one's colour and three are black <laughs> and white. That's nice. So then we... Oh, I've right. done it in sepia. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Same one, but done in yeah. the sepia. And then the last one is where I've added a piece of fabric behind. Oh, we were talking about this earlier, weren't yes. we, about a piece of fabric? Yes, and then I've added some text. And all that's done on the computer? All it's that's all done, on the computer. done, but you can have a play on your phone, um, you can have a play on the laptop, on your computer. It's just, I just wanted to give you yeah, viewers some ideas. Yeah, no, no, it's brilliant, ideas. it's brilliant. Now, um, so, we've had a question saying, what's yes. the difference? Um, I, I, we covered it very briefly at the beginning of the show. The difference between the poplin and the twill. The poplin is right. 19.95. That's on the bottom screen. The twill is 21.95. Um, oh no, that's just the poplin one here. Yes. Um, it's just the, the, just the weight of fabric. Isn't it, it is. That's all it is. So you get your same amount of sheets yeah. in your pack. Um, it just depends really what you want to use it in your projects. So. Um, I know some viewers only like using the um, fine cotton for quilting yes, and patchworking, yes. and maybe have never wanted to, you know, work yeah. with twill. But the cotton twill I like for um, things like outdoor cushions or uh, maybe table runners, especially something that's going to have a lot of use. Yes. So it could be for bags, it could be for bunting, 
Um, yeah, the bolster cushion we've got over there, that's the twill, isn't yes, it? Yeah. Yes, so um, They're both 100% cotton, though, aren't they? Yes, yes, yeah, they're cotton, cotton, yes. Right, OK, let's get on then. So okay. that's printed. How long do we have to right, leave it so for? Right, so before we put it into the water... Oh, is that what you're going to do? Yes, I just wanted to show that because we didn't do that in the first no, okay. show. So what I'm going to do Lots is one that I've already... Here, Tilly Rose. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, going to peel off um, this one that... We're going to leave that to dry for a... a 10 minutes. Oh, okay, that's what I was going to okay. say. If you're not putting it in water, we're just you don't have to put yours in water at home. We're just, it's just no, a demonstration. No, no, I just want but to show. You don't touch it for 10 minutes. No, I mean, you can do it a little bit before, but 10 minutes safe. is almost yeah. a safeguard, yeah, really. Okay, Especially if you've got a lot of colour in there just to, you yeah. know, and you'll feel, I mean, you can take it now and feel that actually it's dry straight away. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not, you know, not a problem, really. Um, so for taking off your uh, photographs off the paper to use, um, we mentioned earlier that we've got the fabric backing at the fabric front yes. and the paper backing. Yes. Okay. To take that off. Let me move that out the way. And please. obviously, if you're washing, um, please don't do what one of my lovely, my lovely viewers. Um, she said, "Oh, I put it through and then I forgot to take the paper oh, off and put no. it in." The... So yes, yeah, so that's just a tip. So um, this has come off. This has been done a while. So I should have used the one that we did this morning. Here we go me because I haven't got it you just literally peel off a little piece yeah now just a little tip that you don't stretch your fabric um, it's quite tough on there the twill because it's a heavier yes, grip yes, you know yes. so I once I've got a little piece here um, I don't want to do it on the bias I'm just peeling away here okay there we go and it just peels off. So put your hand on your, your yeah. fabric to keep it flat, okay? And it will need, uh, this twill is actually a little bit firmer than the poplin, so you will need to just be patient, John. But look how it's come <laughs> off, it's come off. <laughs> and then you've got it as a piece of fabric. Now, I'm just going to show the viewers out here, okay? When did you print this one then? Uh, I printed it, uh, where are we today? Monday. So oh, so, so, so it's not been done this morning, but, but it's, it, it's dry. I just yes. need to tell you, the poplin is very, very, very limited. If you've got any basket, you need to check out. If you want the poplin, you need to call the call centre right now. Okay, the reason I just screwed that up, because I want to show people how, it, like a piece of fabric, it yes, is. Yes, okay? yes, yes, it's yes, not yeah, stiff yeah. or but anything But cotton like twill, I'm just going to get the towel ready. Um, okay. The cotton twill is a sturdier fabric, isn't it, than, yes. than the, the cotton poplin? Because I showed how you could still drape the poplin earlier. Whereas it's the same with this. It still works like an, a normal cotton poplin would work, a uh, cotton twill would work. Right, OK. So what we would just do yes. is we would pop it into our fabric, uh, into our wardrobe. Water. John, <laughs> Uh, Karen, if you're still watching, can we have the second half of your message? Because I think she was messaging about the Odico, the question about the Odico, and then we got halfway through and we lost the, the second half of the message. OK. OK. Right, so it's just so, gone like a, a wet piece of fabric, like a yes, wet flannel, basically. Yes. So I'm just going to dab this. If I just move that, I'm just very conscious I've got a sewing machine there. And just oh, I've got a, I've got a, a nice, uh, from, uh, that's a nice name, a tractor. Uh, a tractor from uh, Ireland. Love this product. Right, now this is a little tip for the, a, a question that might be Karen could die. Well, no, it's not a question. She said her top loader didn't like the twill, like the poplin, but it didn't like the twill. Oh, okay. But she put a Did sheet she... of copy oh. paper behind it that solved the problem. Right, OK. I, that's, I guess it's because every printer is different, Yeah, of course, isn't of course, it? Of course, yeah. Um, and it, it might have been maybe that there was a... A, a little stray thread, it, yeah. you know, um, but yes, the paper behind, and she's obviously, that's all it um, it needed. Love so, Tilly, she's calm and collected. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know who that is, that's just her <laughs> customer, that one. Um, right, okay, so you've just okay. towel patted it dry. Yes, so obviously at this stage you'd need to dry it. Yes. Um, you can hang it on a line, you can um, put it flat to dry. Um, what I would say is don't sort of, Put it on a central heating radiator. Oh no, because it'll dry it that will shape, dry won't that, it? Well, it, you can use it, but then you'll have the grid lines of the radiator in there. Well, if you've got posh radiators, you will. <laughs> That's another thing. Grandma, <laughs> book right, author. Posh radiators. Oh, posh radiators. <laughs> Interior it. designer. Oh, there's so many people coming through this. I'll oh, tell you in a second. Brilliant. Okay, so right, can we I'll just take put that one off you. Can I roll that? Do you mind if I roll that up so no, it doesn't get all thing wet? I'm just going to make sure we're not wet so right, that okay. I can. Um, demonstrate how to so what I wanted to um, show viewers now I'm going to be a bit, okay? I'm going to do a bit of floor management here you carry on talking Tilly okay so what I wanted to show viewers is how we can use um, how you can use your grid um, 
for the patchwork. Okay, so um, instead of using the, the, the grid for the demonstrator, because I wanted to just show a different version. Yes. Um, I've already got this one to hand. Um, where I'm going around my photograph, you would actually just go across on the cross, okay? So I've used one of the photographs on the top, and this is this one, just blown up. This is Harry, is this it? This is Harry. Um, and I'm going to use that in the middle of my patchwork. Oh, okay, okay. All so right? you're just using one one picture this time rather than yes, montage yes. before. That's so fine. I just need to take this off the paper. Right. Um, I'm just going, I forgot that I, I'd got that ready and then yes. I went and used a different one too. So just bear with me. Yeah, one no, second. that's fine. How are we doing for time? Uh, oh, ages. You're only halfway through. Okay, that's all right then. Got multiple buyers on this uh, these threads. I'm not surprised. Every time we bring them, they sell out. So if you've got them in your basket, please, please, please check out. Especially the Poplin one. The Poplin one is so... That's the, that's the cotton twill one, the one we're using now. That's the $21.95. The cotton Poplin one for $19.95. You need to check out your baskets or ring the call centre. OK. Now, when just a little tip here. When you pull your um, paper off. Yes. If is it just... sticky? Can I ask, is it sticky? No, no, don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Because no. you, you always actually... imagine when, it's going to, when you take something off like yeah. the bond and web or something, it's going to be sticky. This but... is the paper, if you feel that's not sticky. Oh, that's sticky. not sticky either. No, and you'd think that it would be, wouldn't yes. you? Okay. So, no, no stickiness. Um, if you do have, when you peel it off, I don't know if I can yeah, show we'll that. Um, that. Yeah, we'll see that. Yeah. There's a, just an odd thread there where I've just Hang pulled on. it and caught it with my finger. There we go, yeah. yeah. Okay, so just get your scissors again before you start sewing. Yeah. Um, just snip again, and then you're so ready to So just get go. rid of any of the loose threads around yeah. the edge, yeah. I've not had a problem with the threads at all, really, it's, and it's where I caught it there with my ring, to be fair. So, so Don't tell I've me you designed my... that as well, designed a major <laughs> ring as well. No. No, well, no. oh, one thing she can't do, jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get on famously. <laughs> Uh, I would offer to iron it, but there's nowhere to put the iron, so pretend that's been no, ironed. No, that's fine. I don't leave that straight away. Oh, okay. So, Forget that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do a, a patchwork of... Um, I'm using this lovely grey and <laughs> grey and um, dot uh, linear oh, Okay, so effect. you use the teal and duck egg in this one, but you're using yes, the grey in this... Yes, I'm using the, the grey, because yeah, yeah. I think these lend themselves so beautifully with the black and, black and white. white it's really lovely. Exactly. And if you do think, well, actually, that's quite a monochrome design, um, you can always add detail with the embroidery threads or your machine stitching. Uh, some people, I did a whole monochrome show yesterday because people, and did it was you? really it's busy. Really people quite loved the, yes, Yeah, because yeah. it's just sometimes, you know, in a room of colour, just having one cushion yeah. of that, it just doesn't, you know, it takes it away. So uh, this is the fabric, sorry to interrupt, okay. this is the fabric that uh, Tilly's using. It's the linen texture, it's not real linen, it's 100% cotton linen texture in slate and the spot on 100% cotton steel grey, half a metre each, £8.95. Also comes in the teal and the duck egg blue, which I'll show you in a second. Right, Right. so all I've done is cut strips. Um, now, then I'm not going to say what size because it will depend on what cushion what, yes. you're using or panel. But I'm going to give you a little tip that if you used a mosaic, where you would um, actually sew, when we get onto quilting, where you'd sew this in the middle. Yeah. So this is going to be your centre point. So if you just fold over your strip, okay, just very gently yeah. give it a finger crease. When you come to putting this on the middle, um, I should have done it, oh, maybe let's do it with this and then yeah. the viewers will understand what I'm saying. So, so that you get an even um, um, amount of fabric, if you put your crease, you're going to use right sides together, yeah. um, use that against the grid, which is why I said the photo is a good way of getting started with patchwork. Yes, of course. Okay, because you haven't got to work it all out. It's yeah, because normally that would be the middle of your block and then you're working yeah, out from there, yeah, aren't yeah. you, really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stitch this onto my photograph here. Right. So now I'm going to ask you another question now yeah, that people sure. at home will be asking you. Before you started any of it, yes. did you draw a plan because you knew how big your photograph was going to be in the middle. Like you said, I'm not going to give you measurements because you can decide. Yep. So uh, if you were going to put that in the middle of a cushion, yep. you'd measure that and you'd measure that. So you know that's the middle section. Yes. Did, did you then draw or work out how big these sections would be before you, you started making the cushion front? You could. Making the cushion front? Um, it depends how you work, John. Yes. I'm very much... Um, I like a project to evolve as I go along, okay. okay. But I know there are some viewers well, out there. Well, our lady quilters. Who, well, they like to finish, you know, yes. obviously before mm -hmm. they get sewing. So if that's the case and you want to work out the actual design, 
print this out on paper first, yeah. um, cut it down to size to what you would use as a block, and then get paper strips and work it out if you really need a pattern to I, follow. I just think some people... I, I no, know they're, right. only, I know they're in good, squares, and I'm only asking no, because I know some no, people... No, you're say, right. It's a good point. Because um, I, I'm a bit like you. I love things that evolve, but then I'll get halfway through it and think, oh, I've got three quarters of my fabric on this side and only a quarter of my fabric yes. on that side. And that's not how I wanted it to evolve. You know what I mean? So no, it's, no, it's how different I, how exactly. people work. Exactly. And everybody yeah. has their own way of doing mm -hmm. things, don't they? Um, and it might be that um, if you are a, a quilter or a patchworker, you've got a particular block, um, you know, sort of style that you like yes. using. Well, like um, Jackie earlier, when she sent in her the quilt she'd done, uh, her memory yes. quilt to her husband, yes. she'd have so worked she so it in the, the centre yes. of a block. So she'd yes. have had her own, I can't remember what, it wasn't... Um, a log cabin was it because it had more of a burst on it. But you know what I mean? It kind of it was the centerpiece of the block. So you know to make all your pictures that big. Yes. Because you're gonna fit it into the block of the thing. And if you weren't watching earlier, you need to catch up on YouTube, but Jackie sent in a picture of this gorgeous patchwork quilt that's quilted quilt that she'd done with uh, pictures of her husband, like memory picture of her husband. It was lovely. Right, sorry. That's okay. Okay, so this is my first strip on the top. Right. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna repeat it from for the bottom yes. end, okay. Now, um, I come from a, a dressmaking, pattern making background, and we press after every single line of stitches. And so would I. Oh, okay, okay. So would some I. Some quilters don't, do they? Uh, some quilters wait. No, some no, people... I always insist on pressing, but because I knew I might be short of time. Well, it's not just that, there's nowhere for it and to go. And there was no room. <laughs> <laughs> I would press. So yes. I'm going to, when I've done this one, what I would do is I always um, press my seams towards the top and bottom. And okay. Unless I'm using um, a lighter colour fabric. I was going to say, if this is pale because cream. Because then it would show yes, through, yes. so then it would go underneath. Is there a reason why you press the top one upwards and the bottom no, one downwards? No, it's just, just how I do it. Um, but it, 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 it is determined by the fabric. Yes. But like you say... The, Where you did know, you learn to sew then? At school. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I've been sewing since I was a, a little girl, but um, really... In the Victorian it, times. In Victorian times, I know. <laughs> did you have a treadle? Did you have one of those? Do you know, I've got a treadle at home, and I've got uh, three little hand sewers. Oh, have you? I have. I love, I love working on an old I've got another message well. from Cheryl. Hello, Tilly. It's great Hello, to see Cheryl. you on Sewing Quarter with John. Lovely, clear instructions as usual. A workshop in your own home. Oh, yeah, a workshop in your home, see what you mean. I thought we were all going around to Tilly's then. Uh, lots of love, <laughs> Cheryl. P.S. Your hair looks fab. Is Cheryl your hairdresser? <laughs> no, no. Cheryl comes to my workshop. It's because I've said I'm, I'm, I'm grey here, so um, that's what I she means. I think she looks brilliant, Cheryl, don't you? Bless her. Uh, oh, Thank you. back. Also, I have used the Ode Coat. Right? Oh, okay. I have used the Ode Coat with the poplin, and so long as you give it a couple of hours to dry before applying it, it works really well. I think this says love sewing quarter, but it just says love sewing. Uh, in fact, I love your name, attractor. It's not attractor like, you know, like driving a tractor. It's like attractive, but with an A on the end. Uh, Karen, oh, it's Karen from Threadsback. The viewer may have had twill out of the plastic bag and may have needed to reverse curl it before putting it into the bottom feeder. Yes. That's from the message so earlier. That, you remember I said if it has a bit of a curl where we, um, you can just turn, yeah. curl the edges around. You yeah. don't need to tightly roll curl it, yeah. it but just roll it very yeah. gently um, yes just so you know that, that was a question about oh earlier karen's got half a message from her uh, we got half a message from karen earlier somebody mentioned during the nine o'clock show saying can i own decode these photographs once on the fabric uh, what um uh, a tractor was saying is yes she has done it but leave it for a few hours to dry before you put the first layer of eau de coat on right. which I would do anyway it just if I was making something out of it I would leave it for a little while before I started even making with it sort of thing I but think thank you for that I think I'm going to have to try that when, mm. I, when I get home did you not, did you not have a no, nick a bit of eau de coat no, from the I'm going to have to do that when I get, when I get don't back don't try nicking it um, producer Hannah tried to do that and she had to be rung up on a day off and said have you got the eau de coat in your house we need it back now oh my goodness <laughs> anyway so you've, uh, can I just ask right, we've done course. two Top and bottom. Yes. And then... So you could rotor cut this. Again, I probably at home I would have used a rotary cutter. To, but to each just time conscious... to square it all off. Yes. Yeah. So just to square that right. off, yes. And then, so, you, so this is why you don't cut it. So then you'd then cut this strip and yes. this strip because you want yes. that to be the length of both those plus, plus yes. your picture, don't yes. you? Yes, yeah. exactly. So I've got my, my strips already cut out with our lovely dot um, with the grey. Yes, yeah, spot on. Okay. And again, you've got the cross in the middle, so however much you cut, so you can balance it. Um, and that also determines, if you're using a different fabric to the dot, 
Um, you might be using a pattern fabric. You might want to actually match your um, pattern so that it has a sort of a, an alignment. Oh, yes, yes, you know. yes. If you've got a zigzag, you'd want yeah, the zigzag you know, to you touch. Might want yeah, to. exactly. Yeah, so that's exactly. another tip as well. Uh, can I just say, there are so many people buying this. I'm oh, buy my that's glasses. good. Um, I can see lots of stitching going on. Yeah, Kathy, Christine, <laughs> Kathleen, Marjorie's got loads. <laughs> Hannah, William, Denise, Dora, Kate, Moira. Oh, Moira's local to me. Um, a Margaret and two Margarets and Margot. Very nice. Hello, everybody. We're using the twill. This is the one we're using in this show here, the twill version. But if we, we used the cotton poplin one earlier. Four, uh, six sheets of the twill, £21.95. Six sheets of the uh, poplin, £19.95. That is very, the poplin is very, very, very low in stock. All sells out. Oh, it's such a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant product. Um, can I just ask, if the oh, viewers, yes. I don't know whether they're still with us, but the two lovely photos that you showed earlier on with Marcia's uh, There was Marcia and, and there was Karen. Karen. Uh, no, no, uh, was it Karen? Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie's uh, quilt. Whether, if they're still watching, would they let us know whether they use poplin or twill? Did they oh, mention yes. that earlier on? Oh, yes, that's a good on? idea. Um, so uh, Jackie made a lovely quick Have we got them there, little Paul? Just very quick. Oh, this is Marcia's, right? This is Marcia's. That was a friend's house, was it? I think that looks like poplin, but I could be... Yeah. Doesn't I'm say, but we can, no. we can let us know, let us okay. know. So that was a, um, a friend's house that she took a picture of. The friend yes. was leaving yes. and then she, she embellished it house. with embroidery. Yes, what a lovely idea. And then this one, Jackie's is lovely. This is Jackie to remind, um, uh, not remind, memory of her late husband. Oh, look, there's, there's, there's a close-up picture I've got there. So you see what I mean about you? she'd done a block and she put a and picture she's used that for the middle, in yes. the middle there. It's so lovely, isn't it? And isn't then she got hand stitched. There's a hand stitched quilt as well. Lots wow. of time and love gone into that. Thank you for sharing, Thank Jackie you. and Marcy. Yes. Right. And so that would look like the poplin did it. Yes. Too. Yeah. So yeah. if I'm just thinking, if you know, if the lovely viewers who've written in, um, often they might have different ideas to what they would use their twill for. Yes. That's what yeah. I'm sort of saying. Yeah. You know. Let so us know. We've yes, got about please. ten minutes left. Let us know. What you'd use, whether if you've used it before, whether you do, what, which you'd use the poplin or the twill, and what you used it for. Some people, some people just like heavier weight fabrics, don't they? And, and we're not saying the twill is like heavy, heavy. It's just heavier. No, than it's the poplin. not like a heavy de denim. No, um, it's very good for bags if you're into bag making. Um, also, can things... I rip the back of this one off now? Yes, is that possible? Do. Then we can show the actual yeah, poplin sure. while you're doing your sewing and everything. Oh, he says glasses. I'm all right, I can do it. <laughs> That's John's homework. I've done it. When I was little, I had to have every piece of homework checked by my mum and dad every single day. Oh, really? Yeah, very Oh, strict. dear. Was you an, a, a naughty schoolboy? No. You? Oh, OK. No, I wasn't naughty at all, <laughs> sadly. Yeah, that kept, that's now. <laughs> now I'm 39. You see, I'm making up for it now. I'm 39. <laughs> right, OK. You carry on doing that. Um, OK. I'll show you the fabric bundles that we're selling for the cushions as well, but I just need to do this first. Well, you're right. It is, it's not difficult, but it's, it's definitely got more of a pull. It's got more of a than pull the than the pop thing, hasn't it? Yes, but it Look has. how easy yes. I'm doing it. Look how yes. easy it's coming off, right? And the secret is to do it slowly, like you're doing, in stages, rather than and, just trying and to And straight, really... and straight. Yes, yes. OK, Marcy, Marcy, I used uh, cushion, um, poplin on her cushion. Oh, thank you for letting us know. Right, That's look, what I wanted to show you was this. So once the photo's on, this is the weight of the twill. This is the weight of the twill fabric. It's not heavy, it's not heavy at all. Just, well, it's, got, it's just got the grain on it, hasn't it? It's just got that bias grain on it there. Anyway, sorry, carry on with that. Oh, you're nearly finished, anyway. What I'm going to do now oh, yes. is... I'm just going to show how you can stitch. You can use these now to give that quilted effect. Right. Um, so like on the cushion, I've actually gone around each square. Oh, OK. So I've come across and so done a, a cross. Yeah. And then gone around the, um, the edges with the lovely cotton wadding. OK, then we've got that here. Is that, what, is that the one you've used there? This one is... That's, there we go. There you go. OK. There's an awful lot of uh, batting in here, isn't it? Simple, so simple, super soft wadding in pre-cut sizes. This is a baby size, 114 by 152 centimetres. 18 pounds and 95 pence. Right. Get it for your stash. Get it for your stash. Very quickly, before you, don't do any sewing. Don't okay. do any sewing. Very quickly, just the fabrics for you. Uh, we, there's the duck egg and the teal. Duck egg, that's a linear print. 
Uh, and then you've got the duck egg spot on there. Um, Eight pounds and 95 pence. Linear texture, there you go, and the duck egg and spot on teal fabric, eight pounds and 95 pence. And then the gray one, uh, it's in, the spot on is on slate. Oh, and then the gray is the linen effect. That one's not the linear, this one's linen effect. This one, I think they call this one. Uh, and the gray is there, graphics coming in. Eight pounds and 95 pence, there you go. Half a meter of each, you get a meter of fabric. Meter of, that's the most popular of the two so far. Oh, the one you're using. Anyway, the gray. Yeah. picture of my mum yes. and one of my nan. Yes. And they're, they're all torn around the edges and everything like that. And it's kind of, there'll only be a few years left in them before, because they're out in my house at the moment. But this way, you're going to have them sort of forever, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, so you've just made a sandwich yes. of the backing fabric, the wadding and the uh, top layer of your cushion. Yes. Yes. Uh, now, you're doing that without a walking foot. Is that all right? Um, I, or would you normally use a walking I foot? I would probably use a walking yeah. foot. But um, I know I've had lots of ladies say to me, oh, I haven't got a walking I foot, haven't. so therefore I can't do it. Um, and uh, most of the time at home, I probably would use my normal walk, uh, you yeah. know, sewing yes. foot. If it was slightly thicker, so if I had um, a heavier wadding or maybe the backing fabric was a heavier fabric i probably would have done yeah. a walking foot but it is but i mean you don't I've, need to no i well, oh, i'm not a quilter but i have and done nor, layers no, with I. normal feet yes, so have and I. you just have to take your time don't you, you do That's just... you do and what size stitch do you use when you're, when um, you're uh, this when you're... one where are we set i think we're set at let's just have a look um 2.2 oh, yeah Okay. Like normally at home, it's about two, 2.5. Yes, that's, that's what, what I would I'm say. On, yeah. But again, if you're using heavier fabric, um, you would probably go up to three just yes. to give it a bit of definition. Yeah. Now, I'm going to give a little tip here. Yeah. Um, I'm not a quilter. Right. But this is how I do it. When I sew, I almost sort of part the fabric just slightly, um, just so that you can kind of stitch in that seam. In the ditch. Now, don't get too hung up if you get a couple of stitches either one side or the other. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it, 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 you doesn't know, it doesn't Yeah, we've got, uh, we sell gloves, and we've got an expert called Angie. Uh, yeah. And she, she wears, uh, like, quilting gloves yes, that, yes. to do anything like this. And yes. all it means is, because I've got, I have really, really sweaty palms, you don't mark your fabric, but also they've got no, that grip on them. they've got the grip, yeah. Where you can just, and well, exactly what you're doing, but yes. she's got gloves on, which just, if you're doing yes. lots and lots and lots of it, she said it really saves your hands, because yes. you're not constantly um, irritating your hands or whatever. I think, that for me, um, because I, of my background with working with textures and visual impairment, um, I kind of, I need to feel. Um, oh, so you wouldn't want the gloves And on. I would find the gloves quite restricting yeah, for me I know, me I do. I'd end up sewing it and then it would go like this and the glove would suddenly be going down <laughs> there, stitched into the seam. But, you know, again, there's other uh, sewers out there who'd say, well, actually, I wouldn't do it without the gloves. No, exactly. So, again, you've got to find your own comfort zone. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Hayley and I went to this um, sewing, um, you know, like the NEC, like a, a trade, it wasn't a trade show, so it was open to all the public and everything, and there was this machine that did um, freehand embroidery, and it was fantastic, oh, it was like driving yeah. a motorbike, you did this, I've got pictures of it, it's just absolutely brilliant, you have handlebars to hold on to, rather oh, than wow. the fabric, it was amazing. Okay, so I've just gone round, I'm just going to snip that off, yep. because then you can see where I've sewn. Okay, now I'm a big... Um, I'm a big believer, and we all make mistakes, okay? So at yeah. this stage... Apart from little Paul, he's rarely wrong. Oh, right, okay, so I should, I'll remember that. I'll try and remember oh, that. Oh, no, I'm always little wrong, Paul. me, but little Paul, rarely wrong. <laughs> um, I know so many, through my workshops, I know so many people who would look at their photograph and go, no, I've, I've messed that up because I've got a wobble here, or, yeah. a, you know... Just don't worry too much about it. It's really about... It's your cushions, your personal. If you really have something that you think the stitching is... Oh, I really can't stand to see that little bit of wobble. Mm. Put a button on, um, <laughs> put a bit of embellishment <laughs> on. One of the best things, I think, is um, like a hand stitch, uh, running stitch yeah. or something to draw your eye away from the machine stitching. So there's always a way round it. My, Don't feel you've, you've yeah, not my done it. dying and printing teacher at college, Audrey, I, we, we were doing block prints and I'd going around the whole the border of this great big thing and then I got to the end there were two the same way up and I was like, oh, gee, I've ruined the whole thing. I spent all day block printing. She said, it makes it personal. Whoever you're gifting that I to so makes agree. it totally personal. Don't I look at so it as a agree. mistake. Look at it as a personal yeah. effect. Because yeah. if you went to a department store for a tablecloth, they'd be machine done and perfect. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this is, look at this, John did this and there's two together. And, and really, that's, that's for me, that's what I think 
sewing should be, where you stitch that little bit of love into your project and it's personal. Yes, and, exactly. And, you know, if you made these for a present or something like that as a gift, um, like you say, that's going to be treasured yeah. because you've, you've taken made it the time them. and thought about what you're putting in your collage. Got a couple of messages for you. Okay. I thread painted, I've got no idea what that means, Okay. on top using free motion embroidery, love you too. Oh, love us too. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant love us, love you as well. I said, did I tell you I loved you? Uh, that's from Nicola. Beverly says it's a happy accident when you make a mistake. It is exactly, I agree. isn't it? Um, yeah, thank you very much I for your agree. messages. Um, right, we've got about five minutes left, so okay. let's carry on with that. So, them. can we just recap? You can do whatever you want. Okay. It's your show. Well, at this stage, if I was putting this into my cushion now, I would, I'm not going to because I just want to recap on the printer. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Um, I would then cut this down to right. use as my front panel. And this one piece would be pe would be the front. So oh, okay, yes, because that's not the back of your cushion. That's no. the inside of that's no. the back of this yeah. section, isn't it? Yes. So then that becomes. Oh, just I quite one like that because fabric. lots of times you get a quilted cushion, you open it and you've got the wadding, and when you're pushing your cushion pad in and out, the wadding's coming yeah. in now with yeah. it. Whereas your wadding's all encased yep. within yep. your lining there, yeah. really. Oh, that's and fantastic. if you want to add a bit more depth to the wadding. Um, I, you know, some viewers might want to put some uh, camphor stitching down here or machine stitching or something to add a bit more, you know, to, uh, volume yes, to yes. it if you want to. Yeah, yeah, because you could do cross hatching, you could you do could. anything you want to do. And actually, down there. I, I meant to bring it with me. The dots lend themselves beautifully um, to French dot, uh, French knots with hand embroidery. Oh, yes. And so if you do want to add a bit of colour, that's another or way sequins. of putting it in. Or sequins. <laughs> or even buttons, because yes. you, you could pull it in and add that texture. And, and then with the wadding in there, it's going to give it little... It is. I was going to say is. puffy bits there, yeah. but you know what I mean. And if you, of... One more tip. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. No, no, you've got off. plenty of time. Okay. Don't worry. So if you, uh, you actually wanted, I know there'd be lots of people shouting at the screen saying, no, oh, you can't do that. Oh, I've, here we go. I've done it loads of times. So if you want to actually add extra volume, double up on your wadding. Yeah. Okay. And then when you thread your buttons or your sequins through and you pull it through quite tight, you almost have that mattress effect, you know, mm -hmm. on a bed effect because you've got double the wadding. Okay. Yeah. So it just gives it a bit more of a quilt. Well, I quite effect. like that. Why would they hate that? I quite well, like that. I know, that no, I know some, some viewers might say, oh, no, no, you can't do that. So yes. It's not in the books. Okay. <laughs> But I bend the rules all the time. <laughs> but there are no, the rules are there to be made to broken. Know, and also, it's not a rule if you if you like what you're doing. Exactly. Then it's it, and a it works for you. Feature. Exactly. In my exactly. Book, Nobody it's a can say you're right feature. or wrong, no. can they? Because they can't. Uh, they can't go. Oh no! Well, I will put the grey there. I put the grey there. Um, <laughs> oh, I haven't got it yet. So, so if we've got a few minutes left. Yeah, you've got left, a few minutes left. Shall we just run through what they've got to do on the printer? Yes. Just for anybody that's who's the way, not then. sure. I'm still. There's no. Uh, there's uh, apparently there's another message on the web. It's not arrived. Who's it from? Gillian, what's Gillian got to say? Another incredible and informative show. Oh, thank, thank you, Gillian. You. Bye thank you. Right. Um, just before I go onto the packaging, just one thing I did bring in. Yes. With the idea of the collage, instead of using photographs, you can actually use it. I know there's lots of um, sewers and crafters out there who might want to sell things for craft fairs or school fates or things like that, and they might actually want to use it as a template. Right. Okay. So this was um, a piece of lace, a piece of vintage lace that yes. I scanned in. And then I added a filter to my collage, but then I added some text to it. And right. I used that as the base for cutting up four pieces of pattern. Right. Um, so here's my pattern. Okay, yes. Yes, so I printed it out on the cotton poplin. Yeah. And then this was a workshop that I did whilst I was at the quilt village. Yes. Um, but you can see it's a template. Uh, so um, right. don't think of just collages just for photographs because you can actually use it to make up your own pattern. Yes, so you yes, might yes, have yes. your own brownie group or you know scouts or something like that where you need a template as a, a, a specific mm. size and it's a good way then of Fantastic. not wasting your fabric. That's really sweet that with the blanket stitching around the outside. Thank and you. Is that those just is it a needle in a oh yes a needle yes. in a pin case. Yes. How brilliant. Thank I'll you for that. I'll have to do a show on that. Yeah, exactly. Well, you've got loads lined <laughs> yeah. up then. Um, right. Okay. So what we're so, going to show, how to do it, how to do it, how to do it. Is that right. what we're doing? How many minutes have we got left? Literally uh, three. Right. Okay. So we won't get to print it because otherwise no. it will be printing. So if we just go through then, the packaging, when you get your packaging, everything that you need to know, all your instructions will be inside. Yeah. Your sheets come in between two sheets of cardboard to keep it flat. Yeah. And then you have the seal at the top. Okay. So when you get your packaging and you get it at home, take one sheet out at a time, work out which way it goes in your printer. So if your top loader, it faces you as you go in and it goes straight into yeah. the printer. 
bottom loader, it will go on the reverse. And if you're not sure, if you're not 100%, we're saying yeah. top loader, but somebody might have a really weird one, then yeah. it does the opposite. Yeah. So always check on a piece of paper. Just yeah. write a big cross on it, yeah. photocopy something and see what side it comes out on. Yes, and also if you want to put out, so these are the photographs that we printed out before the show of your photographs. Yes, yeah. Now, on this one, we had no border. Right. OK. And on this one, we've added the border. Oh, OK. So that will determine the size that you're using, but also how much of your fabric you're not going to use from your Oh, pack. yes, of course. Yes, yes. OK, so you might want to border around here to actually include in the actual project so you see the white edging. Right. Or, okay. or if you, when you, before you printed this up, yes. if you were going to make a cushion and you wanted to write... John Scott on holiday, you could print it onto your photo to yes. begin with before you print it onto the fabric. Yes. So when you print it, then you can cut it off and this could be the photo and then John Scott on holiday could be anywhere else in the cushion or something like you that, could, couldn't yes, you? So you're then not wasting no, exactly. an inch and a half at the yeah. top and the bottom. And if, if you don't know how to add text to a project, print off the photograph, write it, handwrite it yourself, and then oh, you could scan that in of course. and use that. So that's another way if you're not too yes. familiar with using Because there's text. me saying put writing on it. I wouldn't know how to put writing on it. I hate it when people send emails and they've got a picture and they've got the writing all over the picture. And I'm like, how do they do that? Or well, they send you an email and they, they're talking about a holiday and there's a picture of the holiday cottage there. Then they carry on, don't they? And then there's a picture of Father Christmas. And I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Oh, we're going to have to get you up yes. to speed. Okay, so, um, so they're just a couple of little tips to obviously get started. And then when we print, you just need to remember that the settings need to be on a mat. Um, photo yep. and on a best, best quality for printing out onto the actual fabric. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Uh, before we do anything else, you're on tomorrow. I've got to show tomorrow's yes, menu. I am. You're on with, yes. is it Tash or um, is Tash it Amy tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tash yes. tomorrow. Yes. This is their uh, menu for tomorrow. Uh, coming up tomorrow, it's called Textures, Tones and Techniques. Ooh. And then Tilly's doing Textures, Tones and Techniques. That's me. Uh, Tilly, oh, I love mandala hoops. Tilly's mandala hoops at 8 o'clock. Then Build Your Stash with Tash at 9 o'clock. Tilly's Flower Garden at 10 o'clock. And at 11 o'clock, there's a spelling mistake there, I think. Marvellous Monochrome. Has it got two L's in it, Marvellous? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's me that's wrong. Uh, 11 a.m. Marvellous. Oh, they're doing the Monochrome game. It was so popular yesterday. When, so you're part of tomorrow, you have been booked for future shows, yes, haven't you? Yes, I have, you? yes. Uh, I think it's a couple of weeks' time. I'm coming back oh, with Fred. So. There you go. Yeah. Um, right, I'm now, so what all I've got to say to you is please, thank you so very much thank for you. coming in. Um, Check out your baskets. If you've got anything in your basket, you do need to check out. One page post packaging all day. Remember, if you're watching the repeat, and we're saying limited stock, limited stock, just ring the number 0800 112 4433. Because if you go to our website, like in three minutes' time, the eight o'clock show will start again. It just goes on a loop, a loop, a loop, a loop, a loop until tomorrow. Go to the shop, have a look at the web shop. You can always go on YouTube. All you need to do is type in sewing quarter and the date. Right, and then you can watch it on YouTube. And the joy about watching it on YouTube is, if there's a bit that you don't, uh, you, you you think, oh, they're going too fast. You can pause it. You can yeah. rewind, rewind it. You can, or if this little John's waffling on. I'll just fast forward on till till Tilly arrives or something like that. There is also a, a thing underneath. If you go down, you can actually ask for the particular hour. It'll tell you what each hour is. You can click on that and get that. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, thank you so much. I've really, really enjoyed thank it, and you. I have learned, and I have been listening, Good. and I think it's brilliant. And you know what? Get these, get these threads. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, you're going to make all sorts of things with them and you're going to recreate memories. You can make lovely cushions. You can um, put a lovely picture on the back of a denim jacket. Use the twill one for that one, I would. Um, but thank you so much for joining us today. I'm sorry it's been a little bit chaotic, but I think that's all part, like the printing and everything. It's like no accident. It's not an accident. It's no. just a creative blip, isn't it? Um, Till you'll be back tomorrow. Thank you, uh, thank you very Bye. much, your company. I'm back on uh, Friday now. So until then, bye-bye. Join her tomorrow morning. I'll see you Friday. Join us on Tuesday the 23rd of May when Tilly Rose will be bringing us a brand new project designed by her especially for the sewing quarter. Tilly combines a range of beautiful hand embroidery stitches focusing on a slow stitching technique available in two colourways on two fresh new linen prints. So join Tilly on Tuesday the 23rd of May at 8am only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 78.